In the previous episode, we visited several houses to level up our electrical by dismantling table lamps, wall clocks, etc. Alright, let's keep going. Yeah, I don't think I've actually gone to these houses yet, so this would be good. No, I don't think I've been here before. Alright, this is clear. Let's go ahead and take the TV down. Yeah, why don't we just go up? We'll take care of these two. We'll go back to our car, which is on the corner. So we're not too far away from the car, I think. Oh yeah, this one. We might have gone to this one. go across the street we're not even yeah we're not even at 600 not even at 600 it's pretty bad all right well it might make sense to go out of town there's probably really good spots to do it this city's got a couple of them but we already hit them up there we go let me in all right nothing good in there yeah, we've been in here before and they don't have a TV. You know, can we... What about this wall lamp? Pink wall lamp, nice. Oh, we got eight for that too, that's not bad. It's like triple what we've been getting on everything else. Got an M14 rifle, we'll take it. I think we have one already. And I don't know that... Well, I don't know, do you need parts? I've honestly never really even used weapons. I've used them a couple times in the early game and just died with them. Pretty sure we skipped this one when we started. Let's go check it out real quick. Yeah, we did. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We got TV and a radio, at least. Alright, the alarm's already done. Nobody's coming. Everybody's already dead in the area. <laughs> yeah, nobody cares. Alright, there's a couple, couple stragglers, but pretty much nobody cares. Oh, there's some more. Yeah, there's very few zombies left in this area, I think. They'll they'll repopulate once we leave. Slowly they'll respawn. Yep, there's still people coming. Yeah, they're kind of slowly filtering in from around the neighborhood. There's probably some on the backside that we can't see as well. Maybe we'll stay here and clear these out. At least we'll get some kind of XP. Let's check the back side. Yep, yeah, there's a few. Not much. There might be some inside. Nope, they didn't make it in. Alright, so that was a pretty weak fire alarm. Or home alarm. Actually, how close are we to the next long blunt? No, we, we just got it, actually. I think we just got it recently. 682. Oh, whoa. What? Okay, I did not see that before. That is definitely a horde. Not a horde, but... Alright, Cobra's taking some damage here. That felt pretty good. Yeah, combat really has come a long way. I'm wondering if this is just the regular migration that they do. It's around that time. I think they do it once in the evening and once in the morning. Because this doesn't seem related to the, the house alarm anymore. These seem like they're moving for something else. They just kind of all came at once. But like, they would have already been on their way if it was for the house alarm. Oh, we are fatigued. We gotta worry about that. Yeah, let's actually get out of here. There's quite a few building up on this side. And with fatigue being an issue, I don't want to burn the crowbar health. 
if we're not going to be doing any damage. Yeah, we didn't even get a full backpack, but we weren't really taking much, I guess. Let's just dismantle everything. Oh, you know, we might even be getting more XP just by fighting for, <laughs> oddly enough, for uh, electronics, because we just got a bunch from dismantling that stuff, the battle loot. Yeah, look at that. We're actually within 100 now. Maybe that's the way to go. Oh boy, is that full? Yep, it's full. But we're going to have to put some electrical stuff up here in the middle one. Oh, might as well read a little bit and then go to bed, I guess. Electrical. I think we can finish it tomorrow, but yeah, that is that is a grind for sure. We're going to have to go to other cities for the next one. I want to get four on everything. Maybe not at first aid, but we can get four on most everything. And then maybe we'll go to a different town. All right, let's try and get the rest of this electrical done. I don't think we cleared this building out just yet. Let's do... Yeah, let's clear this one out. We'll do downstairs first. Oh, hello, chef. What the heck is he doing? <laughs> that was random. Oh, hello. Not just the chef. Oh, they're falling pretty quick. Alright, nothing good on them. Let's just double check around the corner, make sure there's no stragglers. Alright, we should be good. They must have heard me bust the, the glass, I think. Okay, here's something growling around here, but... Not a big deal. Here we go. Yep, here's the ovens. Beautiful. We'll get two of these. That might actually be enough. No, nope, it's close though, I'm sure. Alright, luckily, cookies do not ever go bad, apparently. I mean, I say that, but I don't think I've ever had a cookie go bad on me before. But probably because I eat them so fast. Alright, backside looks okay. This parking lot's like empty. Usually there's a bunch. Alright, no big deal. Oh, we don't need them, but let's just grab some consumable stuff here. There's a lot of cigarettes in here. So many cigarettes. You know, we don't... I don't think I've taken a box of paper clips yet. So I know we won't need them for a while. Let's see if we can find one in here. Use it for fishing. Alright, let's go back through the front and we'll go upstairs. These are all completely busted open. Alright, we had a radio and a TV in this place. We're getting really close, I think. Yeah, we're 15 away. Uh, it's kind of weird. This lamp doesn't really do anything. Yeah, you can't disassemble it or anything. Here's something. Let's just clear it out first. Probably outside, though. Couple of gun cases here. Nothing good on the bookshelf. Do have a radio though. I'm gonna just take a ton of these roasting pans. I feel like those are probably the most useful. That the stir fry is pretty nice. Uh, what do they call it? Skillet. Oh man, we're we're gonna be like one TV short. It's crazy. I don't think they're going to have it here. All right, let's get out of here. I don't know how many TVs or electronics are in this place, but let's go check it out. I think there might be a payphone or something. All right, 
nothing good there. And I know we already cleared this building, but they could have easily jumped back in. Yeah, payphone's perfect. That's going to be more than enough. I think just one of them. You know what we might want to do? Save the payphone, because those things give off a ton of XP, given how hard this thing is to get. I don't really want to go upstairs, though. Fine, let's just do it. Yep, yeah, that's it. Got the scraps. Alright, that's level 4. Electronics. Electrical, sorry. Right, let's go down here and clear out the police station a little bit more. There's a lot of guns on the backs. Yeah, let's just keep getting long blown XP because there's quite a few zombies here. Totally misclicked that. Almost gave them, gave up my back. All right, we're attracting a lot of attention somehow. Holy smokes! Look at that. All those were crits. But we'll start collecting for the next level of uh, electrical. These guys are the ones that had all the guns on them. Yep, there's a shoddy. A nightstick and a shoddy. Ooh, crowbar went down twice now. It went down once, fighting this small group. It just went down again. That's very, very bad luck. So our maintenance is, is decent. And this is supposed to be 1 in 70 chance. Oh, backpack is full, actually. Let's at least throw the guns in there. They're they're too heavy. Yeah, we got a little bit more room now. It's weird, he like blinked out of existence for a second. I thought that guy's got a pistol and. Yep, and a nightstick. The pistol and nightstick, not bad. I think I need to start leveling up the other skills, the combat ones. I don't want to only have one combat skill leveled up. I was thinking we just stick to one until we get Nibble up high enough, and then once Nibble's high, then the other ones have to be easier, but it's probably good to kind of rotate it around a little bit. I think Short Blunt would be good. We have a little bit of Short Blunt already. Uh, we did not raid. Oh no, we did, I think, but I think I just closed it. I'm pretty sure we took all the weapons. Oh, interesting. I did not. Well, we're in. Yeah, there's no way we can take any of this stuff, actually. Oh, this is a good spawn this time, too. Sometimes it's mediocre. This one's legit. Oh, wow. It's a lot of good stuff on him, too. We got a revolver and a shoddy. Yeah, let's go back. We're kind of overburdened at this point. Let's see how far are we away? I think we're pretty far away from the next long blunt. Yeah, we are. You know, what? I'm gonna dump everything. Let's just do it. I don't usually like doing that. But let's go get all this stuff out. We, you know, I don't think we grabbed anything from here, so there's probably a ton of cigarettes. Not that we need it, but... Yeah, let's just grab the weapons and get out. Let's take ammunition first. And attachments. And whatever room we got left, we'll grab magazines. And whatever left, we'll take the guns. We might actually have room for everything. Ooh, just barely. Well, that works. You know, we didn't check this place yet, did we? Well, it doesn't really matter. I was going to say there's a locker room back there, two locker rooms. We can try and get some stuff out of it, but at best we'll find clothing and backpacks, which we don't don't need. You know, I'm going to leave these for now, actually. Let's just go drop stuff off. And we got company. 
Wait, I hear somebody banging on something. That's probably our back. No, it's not. Oh, they might have gotten inside, actually. That's not these. Yep, somebody broke in here. You little bastard. Let's actually just drag them out. I don't want to deal with carrying bodies out. They busted that um, that barricade down. We got quite a few in here, actually. Yeah, it's the respawn. We've definitely cleared the area out significantly, and they're starting to come back. All right, let's get these guys over here. It's fine. If they start getting flies on them on the backside, we'll deal with them. But I think for now, we should be good. All right, we got quite a bit, uh, quite a few things to unload here. We got way too much stuff on us. Let's go drop the guns off first before we bust our legs. Oh man, our weapons, both boxes are full. We're going to need a third. Which I think the melee went too. Alright, well, we'll start putting some guns on the floor, I guess. Yeah, let's pull the, the big heavy shotties out. We'll just display them. It's fine, that'll save some room. Oh yeah, look at that. Just taking four shotties out. Cut this thing in half. Oh, it's full again. Jeez. It's kind of crazy. Alright, let's... I guess we just pull out the big stuff. The rifles. Pistols aren't too bad. Yeah, let's pull the rifles out. We'll just display them on the floor. We have a lot of ammunition. That's good. It's going to be much easier leveling up... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Aiming? Mm, I don't think we can take everything, can we? No. We're short the pistols, but we can just carry those by hand. Yeah, we're pretty much out of room. Those pistols are starting to add up. They're not too bad on their own, but when you get, you know, five of them stacked. Alright, once again, we don't have room. So we're just going to shove the electrical up there with the metal. And now we got some cooking pots on this side. Actually, you know what? They need water, though. Yeah, either way, they need water. We can just purify it later. About 10.30. Probably not going to go out again. Let's, I guess we'll just spend some time reading. But we don't have to water anything. I do want to check the generator, though. 58 fuel. Yeah, you know what? Let's... Oh, man, look at how big these things are. Yeah, they're looking good. Ready for harvest. We want to we wait until they become seed-bearing. So we'll wait a little bit longer. This one is just struggling because of the disease that it has. Oh, this one's seed-bearing. So we can harvest this one. 34 farming. That's quite a bit for just one. So we got 11 carrots, 33 seeds. That's pretty good. Go drop the seeds off. And some of our carrots are going stale even in the freezer. Don't know if that's going to be the case for this stuff. We should probably start cooking all these. Actually, no. Why don't we do that right now? Yeah, let's just do that. Let's take everything out. Although I don't know that I can use all those eggs. Oh, milk went rotten. Jesus, yeah, yeah this stuff's not really lasting anyways. So... I mean, it'll hold up a little bit. We know what we can use in all this stuff. Oh, we gotta let things defrost. It's gonna take a little bit. You know what we could do is just throw everything in. Yeah, let's light it. All, right, all the uncooked... All the uncooked meat needs to be cooked. So we can double up. Yeah, that looks like it should be good. It's like we got a ton of XP for that. No, unfortunately we don't have the next book read, so we're just going to have to... Hmm. No, let's just do it. I was going to say we could... We could pause this. I don't think it's worth it though. Let's just cook. Oh, they're breaking in downstairs. Probably ruining the, the ropes that we have as well. Alright, there we go. We got everything. So, now... 
Oh, we got plenty of cook time on this thing. Let's just let it run. And let's make a bunch of roasts. Sausage, salmon. Yeah, we got all kinds of stuff. Bacon. Man, we could put all kinds of stuff in this thing. Mutton. Just make a giant meat. Oh, we do have some veggies too, though. Poisonous mushroom. That's not a good idea. Alright, that needs to cook. We'll just leave it in there. Also, these poisonous mushrooms. Let's just get rid of them. They're kind of getting in the way. Alright, how long? The thing's going to cook for quite a while, so that'll give us time. Another roast is ready. That one's about halfway, so we'll start preparing another one. See how we're doing here. No, we still got time. Still good. Alright, that one's pretty much ready. We can just put extra condiments in it. Alright, this dude's breaking in downstairs, unfortunately. Can't do anything about it. Alright, one of our meals is ready. And we gotta keep keep going. We gotta cook all this meat before it goes off. Uh, let's put the finished one. Yeah, let's get rid of this thing. It's so heavy, it's hurting our legs. Alright, one of these is pretty much done. And yeah, we'll put the other one in that needs to be cooked. Into the freezer you go. Right, did I do that right? Yeah. Ah, uh, they, they're really busting him downstairs. Poultry, fish, sausage, whatever we can get. Just use it all. They don't want to use the lard or any of that stuff. I feel like we're going to need to save it. Alright, it's another roast done. Maybe we've been cooking all night. Yeah, it's almost 5 a.m. That's fine, we're just going to let, let them bust everything up and we'll deal with it in the morning. Right, that's it, there's another one ready to go. Yeah, it'll be nice once we get... Oh, you know, we had veggies. Why am I throwing veggies in here? I thought we had a bunch of... A bunch of carrots. How come they're not going in? Something weird going on there. Alright, this one's done. Yeah, I should have read the book before this one. Or I should have done just a little bit so we could be able to read the book. The problem is, we only needed a tiny bit of XP. Oh, we still have uncooked meat patties. What the heck? I think I... Yeah, I must have goofed. Oh, these are all getting burned. Alright, that's uncooked still. Still have some stuff we can cook, though. Maybe we'll do a stir-fry. Oh, you know what? The stir-fry lets you put more. That's what it is. Yeah, we got a lot more options on that. So we can add pasta. Let's just use all the meat that we have, because it's going to go bad fast. Sausage. Beef. This one's pretty much done. Let's make sure we can get this off. We got a lot of eggs, too. Well, we did make a ton of food, so we should be good for a while. Keep loading it up with meat and maybe some oil. All right, this one's pretty much done. I right, would love to cook these carrots. Do we have carrots? So I see the eggs. I don't see the carrots. Can we only put carrots in soup? Maybe is that maybe that's what it is. Well, I guess we're having a bunch of eggs. Still got quite a bit of meat on us. Let's see if we can make anything else. Make cookie dough. Interesting. We're starting to get some stuff pop up now. Make bread. Sharp bread. You know what? Let's make some bread. Alright, so we got bread dough. Let's throw that in there. I think maybe we can turn that into peanut butter or maybe some burgers or sandwich or something. That'd be interesting. Alright, what else can we do here? Make gravy. Shortbread cookies. Yeah, I think we'll just leave it. Alright, let's throw the excess meat and eggs back in. Can't use the mayonnaise on anything, unfortunately. Those carrots are 
steel carrots, I don't know what to put them in. Oh, nice, the bread's done. So, can we do anything with it? Sliced bread. Create a burger. Oh, there you go. What about this? What if we grab the mayo and the meat and stuff back out? Can we make... Yeah, we can add the beef. We can add eggs. Add mayonnaise. There you go. Now we can add mayonnaise. That's what it is. Okay, so let's just keep making more burgers. Burger, egg, mayo. So beef, egg, and mayo. Does it need to be cooked? No, it's cooked. Alright, we'll throw this back in there. Let me chew on this burger. Alright, we'll eat the whole thing because we're kind of hungry. Calories, not bad. Oh, and we're still cooking. Let's go ahead and turn that off. And we still have 61 hours, so this thing will go for a long time. Alright, let's sleep for now. Gonna eat up half of our day. Alright, we'll smoke and then we'll get out there and deal with the zombies. I'm not seeing them in here. They might have gotten inside the building then. Which, I guess, is not that big of a deal. It's just kind of annoying. I was trying to keep them all out. They can't open doors. How did they get in here? They must have busted a door? Yeah, they did. They busted this glass. Alright, no big deal. We'll just dump them. But we can barricade these up later. It's really not a big deal. Alright, now that our sleep is completely jacked up, let's kind of figure out how we want to do this. Metalworking, we need to get up. You know what I did? What I should be doing is just saving all this food, even if it's rotten. Because once we hit level 7 cooking, I think it is, we can start putting it in stews and just use it for stews. Alright, still carrots. They'll all rot, and then we can use it as compost. Some of these are ready for harvest. Broccoli's ready. Strawberries are blooming, but they're not quite yet ready. You know, let's actually deal with the generator. Let's just do that. Let's let's go get some, what do you call it, spare electronics, and we'll repair that thing up. Scrap electronics. Right, let's add fuel, and then let's fix the generator as well. So that does give you a decent amount of electric. Turn it back on, and we should be at 100 and 100. Yep. This gas can still has a little bit of fuel left in it. I think our calories are coming a little bit low, so we'll start drinking some soda, I think. Yeah, we got a ton of farming, and all we did was pick one single thing. But you know what, let's... Speaking of which, let's go put that up top as well in the compost bin. We had some stuff up there. I don't know where it went. I thought there was like two or three things that we put in there before we put the carrots. I'm not really sure. I'm wondering if you don't get it in time, a certain amount of time, if it just degrades. Well, I'm thinking what makes the most sense now is just to read. Well, here we go. That gunshot's gonna bring some people around. Look at how much XP we got, and that's without reading the skill book. With the skill book, we would have probably gained a level off of that. It's pretty wild. We did a lot of cooking, so that kind of makes sense. But, I mean, we're going to be doing this to the end of the game, so don't think it's a big deal. Alright, let's go eat one of these burgers, maybe, or sandwich. Wait, didn't we have... did we have two burgers? Did I not grab it? Or I put it somewhere else, maybe? Also, these poisonous things we just need to get rid of. Or go upstairs and throw them in the, the compost. Rotten milk we can use for mildew. Alright, let's go toss them up there for a forget. In the previous episode, we spent time organizing loot and cooking food that was about to expire, also leveling up our cooking XP. Alright, what about magazines? Alright, we need to read this one. I think that's that's the only one. And then we should Probably cooking we won't use for a bit. 
electronics. That's not going to happen for a while. I'm thinking probably metalworking too. But we'll go into like maybe three, two or three, and then we'll try and sleep if it'll let us. And then I'm thinking maybe that'll help reset. So how does this sandwich do? It doesn't fill us up all the way, actually. All right, 2.30, let's go ahead and sleep. Maybe that'll take us to like 5. Yeah, 5.30. That's not bad. Here we go. Skills. We got tailoring, metalwork. Oh, no, we didn't metalworking yet. Farming. I really want to get trapping going. Actually, we should probably do that. That's the one that's going to help us quite a bit because we already burned through most of our meat. The eggs are kind of nice to have, though. Those seem to last a long time. So let's see if we can make wrapping stuff. Snare, we need twine and planks. We definitely have no problem with twine. Let's go grab some planks. I think we'll start with snare traps and we'll do four. All right, let's grab our twine. All right, we can consolidate them. Still, at, we have 16. That's a lot. So we can make four. Yeah, let's just craft all four. And in terms of XP, we've got zero. So let's see if it actually gives us anything for doing this. Nope, it gives us carpentry, which is fine. And how much twine did it use up? It doesn't use the whole thing. Yeah, we've made four. We had, I think, 16 or so. Yep, not bad. Let's throw these back. So we should go set them up somewhere. But we need bait. And we I know we have some worms. Did I put them in the wrong barrel? I think I might have put them either farming or hunting. Yep, there they are. So 17 worms. Probably going to blow through that pretty quickly. So we might need to dig. Now we do have to put them somewhat far away. Oh man, that's a lot. Where are all these guys coming from? All right, let's right, uh, we'll put our traps over here. What we gotta do with this first? Alright, dealt with them. Let's see if they've got anything good on them. Not too good. So I'm thinking somewhere around here should be fine. But we definitely don't want the zombies getting our or traps or our bait or anything, so let's take them out. I'm thinking somewhere over here should be fine. For some reason am I not setting these right? I am so confused right now. If I drop them, I can't set the bait. That's probably not... And I've done these... I've done traps. I haven't done a lot of trapping, but I've done it before. And it wasn't this crazy. Do I have to do it from here? I don't think so. I thought I just put them out there. Oh, man, this is frustrating. All right, let me see what's going on here. See if I drop one. Place trap. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm an idiot. All right. So you don't actually. You. Yep. Yeah, you click the floor. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was wondering. I thought I was going crazy here. Like I said I haven't used them a ton, but I have used them before, and I don't remember it being this difficult. All right. Let's set set the worms out. We'll check it tomorrow morning. Let's just run through here real quick. Make sure there's no zombies. Yeah, it should be fine. We'll hang on to the worms. They don't weigh much. They don't rot. And uh, we'll be checking this thing quite a bit. Now, I think one thing we could probably do is set up more farm on the roof. So we can spend some time digging and moving dirt up. Getting ready to plant the next one. Oh, there they go. I think they're still detecting... The generator, I think that's what's going on. Because there's really nothing around here. There's no reason for him to be doing that. 
So I suspect that's probably what's going on. Right, still no seed bearing yet on these. We gotta wait a little bit longer. But that's fine. We got plenty of dirt bags. We gotta dig furrows. We gotta go downstairs. You know, hmm. I'm thinking maybe we can just put the generator over here on this side. We'll leave it alone for now. Eventually, I'll probably relocate it. Alright, here we go. And it begins. Right, that's five bags. That's a lot of dirt. I think maybe we do one more trip after this and we should have the whole uh, roof covered. Right, we got the generator there, but like I said, we're just pouring it out just to prep it for when we're ready. Alright, that's it. Actually, hmm. Yeah, we might need a couple trips. Maybe not just the one. Yeah, with the size of the farming operation we're going to do, we should have farming leveled up. Maybe probably a year. So we got the main square done. Now I guess just a matter of if we want to... Oh wait, that's not... Ooh. Oh, that goes into the... What do you call it? The bathroom? Yeah, that could have been bad. All right, let's do a little bit into this area, just so we can see exactly where the roof actually is. I'm supposed to dig furrows everywhere too. Well, on the bright side, this is gonna give us a bunch of a bunch of worms as well. Are we getting tired? It's only four. There we go. That's all the furrows. Thirty-two worms. Nice. Yeah, we won't plan anything just yet, I think. Oh, I forgot. We still got... <laughs> still got dirt bags. Hmm. I'm wondering if we just build a special location just for the generator. Maybe that's not a bad idea. We can just extend it out somewhere. It just needs to be in a certain radius of the stuff we're trying to power. I just... I don't really care, actually, if they... If they tack the door or the windows and stuff, if they keep taking out the sheet ropes, it's kind of annoying. Not that we don't have a lot of sheet rope, but just saying. Shovel can go back. We do have a lot of sodas we can drink. Let's just start drinking them. Okay, let's see how long we sleep. 12. Wow, that was not long at all. Given that it's that early, I think we should just... Yep, I think we just keep reading. I'm kind of surprised the soda doesn't give you more calories. Seems like it probably should. Actually, we need to... Let's go get some food out of the, the freezer. Alright, doesn't look like there's much going on. We got one zombie by the cars. Alright, here we go. That's metalworking. Could start reading electrical. I think probably cooking, though. Electrical is going to be kind of rough. Let's grab cooking next. I think I know what we could do today, actually. Why don't we take this gas can, start collecting cars. Yep, we can go around hot wiring, bringing them back, and then just get ready for the next level of... Oh, looks next level of mechanical. We got quite a few zombies here, actually. We need to clear these out. All right, let's clear the ones out in front of the church. Let's see how many calories this thing gives us. Oh, that did nothing. That was all meat, too. Crazy. How are we supposed to hold our weight, then? I feel like that's just going to keep going down. Alright, I remember maybe, a, I think it was a van. There's like a news van somewhere back here that looked pretty nice. I can bring that over. I think what we'll do is we'll use up the rest of the scroll bar. Doesn't have a whole lot left. And then once that's done, we can uh, we can switch over to a different weapon. We did get forging as well. We should probably start doing it at the same time. We're kind of losing a little bit of efficiency here. Yeah, let's just turn that on. And then that'll help us level Nibble. Nibble's the crazy one. All right, let's go find some cars. Oh, wow. Here we go. Here we go. 
crowbar starting to die. Kind of bad not uh, chopping all this stuff up, but like we got quite a bit. Pretty good quality hunting knife on that. Alright, we got a van here. Let's go grab that one. Alright, these guys are gonna aggro. Let's just deal with them first. You know what? This is sausage, jerky, and eggs. I don't think the eggs give you that much, um, that many calories. Let's just eat the whole thing. Yeah, look at that. It barely even moved, even with that. So we added some gas. Hot wire this thing. First try. Nice. Oh, doesn't want to start. Come on. There we go. So I think what we'll do now is just fill in this part of the parking lot. Take all that gas back. Let's get this one back in. Get pretty much all the gas out. Yeah, we're not really running the car for more than a couple seconds. You know what? Let's just get rid of this thing. Is it uh, may not let us because we're missing half? Nope, there it goes. Nope, that was trash. We just grabbed trash. Yeah, it's not letting us take it. Won't let um, disassemble either. There was a taxi over there. Let's go grab the taxi. So many soda cans. We only need just a touch of gas. There we go. This thing's a boat, man. Actually, longer than the van. Alright, let's go deal with these. I, I forgot to check the traps, didn't I? Yeah, I think I placed that yesterday. So let's go take a look. Let's go through the wooded area, too. A little risky, but should be fine. Oh, it's not good. Nice, we got some tree branches. Alright, add bait. Doesn't look like we caught anything, unfortunately. Yep. So we lost three worms. No, uh, no birds. Let's actually hit up here. We get a. We really gotta work on nimble, so we'll just search our way up there. We're getting decent forging XP, but that's because our multiplier is higher, and I think that I don't remember how much XP we need for the next level, but it's quite a lot. Nice. More tree branch. That means more axes. Okay, we're really finding a lot of stuff with forging now. You know what? I keep forgetting we need to get away from the traps so they can actually work. Oh, we can take this. Yeah, let's clear the parking lot. Take that car back. Crowbar is now in red. But we're getting there. Right, this says that it actually has some gas in it already. Let's see if it's enough to drive. 
Oh, we have the key, I forgot. Let's move back in. A lot of rattling going on with that one. It's like struggling. Right, let's go get some of our water bottles. Can drop that off. Grab some more food. Yeah, that's I think this is the same thing we did last time. It was jerky and egg, which just doesn't give you a whole lot of calories. So I guess eggs would be really good if you were trying to lose weight. They fill you up, but they won't make you fat. And yeah, we're tired already. I think we'll work with it. We'll sleep early. We'll get up and read for a little bit. It's going to be pretty early. Yeah, only one. But we'll get tired when it's time. Just trying to break our door down here. Oh, uh, must be the church. Yep, there's two. Actually, let's just jump outside. Yeah, we'll just leave him for now. Already got quite a few over here. Let's just bring the body back. Okay, we'll, yeah, I think we just keep reading for now. I'm debating if we should put up a fence. We could put the log wall. That'll last pretty well. Alright, 8.30 should be good enough. Let's get our morning smoke in. Let's go check our traps. Two. Three. Yeah, they're not catching anything. We did put bait in two of them. Let's just remove them. We're kind of burning through our worms. I think what we'll do is let's put it further out. This little clearing looks nice. But I still like we got to put it in the middle of like the trees. So maybe we'll go do that. Yeah, I guess we could just put it right here, kind of along the fence. All right, their traps are placed. Let's get out of here. Should be able to find another car here. Wait, we still have our gas on us. Let's mark, mark the little area where we put our traps, just in case. Not hard to miss, since it's not far from the, the fence. Right, let's go hunt another car. Wait, I saw a nightstick on one of them. If there is a car down there we can take a lot of zombies over here. You know what, let's just leave them. They're just going to keep respawning, it doesn't really make sense. Just stay focused. Oh, there's a lot. Yeah, there's still a few here, but not, not too many. Gonna take them a while to get here. Right, this one still has gas in it. Actually, that reminds me. Yeah, I meant to check. So you do still have to be a certain distance. You can't just check from real far away if it's got gas or not. So notice right here, it's not giving me the option. If I get a little closer, yep, there you goes. So you have to be really close. Nice. Right up, first try. Alright, let's just start. Filling in the parking lot, I guess. Oh, nice. It's actually got some decent stuff. Yeah, one thing I need to do is fix these. So, up, down. Yeah, this is kind of jacked up. Alright, let's just do this one. Just want these to alternate properly so it's easier to, to grind it when we start doing that. It's also nice to have. Um, all these are already pretty hot wired, so we don't have to worry about it again. So these are good. This is facing the wrong way. The seat is missing. What the heck? Are you kidding me? 
He used his elbow instead of pulling out his weapon. I didn't know that if he had the... Yeah, I didn't know if he had that thing in there, it wouldn't go. So, unfortunately, this literally has no seat. So, it is what it is. Yeah, we can't even get the thing out of it. That's okay, it's only missing one. It's only off by one. Well, we're going to be injured for a while, so let's go ahead and chill out. All right, next dish. We got one more of these things. This one's a big one, 96. So that one should be pretty good. You know, I don't think you can put mac and cheese in anything. So let's just eat this. We're, our calories are extremely low. So we'll eat that a couple times. Yeah, we're at 80 and losing still. Okay, well, when in doubt, just keep reading. Probably do a little farming too, actually, now that I think about it. I think some of those are ready. Some of these need... Uh, not just that one was not watered. It must have a disease that uses a, a lot of the water. Seed bearing. So the only one that's not seed bearing is this one in the end. So let's go ahead and harvest these other ones. There you go, that's one level. Now we're definitely going to want to rush the book on this next one because, oh, it just died, didn't it? Parched. What if we grab a watering can? No, it won't actually let me water it. Yeah, it's just dead. Alright, everything's watered. Everything that we can water anyways. So what do you do with this one then? I guess maybe we just wait for it to die off completely. Got a lot of radish. Look at that. 35 and 140 seeds. Whoa. That's a lot. Now, radish don't really give you much. Minus three hunger. It's pretty bad. Wow. That one barely moved it. Yeah, we're still losing weight even with that. if we eat all our mac and cheese nope doesn't move it much one thing at a time farming too let's go and start reading that the seeds back too yeah we have a lot 216 geez but oh, we're gonna need it though we've got a lot of planning to do yeah maybe we can fix our sleep here and we'll just deal with being tired for a while and read the rest of this magazine really want to get this done before um, before you harvest anything else. Right, I think we can probably sleep. Oh, wow. Yeah, we slept a long time. Oh, here we go. Reading in the rain. Here we go. Just about done. So we got farming. Well, we should be able to get that up to four for sure. Seed bearing. Yep, these are ready to go. Strawberries are still blooming, but not seed bearing yet. These are all seed bearing. And that one is not. This one looks like it's not. Alright, let's start pulling these up. That is a lot of XP. 243. Yeah, we're gonna get it just. just on this broccoli, we'll have it. Hope we got it. Alright, let's back off. See if we can read another book. It is pouring rain. Holy crap. We gotta shit some weight here. We're <laughs> severely overburdened. I don't think we're gonna have enough room in the freezers for all this. This is a lot. Yeah, maybe that's a little too much broccoli. we could do we have this microwave it doesn't even take that much energy to use it right, let's see how much calories we get from this bad boy mm, hardly anything why is the unhappiness so high in this that's weird all right well 
whatever. We'll deal with that happiness. Yeah, we got our calories up just a little bit. Oh yeah, we need to read the next level of farming because there's a lot of those are ready to go again. We have three, we don't have four. So we need to find more books soon. It's time to break out the cereal because this thing will definitely get us back on track calorie wise. Right? Well wow, man, we're we're below eighty now. At seventy nine, which isn't a big deal, but we don't want to go lower than that. So let's we'll bulk up a little bit. Speaking of which, we could just eat some candy. Alright, we might need to spend some time dealing with the bottles. Alright, almost done. We got a couple more cooking pots we can throw out here. What we got? We got about 10 empty bottles, that's fine. Okay, let's get the bandage off. This thing should be completely healed. Yep, we're good. Alright, back to farming. Yeah, we get to read. You know, let's force ourselves to sleep a little bit. It's already four. I'd like to be awake for some of the day. Go check out our traps. Actually, we could probably just go straight down the fence. Some twigs. There you go. So it took about just under an hour to, to walk that. It's not too bad. That's very unusual. Mm, we haven't caught anything. Uh, I'm going to just remove these. I got to figure out what I'm doing wrong. Maybe this is just not a good area to do it. Since we're already out here, let's do a little bit more forging. Our twigs. Yeah, how is our forging doing? Eh, not bad. We got a few zombies out here. Let's just... Oh, actually... There's a lot. First some brought us a machete. And it's more than half. It's still pretty good durability. not find anything good on these. Let's start heading back. Maybe that reminds me. Let's get rid of this. Alright, I don't think we want to go too far. Well, you know what? Still technically in the town. Okay, so we want to get the car parts. I found a bug. Not bad, 60 something XP. Another chipstone. It's interesting because sometimes it'll give a little tiny burst of forging XP, even if we don't find anything. I'm not sure how they determine all that. Like, we haven't gotten it in a little while. It could be... I Sometimes when you pick stuff up, it gives it to you in, like, chunks. You get, like, three chunks for one item. Maybe that was just a, a later chunk that kind of got delayed. Alright, here we go. Yeah, that like gave us 200 and... Holy crap, that was, like, 500 XP for one thing. Yep, that's almost level 5. All right, made it back home. I think we finish up farming and then go up top before those things go bad. In the previous episode, we set traps in a grass area outside our base to catch animals. 
We spent some time leveling up our farming and cleared out some zombies around the base. Right, done. Let's go finish. How do we get rid of this thing then? No, well, maybe it says receding, so maybe it'll it'll die off on its own. Seed bearing. Nice, these are all seed bearing. That is so much XP. Now what is left behind? Seedling strawberry, so we only We only picked enough. What's wrong with this one? We're getting more info parched. Yeah, we can't water it though. Plus, these are ready to be harvest harvested. Alright, this is ready for harvest. Radish, but it's not. Oh, we're overweight. Let's go back. We need to actually build um, a container up here. That's what we should do. So farming is five. That is so fast. That's really fast. All right, we're running out of space, so we're going to put the strawberries somewhere else. Yeah, let's start taking some of these. Yep, we got seven roast dishes we got to get rid of or use. I don't think we need the cereal right now. Let's put that back. Oh yeah, we got a big backpack full of stuff. Let's do with that. Uh, we're gonna, we don't have room. Let's actually pull all the shotguns. All right, that frees up a lot. Let's go put the chipstone tree branch down. So we've got, yeah, we still have at least six, uh, six of the wood axes that we can make. All right, the leak. Let's go and throw that in the freezer. Yeah, let's actually grab our shovel. Let's go dig some furrows. Gas can's kind of weighing us down. Let's undo that. All right, let's see how good this roast is. Uh, I didn't see it move at all, actually. Alright, here we go. We can remove it with the shovel. So I guess it just keeps going. The strawberries. Yeah, this one's got mildew issues, but it, it'll be ready for harvesting soon. So I think we'll just leave it for now. Let's get the furrows ready. Here we go. That's uh, 31 worms. I think we picked up a couple there. Just gotta figure out where the heck we're putting this bird trap because it's not catching anything. You know what? I'm just gonna harvest these actually. Yeah, let's just do that. And then as far as the generator, let's go ahead and move it. Just gonna track some zombies from this side for sure. It's closer to the edge, but that's fine. It's um, we gotta fuel this thing up. All right, that is almost a hundred percent. So we'll take these two empty ones. Let's spend some time planting. I think. That's kind of nice. Strawberries don't really go bad. Or uh, you can eat them frozen and they don't give you the debuff, that's what I meant. So we don't need our shovel. Let's go put that back. We're going to need a lot of carrot seeds. We got cabbage. Unfortunately, we only have four packets. But that's that's actually still a lot. Yeah, that's going to be one of the main ones. Let's actually just open everything. I'd rather have them all out in seeds rather than kind of mixed. So I know what, what I got, what I don't got. I think we're not going to need to eat for a while. Let's let's put this roast back. I don't want it going bad on us. Uh, I can't fit. Right, we'll throw it with the meats. Yeah, we've... <laughs> I think we overshot our goal here on seeds. Let's grab cabbage seed. Let's go do that first. Yeah, it's dark. Hmm. kind of want to get this set up, though. So... I want one full row of cabbage, at least. There's an entire row of cabbage. Still need to water it, though. You know, we'll... It's getting late. Let's, um... We'll deal with it later. Let's just go to sleep. It's good time. It's almost midnight. We'll wake up maybe four or five. Yep. 
All right, tomatoes. Let's get some tomatoes going. Yeah, how about we take half so we're not overburdened? All right, we got cabbage, strawberry, put tomatoes on this side. Yeah, that didn't even use up that many seeds. So what we can do is we can rotate the crops. I, I know it doesn't matter. We don't need it to do that, but we also probably don't need this many. We've pulled all this stuff. We definitely need carrots. Yeah, I think the more carrots we have, the better off we'll be. Because we, we need to get the hunting going. Speaking of hunting, we need to go check on our traps. Did we? Oh, we didn't set them. Yeah, that's right. We moved them. We need to go find a good spot for them. This is what strawberries. Yeah, I need to. I need to move the, the container up here because this is not a good idea. Just moving back and forth. If we move farming up there, that means we could probably. Oh, uh, we could move this one there. The the metalworking. So strawberries. Let's also do... We have a lot of broccoli. Let's go potato. Last one, potatoes. Now we gotta worry about watering all these things. Let's go put the seeds back since they're kind of heavy. Also, let's move the fertilizer up top. Definitely doesn't need to be in there. Oh, there's another gunshot. As long as he leaves our rope alone, I don't like hear what he does. But I definitely hear him. Be nice if it rains soon. Because this thing's this is gonna take a while. And you know, let's take more than one of these things. I was trying to avoid doing that because it was too heavy, but... Oh, that's not what I meant. Great. One of my water bottles I filled up. Okay, well... Let's dump it out before I forget. And actually, I'm going to take up the third watering tin. I just... This is taking way too long. There we go. We're almost there. I think what I need to do next time is just throw these on the floor. So I don't accidentally use the water because it's... I was trying pretty hard not to do that. But didn't help. Yeah, because once I, once I fill it up with the tainted water, I guess that container's pretty much done. That's carrots done. Let's get the potatoes. Last couple ones. Just double check, make sure we didn't miss anything. Oh yeah, see, look at that. It's, I mean, it's in good shape, but not, not fully watered. Although maybe it's just because it took us so long. Yeah, I think that's what it is actually. Because so long to water everything that the first thing we watered is no longer full. Alright, no big deal. We used up quite a bit of our water too. It didn't take us quite a whole day to finish that, so that's good. We still have some time. Let's go deal with our water issue. Actually, speaking of which, these are all tainted as well. Yeah, we'll just grab new bottles. Right, calories are dropping pretty fast. We gotta keep eating. Now, I think what we'll do is let's just spend the rest of the day reading. Could also go down real quick, clear out the zits. Can't really tell where they are. They don't sound like they're on this side though, so let's go down on this side first. Out on this side. Our building's getting a little bit of greenery going. That looks nice. There we go. 
Let's do a quick sweep here. All right, we're good. So let's head outside, do some reading, and we'll get back to work tomorrow. Yeah, we got to take this forest out for sure. That's blocking our view. Same thing with this house, but I don't know. Is that lit? We may have powered this when we moved the generator. We got to go check and see. Now, unfortunately, we're still losing weight, so we might have to keep something on us, like peanut butter or whatever, just to boost the calories. I don't think whatever we made is is cutting it. This has got salmon, bacon. That's all meat, though. There's only one thing of mushrooms. That's all right. We'll, um, let's eat some cereal. That'll do the trick. Not really. Yeah, I'm tempted to eat the peanut butter, but yeah, we just got to get the weight up. Okay, cooking is done. Let's put that back. I guess we read electrical, even though that's not gonna, it's not gonna move for a while. Yeah, let's just read for a little bit, then we'll go to bed. Let's take a nap. Should be almost daylight. Yeah, we're in good shape here. So what do we want to skill up today? Farming should be good on its own for a bit. Cooking. We don't need to cook for a while because we have quite a few dishes that we made. Yeah, speaking of which, let's put the cereal back. So we could work on the next level of metalworking. That's probably not a bad idea. So welder. Mask, propane torch, and we'll get uh, one of the tanks. We got a few visitors here. Let's get them over here so we can dump them quick. Alright, we do need to take couple of these fuel cans up there. So I'll try and remember to do that in the morning. We also have a gas can so we can take a car back. Something should have done already. Let's get rid of these. All right, there we go. Yeah, let's go across the street. We can deconstruct a bunch of stuff. Quite a bit of junk food we could take here. Might as well do that. So we're going to deconstruct. Actually, no, these are wood, aren't they? Yeah, these are wood. I think the only, th only thing in here that we can do is, is that fridge. We'll do that. Right, we're getting good materials now. didn't do the electrical. We don't have it fully red. I don't want to disassemble that yet. Let's get rid of the counters. That took us up to about half a level. Yeah, this one's got a bunch of metal shelves and stuff too. Tank's empty. Let's go refill. There we go. That's almost the full load. Well, two-thirds of the way there anyways. We've got quite a few in here too, though. And it looks like some of these things we cannot disassemble. These chairs. Right, no big deal, we'll just dump everything out of these. Alright, here we go. Got it, we got a level. 
could also disassemble a garbage bin. Now let's see if there's anything good here. Yeah, metal sheets and screws will take. No, we trashed most of it. We're actually full on inventory. Go drop stuff off. We're gonna need to pick up more food anyways. Working thing is going to run out of space soon, I think. Yeah, it's pretty much capped. You know, let's put our snare traps down, they're really heavy. All right, let's go back across the street, clear the rest of that building out. We can go upstairs too, there's a bunch of ovens. Take some electronics. I think we gotta start. Uh, we gotta be a little bit more selective with the stuff we're taking because we're just not running out of space. I right, can disassemble the file cabinets and some plumbing in here too, actually. Metal working, 750. Yeah, we got a little ways to go. Oh, you know what? Box of paper clips, that's I was just saying, and we didn't have one of those. So we'll take one. Yeah, I'm gonna bypass taking any of this stuff actually. Alright, we can get rid of the stool. Can't get rid of the doctor's thing. We're empty again. All right now, here's somebody growling around here. Got to be careful. Tempted to do no. These doors. I was gonna say these are metal doors. We could deconstruct it, but we'll just leave it. Deconstruct that. Yep, I don't think we can get anything else in here. Alright, two chairs. So that puts us 200 out of 750. It's pretty good for one little building. We still got a few more rooms to go. Yeah, I don't even we can take these. That's fine. So 250 out of 750, we are a third of the way there. Right, who's complaining? It sounds like it might be in one of the rooms. Pretty sure we checked all these. So if he's not in the rooms, Means he has to be upstairs. Another gunshot. That'll be fun to deal with. But how did you get in here? They must have respawned in here. Yeah, that's not that's not possible. Unless I just didn't check this small room. Which I'm pretty sure I did, but maybe I didn't. Either way. Let's start taking stuff out. Maybe if it should give us a decent amount, maybe times two. Nope, only eight. Can't do anything with this thing, but some water. All right, let's clear the rest of these out. That's pretty good, 16. Let's double what the chairs give. So we are pretty much halfway. Oh, it's getting dark. Yeah, I can't see squat. All right, let's finish up. I 
think it's just this filing cabinet. And then we'll get out. Yeah, these dishes are just not giving us any calories. Oh, before we go to bed, let's take a quick look at our plants. Yeah, water levels are decent. Our generators doing good. Yeah, we don't have to mess with that. Yeah, it's not quite late enough to sleep. We'll go to one and then we'll sleep. 5.30 is still kind of early. Yeah, even eating this roast like way more than we should. We're staying completely full every time. It's still not enough calories. Seven a.m. That's good. Let's eat the rest of this. We'll grab another dish, and I uh, yeah, I don't know what else we're gonna do. So same building. Let's finish. So we got medical. We did that one. I think we did. Yeah, we did all these actually. We got to get the travel and then maybe go upstairs and do all the fridges and stoves. Probably going to be enough to get us to four. Yeah, the cubicle things. These we can deconstruct as well. How much XP? Oh, they split up into two. 16? And we get that twice? That's really good. Yeah, this this little shop is a really good um, farm for uh, for metalworking. And the cabinets, it's got metal shelving in the closet. We might even just get it from this. 500. We've got a bathroom to deal with, too. Alright, that took us up to 6. Yeah, 6.15. We're almost there. So I think we'll just go upstairs. Get a couple fridge and stoves, and then we should be good. And let's just start all the way at the end. And work our way in. Yeah, we can get the fridge. Stoke, that one gives a lot. 24. And then we can also do the sink. And we can get the bathroom. Oh, we have the bathtub. I forgot about the bathtub. Those give a lot. Let's see what this gives. 32. I think it gives it twice though, right? No, just once, but th I mean, 32 is a lot. Yeah, that's really good. I think one more apartment will have it. Yep, there we go. So we gotta read that book next. All right, we're moving along here. Tailoring, we probably need to get tailoring up. First aid, we need to do at some point. It's just a pointless skill, but we got to do it anyways. Well, now is a pretty good... <laughs> today's a pretty good day to do tailoring. And we don't have to worry about the crops. They're getting rained on. Water barrels are getting refilled. Trapping, that's what we need to do. We need really need to get trapping going. Yeah, these roasts are really satiating, but... They are not calorically dense, or however you want to call it. Alright, how much propane tank? We only used half the propane tank to get... Actually, is that... Oh, we used two different ones. So, but if you take out those two, getting 0 to 4, we didn't even use one propane tank completely. It's pretty cool. Alright, well, I guess we're... Let's eat the rest of this thing, and then we'll go back to eating cereal. 
I'm just gonna chow the whole thing down. Yeah, it barely did anything. What a waste. And it looks like we burned through our matches and lighter. Let's go grab some more. We got quite a few. So let's go ahead and grab everything. Red needle and our leather jacket. Actually, I think we also have, if I recall, we have some clothing that we did not fortify just yet. So let's do that. Yeah, we didn't do this one yet. Do we have to unequip this thing? Is that why it's not letting us do it? It did this last time. We have the needle on it. We have everything on us and it's not letting... All right, let's put it all back again. What if we do it from here? There you go. Yeah, it's weird. You have to put it back. It got bugged out somehow. So we'll add padding to all these and then we're just going to wear it. And then we'll, we'll butcher this thing. All right, here we go. Now I don't want to burn through all the leather strips that we have. So let's go ahead and put these back. And I haven't consolidated these in a while. Let's do that. So down to 51. That's still a huge amount. And let's start using the dirty rags. Alright. There we go again. So I think I have to put the dirty rags. Maybe grabbing the stuff from the floor is the problem. Let's see if that... Nope, that didn't do it. Let's put everything back. Grab it again. Still won't let me do it. What the heck, man? Do I have to get away from... Maybe he's trying to put stuff from the floor. Get away from everything. I really don't know why it keeps doing that. This is so weird, man. What the hell? Alright, let's take another piece of clothing. Maybe? Yeah, we already patched. I don't want to keep taking all these leather strips off. This is stupid, man. Um, maybe I'm not allowed to patch leather. Maybe I can't patch leather with... Uh, with the dirty rags, the regular cloth. Let's let's try it. Let's just take everything off. You see, I don't want to patch. I don't want leather strips. Maybe get the leather strips back. Maybe it's something with these dirty rags it doesn't like. Let's see. Yeah, we can do the padded sheets for some reason. I definitely don't want to grab half, but there's so many of these things like. We'll just have to take the leg damage, I guess. Oh. Somebody's trying to bust our door down. So let's tailoring three. Let's just keep going. If he wants to bust the door down, that's fine. Okay, thread-wise, we didn't use that much. It does use up the rip sheets, which is good, because we have... 800 of these things. We need to get rid of them. Yeah, we are pretty much out of calories. Let's eat our mac and cheese. It looks like the overweight damage stops at a certain... Yeah, about 75%. But we'll try and finish this up and then we'll go to bed. It's almost there. Our door finally busted. Can actually get some sleep. Oh, he's busting another door down. <laughs> Alright, there's tailoring. Let's get rid of these rip sheets so we don't bust our leg. We used about 75 there. And then we used a lot of thread. Alright, so next time we'll probably try and work on first aid. It's yeah, that one hasn't moved at all since we started, so. Trapping for sure. That needs to go up too. So let's go ahead and grab our traps. Now might not be a bad idea or a bad time to, to build those rain barrels too. We gotta build a couple more of those upstairs. Yeah, you know what, let's do it. I forget. I know I'm gonna forget. Let's get one over here. Get one in the corner. Let's 
Let's get one more in that other corner, and then we'll be good. Yeah, right here. There we go. That looks good. That's really good coverage. We're running out of planks. We gotta do some more wood chopping soon. Well, next thing we're doing is going outside, so let's take the gas cans. Let's get our water situation ready. So I will forget when I come back. And we'll grab some food that we can survive off of. Let's see who's bothering us. Oh, there's two. There's three. So they busted in our front door, unfortunately. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to rip everything, but we're just going to toss the... We'll toss the, the rags because we just... There's no way we can use all this. Yeah, we'll toss all the strips. And then we'll just keep the thread. But the nice thing is, thread is easier to get as our tailoring goes up. Well, let's pick up our door that just got busted in. In the previous episode, we checked traps, watered some plants, and deconstructed some things for metalworking XP. Three zombies broke in downstairs, but we dispatched them quickly. So I did a little bit of research, and I realized what the heck I was doing wrong. <laughs> People are probably yelling at the screen. Stick traps is not the same as a snare trap. I've been putting bait in a snare trap for the stuff that animals don't go after. So we gotta make a stick trap. Sturdy sticks in one twine we can make these could also make the trap box no 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 the wooden wooden trap box we could do this we have a lot of carrots let's just start with the stick traps just because i feel like um kind of want to get that progression and get some experience using each of these snare trap we can use as well it has a lower chance to capture stuff so at least this one it's different because it captures a different animal so let's just get sturdy sticks now i believe we can get that by chunking up these things, right? No, that's not the case. I think we might have to do it with a freshly cut log. Or we could do it with the tree branch, maybe? No. No, I think it's the logs. So yeah, we need sturdy sticks. Well, why don't we just make a couple? There, made two of these. Stone axes, let's go chop them down real quick. A stone axe almost survived. Yeah, two trees, almost three. So if you go to the logs. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm pretty sure it's because I don't have. Where are you? Yeah, I don't have a saw. Okay, well. <laughs> it's going to be one of those recordings, I guess. We'll get there. I think maybe we could still do that. Let's see here. If we grab a saw, can we cut these up? Sturdy stick. Yeah, it's actually what it is. So. How many sturdy sticks do we get? We get eight. So one plank you get. Yeah, that's a huge amount. All right, well, we don't need to do too much more than that. I think actually we'll do one more. I'd like to make four, and they're four each. And let's just toss the stone axe on the floor. Oh, we need to go over to the crafting near our twig. And now we can stick traps. Yep, let's make all four. It's a shame you don't get XP for doing that. That's kind of weird. Okay, stick traps. We got worms for that. We still have the twine. I don't want to actually use these, these snare traps. Yeah, I don't really want to use them. It's just going to use our bait. We can already create the, the better traps. So I'd rather just do that. Let's go set these stick traps out. I was going to do some searching, but it's starting to rain. Which means we're going to get a debuff there. Oh, that's right. We're cutting everything up. We'll give them the rags back. So we need to be 75 away from the base. I think the first place that we chose last time is probably good enough. We can go to this little clearing. It's kind of surrounded by woods. So let's set them up here. Bait them. All right, we should be good. Got minus 30. Yeah, it's not, not worth it. So we'll just go back 
Maybe we'll do some reading or something. Let's see, what do we need to read? Metalworking, tailoring. Probably tailoring, because we are getting some XP every time we rip stuff up. So it's probably a good idea to, to do that. And I don't remember when I checked the generator last. Let's just check it right now. 46%. Yeah, it's starting to run a little bit low. Actually, we have, we have a gas can on us right now. Let's just fill it up. And there's just a tiny bit of gas in there. We'll probably get rid of that. Or go fill it up. Right, how much gas do we have left? We got eight empty ones. But we have a ton of full ones, so... Let's go and bring three up top, one in the trunk. Yeah, we'll put three back up top. But Mr. Crops are getting watered. If we stand on this square, I don't think we'll get wet, but we're still outside, so that'll help with the, the unhappiness. But let's just keep reading. We'll get this one out of the way, we gotta do tailoring next, and then hopefully this storm will dissipate. Electrician's done. Tailoring, we have all of the tailoring books. Yeah, I think it's time to start eating the peanut butter. So our weight is just really hard to control right now. That's not doing hardly anything, what the heck? Usually it skyrockets the weight. You know, I think maybe that one was chopped up because we did use it in some recipes. Let's see if we have one that's... No, these are... I see. They're not full. Oh, wow. We ate the whole thing and it just brought our calories up. So now we're gaining weight, which is good. We're at 78. We don't want to go back below 75. All right, back outside to read. At 2 a.m. Let's go sleep. Got about a third of the way through the book. Now our weight should be good from the peanut butter. Let's just we'll munch off some of these other roasts that we made. Still raining a little bit. It's fine. I think we just... Oh, you know what? We need to go check our traps. Yeah, let's go do that. Yeah, when it's raining, we'll run. When it's clear, we'll search. All right, they're all still there. Some of them need their bait replaced. Hmm, it's pretty bad luck. It's supposed to be like a 45% or 40% chance of getting a bird. We have four of them, so the expectation value is pretty high of getting at least one, and a lot of the times getting two. So I'm wondering if maybe we're still too close to the base. That's pretty far. If we don't get anything by tomorrow, we'll move it over again. It's still kind of wet everywhere. Let's just read. I think it'll start drying up. Yeah, here it goes. It's starting to dry up a little bit. There, it's pretty much dry at this point. So what else could we be doing here? We do need first aid. We need to start leveling some of the other skills. You know what? Let's go... Wait, did I keep... I did not. I was going to say I needed to keep one of the gassing cans. Let's go bring another car or two. We'll bring that back. When we start doing mechanical, we're going to need a lot of cars. Yeah, you know what? Why don't we just go get gas? Yeah, we'll get some XP while we're doing it. Oh, it is kind of repopulated, actually. We're going to have to spend some time clearing this. Actually, I should have brought another weapon. This thing's not going to last, I don't think. Alright, double check our back. We should be good. We got a decent amount that are going to migrate over here. Oh, and this pack. Kind of a big crowd. Alright, we need to make sure we're not going to new territory. Pulling in new people behind us. So let's just go back and forth in this area. Yeah, this is really dangerous actually. There's too many. Get them single file again. And try and pick up some of these stragglers since they're by themselves. There we go. Pick off the weak ones as we can. Yeah, we're already overexerted, so it's 50% less damage. Not ideal. 
We'll lead him away, and I think what we'll do is we'll just take him to the back. We'll rest a little bit, and then we'll come back and take him out. Alright, now we'll run for it. Let's chill on the floor for a little bit. There we go. We're good. Yeah, I think they're mostly stuck back there. So let's just get the gas. Alright, there we go. We got three gas cans. That's all nine. Generator is still 100%, so don't need to mess with that. Alright, let's go hit some zombies. Ooh, that's a lot. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. But you know what? Actually, I did not do... didn't strip all of these. 22 thread off that. That's pretty good. Alright, let's go back. Maybe we'll grab a car or two, drive them back, and then we'll call it a day. Yeah, there's still a bunch up here we can grab. Let's take a quick stroll back here. So there's three... Yeah, there's a fourth. So yeah, we don't have to go far. And then this parking lot, I think we already grabbed him. Nope, there's still one there. Alright, well we got stuff we can get. Yeah, let's go up there and grab them. And you know what? I don't think we stripped these. Yeah, I was getting lazy over here. You know what? Let's level up sprinting. Might as well. You know what? We didn't do it to these guys either. Let's just do it. I know if I don't do it now, I'm going to regret it. Oh, I didn't want to wear the jeans. I'm going to regret it later. It is kind of nice doing it after the fact because then you can pick up the maggots. That'll be good for fishing. That's all then. Let's go ahead and grab a car. Alright, first try. Our electric skills getting a lot higher. I believe it's based on that. Right, I got a few things in the glove box we can use. Alright, let's go ahead and give her a nice little bump. Not the gas can. We're not going to whack her with the gas can. Go, let's take the gas back out. It's pretty late. I think we'll just go back upstairs, read a little bit, and go to bed. We have... Oh, I was going to say something's really weighing us down, but it's because the gas can thing weighs like five when it's full. All right, let's dump everything off. It's mostly going to be tailoring. 57 thread. Whoa. There we go. So we should be good there. Let's um, smoke, read, and then go to bed. Should be able to finish this by tonight. And the nice thing is we are kind of slowly leveling that up every time we tear the close part. We got a 111 XP. That's not bad. We're not even actively trying to level it. All right, there goes that. We got to read metalworking next. Metalworking three. We do actually we have all all five metalworking. Alright, two thirty. Let's see if we can get some sleep, even though we're not that tired yet. It takes us to seven. And we gotta grab more food. This thing just ran out. And our weight has leveled off at 80. That's perfect. Got three more meals, then we gotta start cooking some stuff. Let's go check our traps again. Although I don't know if it's too early. Yeah, I'm not sure. I know you're supposed to wait till morning. Dusk and dawn, I think, is when you're supposed to check them. So let's read for a couple hours, and then we'll go check on it. All right, and we haven't really leveled sprinting much. We should probably do that. Oh, some of them are down. That's good. Just one, I guess. We got ourselves a bird. Well, at least we know it works. We had to blow through quite a few worms to get that, though, unfortunately. So let's go take the bird back. Whoops. Don't run through trees, I guess. But dead bird, we should be able to butcher. Yep, we just use a kitchen knife. And that increases the yield to 30 hunger. It's a pretty big difference. Throw that in the freezer. Alright, so today... Yeah, we still need trapping. We're going to need a lot of traps if we're going to do this efficiently. I think we'll spam the, the bigger traps. I'm thinking that's what we need to do now because this is going to take a while. Yeah, let's do that. 
So I know the cage trap is the best one. Uses a bunch of wire. And the problem is we don't have trapping skill for that. So the next best, if we're trying to catch actually rabbits or squirrels, we can use a trap crate. Okay, we can't even do that one yet anyways. Trap crate, nails and planks. So nails, we need a saw. So let's go spam a bunch of these. Oh, you do actually get carpentry for that. That's nice. Yeah, the other one was not, is definitely not giving us anything. So we'll drop those for now. We did cut some trees. There's some logs down here we can saw and turn into traps as well. Let's go do that. We can make four more traps. Yeah, how much do they weigh? They only weigh one. That's not too bad. Let's go grab some carrots. Get those set up. I don't want this thing to take forever. We only need six carrots. Let's make sure they don't get wasted. Throw the nails back, and then we'll go set those traps. We should be able to put them all in the same area. I don't think it really matters. There's a higher chance being in the deep forest, but we're not really anywhere near that, so I don't, don't know that it's worth our time to do it. So we'll go put those back up. But we gotta make sure we place them so that we can actually fit. There we go, and we'll throw our carrot in there. Alright, so we're set. Let's get out of here so these things can get trapped. Guess what we can do? There's no car here. There is up here and across the street. We can bring another one back. That way we can really hit mechanical really hard when we want to. Should probably spend some time fixing up those cars. Or at least the main one that we want to use. Do that. We got trapping going. We need to start working on fishing. There's a lake to the south. So... We'll probably start taking trips down there. And let's not get lazy. I gotta start. Yeah, we gotta strip everybody. Alright, and just to be efficient, let's go ahead and turn on Nimble and, and searching. Probably what I should have been doing this whole time, to be honest. Nimble just takes such a long time. Oh, there we go. We got, got a caterpillar. Where's the cars? I know there's a several over here. Actually, we're pretty close up here. Might as well just head up here. Yeah, we'll be seeing you in a minute. Well, let's actually deal with her first, since we got a bunch coming in front. Sure, our weapon may not survive this fight. Oh, maybe. Oh, that actually scared me. Oh, perfect timing. All right, weapons down. Go ahead and strip everybody. We'll get a car and we'll go back. Let's see if we can get a car without getting attacked here. Oh, there's a cool looking black van over there. That might be a nice one. All right, this one actually has fuel in it already and the key. Oh, I don't know if I turned that off on accident or if it's just the engine died. This one we're pulling in forward. Yeah, we did not have the key for that one already. That one was... That one was there. Oh, we need another weapon. It's time to start farming maybe short blunt. So let's see of the short blunt weapons that we have. Let's see which one does the most damage. And we'll start using that first. Hundred and forty one. But we haven't consolidated in a while, so there's a lot of empty ones. You know what? Let's just let's just use the wrench for now. Alright, that should be good for now. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot about that. So we grabbed I for I forgot about that. We only used half of the carrots. So let's put these back. Yeah, because it takes a certain amount of hunger each time you leave it as bait. You don't use the full carrot. Totally forgot about that. But right, let's read. We get metal working done. And we'll just chill for a little bit. 2 a.m. Let's go back in.
Now, I have not checked on the crops or the generator. I think it's been a couple days. Let's go check on those. The generator is looking good. Crops are still... Yeah, everything's above 90. It's fine. 65%. We're good for a little bit. Let's see if there's any diseases going on. Doesn't seem like it. I'm not checking every single one, but... Seems like what we have is, is in pretty good shape. And one thing we could do, we could use the fertilizer. I haven't done that yet. We might as well do it. Now, it says fertilized one. So, can you fertilize more than one? Did I, I think that used all of our fertilizer. Which is good. These things are kind of big and bulky. I'd rather just get rid of them. We'll use it. Now, supposedly that cuts a certain amount of time. Let's just use the, the rest of the fertilizer. Be done with it. Kind of weird that you don't get any XP for doing some of these things. Seems like you should, probably should. Right, that's all the fertilizer. We didn't we didn't get around to the potatoes. We did only half the carrots, but everything else has it. So now we've got a little bit of dirt, empty sacks, a bunch of these things. That's the last of our meal. Let's put the roasting pan back, grab another one. We'll start cooking again soon. We got only two left. Probably eat some junk food after this, actually, because I think our weight's going to go down just doing this. All right, it's a clear enough day. Let's just search mode. Now, we don't have the same power we did before. We got to be a little bit more cautious on... Uh, on combat here. Oh, I didn't even grab any of the bait. I still have the worms though. I don't think any of these other traps are down. Oh, nice. Oh, we got carrots. That's a lot of foraging. I check trap. We got three birds for that. That's really good. How are these doing? Most of them still have bait, a couple of them do not. Interestingly enough, can't use the weld. Actually, maybe I have to unpack it, let's see. Yeah, there we go, so I can actually use the wild carrot, let's just do that. I think we found one. Oh wow, it used the whole thing. I guess the wild carrots are smaller. Well, there you go, we'll have to come back and do that at some point. Got a pine cone. As our nimble, we're about halfway. Not quite, but very close to halfway. I gotta remember next time we go check a trap, we gotta go bring some carrots. Like the worms, I just keep them on so I don't forget. But the carrots, I don't because they'll go stale or rotten. So let's go butcher the birds. Throw them in the freezer and then we should be good. And that gives you a lot of cooking. Whoa. I didn't realize that butchering the animals did that. That's kind of cool. You know what we should probably do is is plumb in something. We gotta get a sink working in here. It's gonna be a bit of a pain having to constantly uh, deal with these purifying and all that. So actually, can we let me see if we can grab the one that's over here? It has to go on the wall. So can we pick it up? Wrench or pipe wrench? We can. Let's pick it up. Oh, uh, no, that didn't work. We could, <laughs> we could do the toilet. All right, we got a toilet. We could just drink from the toilet. I think that'd be pretty funny, actually. <laughs> Let's just assemble this TV and put the toilet there. All right, we got ourselves a toilet. Where are we going to get all of our water from now? <laughs> right, tools, we need to plumb it in. Get our pipe wrench. We can plumb it, and now we're good. That's hilarious, man. <laughs> well, we tried to get the sink first, but it didn't uh, didn't pan out that way. So it is what it is. Oh, you know what? The pine cones are junk. That sucks. Twelve in the afternoon. We still got plenty of time. We'll hang out to the pipe wrench. 
probably need to use it. I don't know how long this regular wrench is going to last, but we'll see. Alright, pine cones in the trash. Alright, now the question is what to do. Could start working on first aid. Trapping's going to gain. Next time we catch a couple things, we'll definitely have it. We'll have to read that book. You know what we could do? Let's, let's take a trip down to the lake. We can start trying to clear that out. Maybe build a little fortification so we can fish in peace. Yeah, let's do that. See how long it takes us to get down there. It's about 1 p.m. Oh, wow. Fire department is swarming. This station is swarming. There's a lot. Okay, well, we may need to spend some time clearing this out because that's actually not good. Yeah, let's do that. Let's spend some time. That's going to be dangerous driving past that. Yeah, it doesn't do nearly as much damage. Wait, why am I going back so slow? Yeah, that's not going to work. That's too many. Well, let's keep moving. We can drag them through the building and try and get them to narrow, narrow their numbers a little bit. It's probably not a bad idea, actually. Let's see if it's safe. deal with the one-offs. It's getting a little sketchy. Let's keep moving. Oh boy, that was really bad. We got bit, but uh, didn't penetrate the leather. Alright, that was really stupid. Alright, we're still good. Alright, new plan. Let's draw all these maybe over the fence and we can deal with them at the fence. Tempted. I'm just going to start yelling. That's fine. Here we go. We got them all bunched up. Let's get them out of here. Can't go too fast because then they'll start losing us. So we'll just kind of wind back and forth. Preferably away from the car. I don't want them bumping into it. I think they damage it even if they're not aggroed on it. We'll keep yelling. Pull those ones over here as well. I think that's the majority of them, actually. So, if we get rid of this group, then I think we should be in good shape. Alright, let's see how they do. Now, we'll want to try and fight along the fence. Yeah, not ideal. But we'll get them strung out long enough. Actually, not. We need to get these guys, too. They're, they're going to start wandering on the road, so... How far is the aggro range? There we go. These guys too. Come on. Join the party. That's a pretty healthy crowd. Let's curl back a little bit, pick up some of the stragglers. What we'll do is we'll drag them out over here somewhere. And then we'll try and lose them over the fence maybe. Since they can't jump that one. And then we'll double back get to the uh, the fire station again. Alright, let's yell, get him past here, and I think we can probably sprint away. We'll crouch down. Actually, uh, it doesn't even matter because we're going to jump the fence anyways. Yeah, we're good. Yep, they're still chasing over there. That's good. Perfect. Now, we did read our electrician book, didn't we? Yep, that one's ready. Let's go ahead and deconstruct this one, since we're already here. They do have a payphone in there. I want to get to that. Yep, these ones give a ton of XP. Nice. I am a little concerned if that giant crowd we were baiting around, if they decide to come back in, that could be pretty bad. Are you kidding me, man? What did I miss? Alright, I gotta focus here. Oh, that's a lot. Alright, they're gonna start breaking through. Let's get a few kills. Uh, they're gonna start streaming in a little fast, though. I, I don't know how that missed. Alright, let's just get out. This is turning into a nightmare. 
Okay, we'll pick off some stragglers. Might have to come back with a shotgun for that, to be honest. That's kind of, kind of a big crowd. Right, that's probably a short blunt level, if I had to guess. Alright, yeah, they're gonna start funneling out, which is fine. One by one, no big deal, we can handle it. Uh, we don't want to stop doing this, though. They haven't really spotted me out here yet, so that's fine. 5.30, yeah, I think we just spent some time leveling up. What did we get last time? Short Blunt? Level 3, which is pretty good. Let's start dealing with these guys. And alert half of them, at least. At least it's not going to use as much stamina, so we could probably do it for longer. And let's not start ripping stuff up till we get the rest of these guys out. We got a hatchet on that one. Oh man, three for three. There we go. Seems like getting them to the ground is the best way to do it. Cabbage seeds, wow. We're getting some pretty good drops from those zombies lately. I don't usually see that too early. I'd love to hit them on the ground, there's too many. They're kind of getting up too fast. Alright, got some company coming from that side, but she's by herself. Let's start stripping. In the previous episode, we swapped out the wrong traps for the right ones. We got gas and had to deal with the horde by leading them away. We headed towards the lake to build fortifications, bypassing a swarm near the fire department. We got some metalworking XP at random places like the prison, and we fought and evaded some hordes. This thing's about to bust too, we gotta switch weapons. There it goes. Let's go switch over to our pipe wrench. Alright, we don't want to be here too much longer. We could get sick. There's a lot of a lot of bodies. Yeah, let's try and get through this quick. Right, we are getting a little overburned. Dump everything. Ooh, this guy's got some good stuff. Yeah, no shoddy. We have so many shoddies. We'll take it though, just because we can use it for parts to repair. I think it takes longer to. Wait, what? Did I do the sheet rope? Yeah, I don't want to do sheet rope. Let's move. We are getting severely overburdened. I think that's it. Let's dump all this and we'll go back home. So pretty successful. We got a decent amount of tailoring. Yeah, about 250 XP there. About one and a half levels of short blunt. Cleared the way to the lake a little bit. Yeah, let's just get back. All right, this guy's got some stuff too. Let's take it. Again, another shoddy. Man, there's so many shotguns. don't remember how many bulletproof vests we got. Let's take a spare. I know we've got a lot of room in the, the uh, clothing container. So this road looks really clean now. All right, we can definitely come a little further. I don't know if we can make it all the way down, but we'll at least go a little farther. And we'll eat while we're on the road. Let's get back home. Yeah, eat and smoke. Oh, there's a big chunk of those... Not bad for a day's work, although we did get bit twice. Probably need to repair the clothing that we got on. See if we got any any holes. Got quite a bit of leather. Man, look at this thread. 211. That's going to come in handy for sure. 
And I think we're on the last one, right? Yeah, last dish. We'll go check out our hunting spots tomorrow. Maybe we can cook some of that stuff. Yeah, and our, <laughs> our toilet water. Refresh that. Actually, we should, probably should do is just replenish all of these. Now, I believe these are the most efficient ones. These alcohol bottles. But we'll take those as our primary. Now, I don't know if we have room for this stuff, but let's... No, we don't. <laughs> yeah, we literally have no room. I know for sure the shoddies we do not. So we'll just throw them to the pile. Okay, what I'm going to do now then... I was putting bread knives, scalpel lid opener. I don't know if we can use those actually for cooking. But let's throw them over there with the cooking thing. And then that'll allow us to put more... Like the hand axe, the nightstick. If it, ooh, just barely fits. Nice. Yeah, there's plenty of room over here. Let's just toss them all over here. So we've got bread knife, butter knife, forks, kitchen knife, letter opener, scalpel. A bunch of stuff we can use for cutting things up, but we could also use it for crafting. Well, you know, we have a bunch of cooking pots. I was going to say we can use it for crafting things, but uh, the, the better spears. Let's put the cooking pots up top. No, no, no. We want to sterilize it. Yeah, we do want to actually sterilize it because we can use those for making stews. Let's just do it. I mean, we've got so many things. Who cares? We'll toss these over here. So now we got a bunch of cooking pot with water. Since we have the fire up, let's just cook the raw stuff that we have. Yeah, we can make soups, stews, all kinds of stuff. That might be the better way to go. Alright, these things give 39, almost 40 hunger. Let's go sleep. No matter how much we stuff ourselves, it just burns all the calories. Alright, let's go read a little bit. Wait till maybe 9... And then we'll go check our traps. Oh, hold on. Let me get the carrots. I almost forgot again. Got the worms. Don't have the carrots. And we only need six. But what I might end up doing is just crafting, just spamming like 20 or 30 traps. Just so we can power level it. Oh, shoot. One thing I also need to check is our generator. I think it's going to be running low soon. 50%. Actually, it's okay. These all need to be watered again, actually. Yep, they just sprouted up again. So let's do that while we're waiting. We can check check the stuff midday. Alright, cabbages are good. It's using the water bottle now. I hate that. I hate that that's even out. I wish, I wish there was a toggleable where you can just turn off being able to use that. We still have water in the watering can, but it used it defaulted to the water first. Yeah, we still have watering cans. That is so stupid, man. I mean, it's not a big deal because we just grab it from here, but I would rather not have to deal with it in the first place. Wow, we can get through this whole thing with just the watering cans? No, almost. Almost. There, so that should be all of them. Let's just double check. Yep, they're all red, so we're good. And this is the one where we get our downstairs water from. So probably want to build another one next to it so they're they're kind of connected. I don't think it's going to be a problem. We we just don't use that much water. But better to have a little extra. All right, watering cans are done. And that took us till about 1040, so it didn't take us that long. Let's go ahead and grab our water so we're not dehydrating. And what I want to do is start grabbing more melee weapons. We'll use up the the crappy ones. Yeah, we'll use up the ones that are all beat up already. Haven't really had zombies around here in a while. It's kind of nice. Let's go ahead and turn on our search mode here while we're making our way. I see some traps down. That's a good sign. Is the weather bad? No, we're just not finding anything. No unusual going this far without finding anything, but it is what it is. There we go. We're at the traps, only one bird. 
ahead and put the bait back in. These probably need to be rebated. And we got one over here. Nice, we got a level off of that. Let's go ahead and add the carrot bait. Alright, that one's still baited. That one is... Yeah, only a couple of these things have been taken down. And what do we get? We got a rabbit and a bird. Alright, pine cones are junk. We'll discard that. It feels like Nimble is moving a little bit faster. Seems like we're getting the little pop-ups more frequently. Right, not a good foraging trip, but at least we got some... We got a bird and a, and a rabbit. We'll go throw those in. But first we'll butcher him. So rabbit gives 85. That is huge. It'll probably go up when we cook it. I can't believe it's that much. It's interesting. I feel like it's even more than the beef that we had. So metalworking is almost done, but we also need to pick up the next trapping. Yeah, we wasted some XP on that, but nothing we could have done. We blew right by it. Let's go down to trapping, volume 2. So I think what makes sense is to probably finish metalworking, just get it out of our inventory. Only 30 pages left, and then we'll work on trapping next. It's interesting, the carrot, it uses up almost all the carrot. There's only one hunger left by the time you, you get done. I don't think we can even cook with it. Yeah, we definitely want to get this book done before we get into tomorrow. So we'll have to check the trap again tomorrow. I think checking it at noon makes the most sense. Yeah, because then we're not even close to the dusk or the dawn. We just, you know, you get two cycles, check it around 12 every day, and then that should be fine. We'll go to bed at 1, wake up, and then we'll spend the beginning of the day just doing that again. Uh, just reading. You know, our forging is still doing pretty well, though, even though we didn't get much on that. It does level up pretty fast. All right, there we go. And let's grab the carrots or forget again. You know, we do burn through a lot of carrots. We probably need to plant a lot more than that. But the nice thing is they do give a ton of XP. So that's kind of nice. We can't use the ice cream for anything else recipe wise. So let's just eat some of this. Wait, did it just give us a debuff for eating frozen ice cream? Because it was frozen? Or maybe it had gone off? Hmm. It's kind of weird. There you go. Trapping, metalworking, those are all done. We have nothing else to read. Yeah, we just gotta get to work. Uh, let's go refill the generator. It'll probably be around 30% maybe. Yep, 37 Back up to 100. Let's go check on that ice cream. I'm, I'm really curious if they went off already. We should probably start eating all that stuff. No, it's fresh. I guess we need to... Oh, because it's melted. So once it's melted, you do get the debuff for eating it again, which is stupid because it actually tastes better when it's melted and then freezes again. At least for me anyways. Uh, let's deal with the boredom and all the issues. Let's read a comic. Still pretty early. Why don't we... Why don't we go clear? Nothing here. Let's go check the the route to the, the fishing area again. Just make sure it's in decent shape. We'll come back and check that before nighttime. Look at that. That's such a massacre. All right, we're going to have to spend some time here. Let's just try and get people on the floor. Oh man, that's a lot. That's a big crowd. Yeah, this is this is too much for the, the weapon we have, I think. Oh, I don't know how that missed. I guess this thing is like incredibly short. Well, we got like half the crowd down to low HP. Maybe we can draw him into the building. This thing's about to bust. No, maybe the building's a bad idea.
I gotta learn the distance on this because I keep missing. Yeah, two or more will back. Oh, we're just gonna keep picking up more though, unfortunately. Okay, so if we're gonna pick up more, let's just pick up everyone. We'll drag them through the building, I think. Yeah, we need to separate that out. I don't feel confident about doing this without risking too much. Can we get in here? Yeah, it's not too bad. Perfect, that's exactly what I was hoping for. So now they're gonna get dragged through here. We can pick off these one-offs and then they'll kind of slowly filter through. Guess we'll get ready to switch the uh, hot bar here soon. All right, let's not mess with that. It's too many. Yeah, I'm learning my lesson. Pretty big amount. Don't really want to mess with that again, so let's go again through. I don't know if this is a bad idea. Yeah, that's a pretty bad idea. Let's get everybody out. Once everybody's out, then I feel better about dragging them through again. Alright, let's catch up to this one. Now it's almost empty, so we can just waltz right through. That'll string him out a little bit. Let's go ahead and break this. And we'll make sure we got a nice getaway. Actually, why don't we just use it right now? Yeah, I don't see why not. There's no other way to get in back here. Alright, yeah, that's quite a few. How? It <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. Wasn't even close. Alright, let's actually get out. Take care of these knuckleheads. Right, there's quite a few, but that's fine. We can go through here. Yeah, it's a little sketchy, but there's not too many, so we should just be able to get out. And then they're going to be kind of by themselves. There we go. So this is a lot more manageable, I think. Assuming that giant crowd. Nope, giant crowd's still kind of there. Yeah, that's too much. Well, what can we do in here? Is there a lot of people? No, there's not really. Okay, no, you've got to be kidding me. That's... Okay, we almost died there because of that. That's such a joke, man. Such a joke. We were on the side of him, not, not in front of him. This one's clean. Let's just get out. Cut our losses and move on. Yeah, we can go take out these guys. That was that was silly. I have to watch that back again. I don't know, maybe I maybe I misclicked, but felt like I had him lined up pretty well. Oh, might as well look for stuff. I don't think I'm going to spend time ripping all that up right now. We need to get back and check our traps. Alright, this hammer's just about done. Let's actually clear some glass here. See if we can pull in some easy ones. Thought they might have followed me through here, but I guess not. There's a small group over here. Let's just take these out. And then we can, we can get out. There we go. Right back to the pipe. Pipe wrench. This firefighter is not taking any damage. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, we... I mean, we definitely thinned the herd. But there's still a lot in there, so... We're going to miss our, our lunch time, but that's alright. Let's just take some of these out. They're small groups. I don't want them grouping up again like, like they were before. Alright, sneaking and might put it one up again. I think that's seven. Pretty good. Alright, yeah, I feel better about it now. We 
Get a lot of watches. Let's just do it all now. We got walkie talkies. Let's take all these down. That'll hopefully give us a little bit more space. Visitor downstairs. I don't really want to deal with it right now, though. Uh, might as well. Not sure what door they already busted. They already busted the front door. Oh, it's the it's the wood. We don't need to hang on to any of this. I don't want to repair. Yeah, this wood hammer, wood club thing is trash. To get rid of that, let's go check our traps. We have carrots. We got worms. We got everything we need. Let's go do that. And since we're heading that way, let's just search again, I guess. Got a snail. Wow, 49. 148 XP. That's a lot. I guess it counts as food. How much can we eat you for? Five. Wow. Pretty gross. It doesn't look like any of the traps are down, unfortunately. Right, let's re-add the bait. So three worms down again. The carrot. Almost all, yeah, only two of these didn't need to be rebated, but everything else did. Okay, right, well, we're out. We still have a gas can with a tiny bit of fuel, so let's go grab another car. We'll just keep searching, getting foraging and nimble, and then we'll bring another car back. Nice, so we'll take a chipstone. Yeah, I think what we'll do is let's stay in this backside. There's going to be cars over there in the, I think it's the, the school parking lot, not too far away. So we'll just forage on the way there. Alright, we don't want poisonous mushrooms, we'll discard it. But you at least get the XP when you discard. Right, same thing with pinecone. It's junk. Okay, how are we looking on forging? We are, we, so we hit level 5, level 6, we need 6k. I don't think it's going to take us that long, maybe 2-3 days. Chipstone, we got to jump the fence for it though. Yeah, that's actually a pretty bad idea. Oh no. Yep, for that exact reason. Let's chill for a minute. Some of our fatigue or stamina back. Did we? I think we lost our glasses. We'll have to find another pair. Okay, here's the school. Cut down across. We'll take another chipstone. We're getting some good stuff now. Grasshopper. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, I guess we'll take these guys out. Nice. Watch another hunting knife. And I don't want to slow this down too much, so I'm going to skip taking all the, uh, the tailoring. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's go south and we'll take a car. Yeah, there's three cars down there. Sneaking's going off. There's probably some, probably some zombies in this school here. School's pretty empty, actually, on the outside. Oh, can we disassemble this? Yeah, a pain. I wonder if it's any good. It's only one thing, though. This, oh, Actually, the slide, too. Yeah, so those two. I wonder if it's any good. I put a tiny, tiny amount of gasoline in this thing. Yeah, we just need enough to get back home. We'll back this one in. Call it a day. It could siphon the gas back. I don't think we're going to get much, but... I can say there was some couple zombies that picked up on us. I'm sure they're following. Let's eat the whole roast, see what that does. Yeah, it barely gives us like 300 calories, 400 calories. Very filling, but not a lot of calories. 
Okay, we got a couple things that are uncooked. Let's go throw them back in here. Three chip stones. A little bit more fuel. Yeah, how are we doing on fuel? 66. We're good. Several days worth of lighting, but we only use maybe a couple hours when we're doing bulk. We're out of the carrots. It's kind of a waste just to eat them all, man. I feel like maybe we just throw them at the, in the compost. All right, our roasting pan. Let's put it back. We gotta worry about gaining weight again. We're 78. We're only three away from going underweight. So let's grab peanut butters. Pretty much toast, but let's eat it real quick. Ooh, that brought us up to half. So now we're not losing weight anymore. Yeah, there's just certain foods that, that do a really good job. Peanut butter is one of them. Keep that on us again. All right, let's go take a look at our crops. See how they're doing. Let's get our toilet water. So no disease, good health. They've been fertilized. Yeah, these are all looking pretty good. I think next time maybe we'll do extra carrots. We can also extend the dirt over here. We need to fill in a few spots, but right, the generator is looking healthy. Water is at 122 still. Yeah, we'll build another one. Spend some time doing. Uh, we got to still enclose that roof. It's still kind of dangerous. So we'll throw this one in the trunk since it's pretty much empty. Actually, it's. Let's just see if we can get rid of it so it's empty. There we go. And then we'll throw one in our backpack. Actually, what might be a smarter move is to use like a water bottle. Because we don't need this much gas. This is kind of a waste. Yeah, that is actually kind of a waste. It's just too heavy. It takes up so much inventory space. So what if we took one of these, put it on the ground, and then we just siphon some gas out? And that'll be our designated fuel bottle. Yeah, it's barely any, but it's good enough. I think maybe we'll save first aid. We can save it until we're going to do our fitness and strength grind. That might not be a bad idea. Let's get all of these skills up to at least five. I think five is a good one. And then we'll work on long blade, spear, short blade. Yeah, I just I wanted to have maintenance up decently high before we did any of these other ones. Because long blades are hard to come across, can't repair them, and then spears are, they, they fall apart too easily. See a little peanut butter and get our weight back. There we go. Wow, this thread's so heavy, it's weighing us down. Let's see what that takes it down to. It's still going, holy crap. We have so much thread. So the stack encumbrance is going down quite a bit. Down to 81. We have 81 of these things. Still weighs 8. Yep, that's a significant amount. Actually, we're already sleepy. I kind of want to do a couple rounds of these things, though. All right, here we go again. Seems to be bugged. Let's put these back, and then we'll take them again. Nope. Might be the rags. But you know what? This was the clothing that was giving us a hard time, I think. Yeah, everything is, actually. I wish I knew what was causing this. Because I have no clue. Alright, let's see if it'll let us do it with this one. Yep, okay, there we go. All right, fabric, needle, and thread. We have everything. It's it's doing it again. What the heck, man? Okay, what if we take some rip sheets? All right, it lets the rip sheets go. Is it because it doesn't want to use the dirty ones? Like, that doesn't even make sense. What difference would that make? Well, either way. Oh, we need to sleep now. We've spent enough time fiddling with it. Wasted a bunch of time. Yeah, I wish I knew, but I suspect it might have to do with the dirty... Maybe you can't use dirty rags. Which, we can just toss all those. Not a big deal. It doesn't make sense why you wouldn't be able to use a dirty rag, though. Tailoring. We got half a level. Alright, it is raining pretty hard, so we could... 
spend some time crafting or tailoring again. Yeah, maybe that's not a bad idea. We'll wait till afternoon and then we'll go. Uh, we gotta go check our traps. I'm curious. I don't know how much of this stuff it chews up. Alright, let's test it. So 192. We put it all on, goes to 182. Take it off. It's about 5. 87 to 77. Back up to 80. So, yeah, more than 5, sorry, 7. So it looks like it's an RNG chance whether you get your material back or not. And it definitely uses the thread. Alright, we'll put all that back. Uh, we have worms. We need to get carrots. It doesn't really make sense to search since it is raining. Oh crap, there's a zombie there. I think he broke him. God damn it. Maybe not. It looked like it was damaged, but maybe it's not. We got two dead birds. Not having any luck with these these other ones. Alright, we still got bait in there. Let's get the worms. Alright, there we go. So everything is baited. Yeah, we're good. These are all in good shape now. Ready for harvest. Probably wait for seeds. I'd like to get a full box of seeds and then we can maybe avoid doing that after. Oh, carrots. I guess the carrots don't like being overwatered. Yeah, we'll hold off on the cabbage. Generator's in good shape. Butcher the birds and store them in here. You know, I'm curious what these carrots start with. You no, know, they're definitely not. Some of them are a lot smaller. I'm. What does this say? Eight and four. These are eight and four as well. So these two didn't get used. These four did. Since it's raining, let's just keep doing this. And we'll do it out here so we don't get depressed. Perfect. So I think it's just the clothing I was trying to do it with. I think that's what was causing the issues. There we go. We got a level. So one more tailoring, then we'll have to read the book again. In the previous episode, we returned home to organize, check traps, read, and check on our plants. We headed towards the fishing area to check the route safety. We dealt with a huge mob horde in the police building and partially cleared it out. We then headed towards the school. Right, we got company downstairs, just gonna let them beat on the door. I mean, they're gonna do it eventually. They might even do it when we're not here. I'd rather at least know what's going on. Smoke break. And we're more than halfway. Take advantage of the storm, I guess. Alright, we used about a little more than half the thread. Oh, 
we ran out of something. Huh. I guess we blew through all of our patches. Let's go grab some. Alright, let's try and finish this level off. We're almost there. We'll stay up a little past our bedtime if we have to. There we go, we got it. That's level six. And that burned through almost the whole stack. So the next one, 4,500 XP. So yeah, we're gonna need a lot more. We probably have enough here, but then we've got a lot more levels after that too. We don't need any, any more of these, the sheets. We definitely have enough. And our weight is not quite to 80 again. Yeah, let's actually sleep. And we'll deal with that in the morning. Hopefully it's not, not raining. And before I forget, let's grab tailoring. This is going to be volume 4. Grab a little bit of food for today. And let's go deal with that zombie. There she is. Not a lot we can do indoors unless we go. Well, I mean, there's stuff we can do indoors. We just need to go somewhere else indoors to do it. I'm thinking, or you know, we could just do the mechanical. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. We've got mostly rain resistant clothing, so it shouldn't be a, a problem. Let's just double check, make sure there's nothing around. And then we'll start working. Done with the first row. Gives us 162. It's going to take a while. There's another row done. Takes us up to four, almost a third. Not quite. I'm gonna skip eating. We we'll eat on the way to check the traps. It's already getting kind of late. Takes us up to just about 600. We got a few more cars and then we'll go. Four more here. Alright, there we go. That's the full loop. 13, almost 1500. A couple more cars. And then that full loop will give us 1500. It's not raining anymore. So that means we can do. A little bit of forging and nimble. How far are we from nimble? Yeah, we're still a little far. I did not bring carrots. Whoops. Let's go get those. Yeah, I think we need a lot more carrots. I think two rows should be more than enough. Although not if we want to do this quick. We'll want to make like 10 to 20 traps. Quick roach. Still nothing, man. What the heck? Hey, we had to let add a lot. We're finding a lot of stuff foraging wise, so let's just go keep doing that. So we'll make our way to the school, take another car. We definitely can't afford to not do that. So we'll take all the take all the clothes.
we'll do a little stuff here and there. Grab some food, disassemble some electronics. But let's go. We gotta make our way to the car, I think. It's starting to get dark. I, I'm not 100% sure how the forging works. It seems like sometimes we get one for spotting, one for taking it. Sometimes it seems to get one for spotting and like two for taking it. I'm not quite sure how that works or if I'm just reading it wrong. Nice lemongrass, that's a big one. That's going to be a lot of XP. Yeah, 60 almost times two. Right, we'll throw a little bottle of gasoline in there. Oh, and off she goes. Oh, we'll take our gas and back. Uh, gasoline back. We got a good quality wheel let's, or tire. Let's drop that off. We've got three, so basically a four, four hundred percent. Three sport, one standard. I don't know if you can mix and match, maybe. Actually, you know what? It's not that late. Probably do another round of mechanical. There's some parts in here that Yep, these are all 100%. These are 100%, so we can try these, see what kind of XP we get. Oh, well, it's pretty good. Oh, it needs to be empty. Yeah, we got something on there. And then the tire. The tire we can do as well. The only thing I don't like about doing the tires is they're super heavy. Yeah, we could do jack and wrench. Let's just try it. See what kind of XP you get. So if we do... Oh, we don't, we got wrong wrench, plug wrench. So if we do tire, that is not that much. Brake. Oh, shoot. That's a chance of failure. Actually, let's not do that. Let's put this tire back on. Five, seven. That's not bad. Putting it back on does give pretty good XP. So let's just take them off, put them right back on. Like I said, the biggest issue is they're super heavy, so it is kind of damaging me every time we do that. Oh, you know what? We got tire pressure issues, and that's our daily driver. Let's go ahead and get the, the pump. There we go. And actually, we probably want to grab better tires. All right, this is the one. 87% for sure. We want to keep everything on this one, so tires... We got a 47. It's pretty bad. Let's grab one of these. So highest on here is a 70. I mean, it's better than nothing. We got one well, inflated. Make sure it's in good shape. But now we got pretty good tires. The door is in rough shape. So we need to get rid of the window first. Right window. We can install this without damaging anything. So we'll put the door down. This window is in pretty good shape. Oh, we gotta go to bed soon. Shoot. Right, this door is in pretty good shape. Right door, right window. And I think that window is actually better. Yeah, 72. This one is 72, so they're about the same. Let's go put that back on. 
that gives quite a bit actually 7.8 7.8 so it gives about 18. we just got to deal with being overweight or we need to get rid of a lot of inventory before we do it so that might be something to consider let's drop all the heavy stuff off Let's go check the generator first thing. Still in good shape. Alright, everything's in good shape. The only thing that is ready is the cabbage, but we're still waiting for that to go seed bearing. So we'll wait a little bit. We got some stuff to drop off. Okay, let's grab some food. Probably should do some cooking again soon. We need the levels anyway, so that's not a bad thing. Alright, what else can we do here? So we need mechanic. We need one more level of mechanics, and then we need spare engine parts. So why don't we do this? Let's take a trip. We'll go up to the parts. Uh, the the auto shop it's um probably needs to be cleared a little bit too it's right by the gas station oh there's a lot of zombies up here now the messers just gotta spawn Short blunt level. This pipe punch isn't doing too well. Yeah, that's deteriorating fast. Shoot. Alright, well, let's start ripping. There we go, we got. 42 thread from that. Let's go get some parts. Should they're, they're going to be really heavy. Let's just get the car in there. Oh, wow. This guy's got some stuff on him. I don't remember if we have a spare pair of gloves. There we go. Spare engine parts. Getting some pretty good stuff, but a lot of things we already have. Alright, two more spare engine parts. So we can repair engine quite a bit. Another propane torch. We've got quite a few of those now. There's not really anything we need from there, so we'll skip it. I think most of the most of the things we'll get for replacement parts is probably just going to be from uh, picking parts from other vehicles, kind of like how we did with the tires and the door. Oops, <laughs> wrong button. Alright, spare parts, we'll just toss them on the floor here. You know what, actually that reminds me. What level do we need to be to repair the trunk so we can get the maximum metal sheet? We can do it right now, actually. So if we do a full metal sheet... Yeah, 91% chance, 100% chance of success. Repair up to 91%, that's pretty good. Trunk lid. Whoops, I meant the trunk. Oh, same thing. Alright, metal sheet. We have a propane torch already. Let's just get a metal sheet. Let's get it fixed. See what that does. We have spare propane torches on us. Just use it. So the actual trunk itself, metal sheet, takes it to 95. And that went from 
whatever it was to 124. So it's got a lot more space now. Uh, not a lot, but a little bit more. But we could do the same thing with the hood. We're pretty quickly running out of space. Clothing, do we have gloves? No, we don't. Okay, good. So we'll have a spare. This one's in excellent condition, too. And we need to grab another weapon because this thing's about to bust. Alright, so let's consolidate. I had 52. It's going to go down quite a bit. But this will be just from this hole. So 14. That's a lot. It's pretty good, actually. Yeah, we got some garbage bags. Go toss those. Yeah, we got to do corned beef hat. Uh, sorry, carrots. We got to grab some carrots. And then let's go check our traps. Now, one thing we haven't done, we haven't dug up worms in a while. Probably need to do that. Weather seems decent. Let's just search. Get some nimble. Tree branches. Oh, a log. It's a big one. Pretty good XP for that. It looks like we caught some stuff. Well, just the bird. Yeah, these, these traps aren't doing too well here. This is probably not a good spot for them. A lot of them still have their bait in them, though. Oh, we ran out of carrots, didn't we? Wait, how did we run out of carrots? We have six on us. I know for a fact we didn't use that much in one of these. Hmm. That sucks. Alright, well. We got two birds out of it. The birds are really carrying the day. Those bunny traps are not good for this this spot. I mean, they're probably good in general, just not for this spot. Alright, let's see if we can get nimble 5. Or, sorry, nimble 4. Maybe today. Probably not, but 440 out of 750. Yeah, probably not. You know, actually, let's get back home. We could just start working on fishing, too. We started clearing that path out, and then we spent a few days, maybe they're kind of respawning in that area. Let's check the generator real quick. I know it is I could be around 50. Oh, these are seeding. Nice seed bearing. So we can do this now. Yeah, 50%. Let's fill it up. Oh, no, not the gasoline. Gas can. Yeah, I want to... We'll keep that on. There we go. So this is good. Let's go ahead and harvest. I think nothing else is ready. 195 each. Man, that's a lot. Alright, we got some weight issues. A hundred cabbage? Holy crap. It's 20 encumbrance? There's no way it fits. We're just gonna have to stuff it wherever we can. We could also use the cabbage. Yeah, let's just chow down on cabbage till we're stuffed. Alright, we got that. Let's go back to our melee weapons. Alright, nightstick. Could also use the cabbage in the traps. Oh, we got a we got a lurker there. That's fine. We'll deal with them when we get back. It's only one. It's like uh it's probably famous last words, right? The one you leave, they'll just come up and give you a little bite. Alright, this looks pretty good. There's still quite a few up here, but not anywhere near what it was before. This is a problem, though. Let's drag them over here. Alright, I hear more coming from this side. 
Oh boy. I think we got a decent group coming. Okay, well, there's that. I saw some good stuff on him, like a nightstick. We'll grab that. And a machete, wow. Yep, this one had a nightstick on him. Oh, why do I still have the cabbage seeds? I forgot to drop that off, didn't I? Whoops. And I made sheet rope. <laughs> <laughs> mistake after mistake. Alright, let's try and fix this. Eat some cabbage. I did not mean to do that. Yeah, we don't want to wear this guy's short shorts. What is going on? We're full. We got some stuff in here that we should not be carrying. We've got a log. A couple weapons. These things are just way too heavy. And the cabbage seeds that I forgot to drop. Actually, the big weapons. Yeah, they're all kind of heavy. There we go. That looks a little more reasonable. So, little by little, we'll clear our way through. Oh, that's a pretty big group. So, we'll go check out the gas station. And then the lake is just over here to the, to the north. It's not too bad here, actually. I don't want to ruin my tires too much, but yeah, there it is. Okay, sweet. So we'll spend maybe a dedicated day, maybe two, to clearing this out. And then also, let's just see what kind of cars they got in here. See if there's anything good. Yeah, some of these look pretty clean. Alright, we can come back here for parts. Probably tow some stuff too if we really wanted to. Don't know that I want to do it right now though. We'd have to spend some time clearing it. Alright, there we go. We got exactly what we wanted. Yeah, this is this is gonna be tough to drive by every day. Alright, well I'm wondering if it makes sense just to Create like a little campsite down there. Maybe we just stay there for two, three days at a time. And then we can ferry the fish back. Actually, that may not work. I don't know how long the fish survive for. Alright, over here. See how bad we messed up our, our trunk or our hood. We should probably do it instead of just eating these raw. We should probably be cooking them into something at least. Alright, let's do with all the watches. We are running out of space here. We gotta dismantle everything. Alright, there's no way this stuff fits in. No way that fits in. Well, we can hang on to the nightstick. I'm sure we'll, we'll need it soon. This pipe wrench is about to bust. Alright, let's reconsolidate everything. Alright, we got 11 more on that. Then we do need to use... Oh, you know what the... I gotta take a look at that. I feel like maybe they degrade. Like, do they give you less nutrition if the closer they get to being stale? Or did we just use them and I forgot? Well, I know for sure we need to... Uh, we need to get up top with... Oh, let's get a shovel. And some cabbage seeds. Let's just plant them and get that going. Okay, I want to get the seeds in now because the sooner we do that, what is happening here? Oh, that's where the dirt ends. Oh, we're gonna run out, aren't we? Yep, we're short. We're short just a couple. Oh, we got him in the trunk. Oh, no, I'm an idiot. We have him in our backpack. It's kind of silly. It doesn't take him out of your backpack if you have him on you. Alright, those are ready. We could do a second row cabbage, just because it's raining, and this will help us get a ton of XP. I know you're supposed to separate them, but whatever. We'll deal with it. We want to maximize our XP, so that takes us down to 200. We'll let everything seed anyways. Yeah, the bigger our farm, the faster we'll max out. 
And we could use a lot of that stuff as bait. And anything that rots, we'll just put it in the compost. So it's not really that big of a deal. Alright, so we slept till 6. I almost feel like I should just... St oh, you know, we didn't get any worms. Shoot, I forgot. I was going to say, I almost feel like we should just use the bird traps. The problem with the bird traps is we're going to run out of worms very quickly. Whereas the carrots, cabbage, all that, I feel like that's going to be an easy way to scale. Because we can just plant them. And we don't have to really tend to them that often. You know, if we don't dig, we don't get worms. So we have to physically do that ourselves. So it's not really scalable. We got some tailoring. We could read the book. We could also start working on firearms. We got some reloading we could do. We got a lot of weapons here. Got 14 shotguns, 9 rifles, a ton of pistols in there. We haven't... Oh, you know what? There's some rifles right here, too. So let's see a magazine that's got a high round count. So 15. This one's got 20. The four, M14. Nothing with 30, though, huh? It's kind of a standard mag size for a, a rifle. There we go. M16. Grab those. That uses, what, 5.56? Five, five, yep, 5.56. Five, five, I don't think we have any 5.56. Five, five, Unfortunately, we do not. All right, well, put those back then. The next highest is the M14 at 20 rounds, which is 308. We got two of them. How many rounds are in one box? 40 rounds. That's perfect. All right, we can just do it like this. There we go. It gives us a pretty healthy amount. Even for unloading, actually. So one... Looks like 1.3 per bullet. Actually, be nice if we had more. Uh, let's see. We got M14. Yeah, we can eject the mag. And that one does not have a mag. We got four mags. All right, we need one more box of 308. There we go. We can do four. So insert. And that'll go nice and quick. Level two. Haven't even fired a rifle yet, but we're going to be a master at reloading. Shots fired. Let's go till we get one more level and then we'll, we'll stop. Nice. And we can leave the rounds in there. So what does that look like? Yep, we got level 3 reloading. That's going to go really fast, actually. I bet you we could probably do that whole thing to level 10 in like 2-3 days, yeah. if that's all we focused on. Weight's holding steady. Alright, we do have to worry about... It's getting kind of late. We should... Ugh, we're running out of carrots. Running out of carrots. Running out of worms. I'll probably throw some cabbage in the trap at some point, because that seems to be the fastest growing. Even if it's not as efficient. But if we can... Well, no, that's not true. If the carrot's the most efficient, it's better just to grow extra carrot. Yeah, I think it's like a 10% more chance of catching... Alright, I see a bird. Looks like we caught a couple. Oh, three birds. Wow. Yeah, these things are just not doing it. Alright, let's go ahead and remove the traps. Oh, you know what? It's, it's still frozen. I wonder if that's why. Maybe we have to let it defrost. Yeah, these, these poor rabbits are, like, breaking their teeth on frozen carrots. Maybe that's why. Maybe, but also maybe not. We only got three worms left, so we'll just keep checking the, the bird traps. It doesn't seem like we get more worms if, we, if we're re... Uh, what do you call it? Redoing the furrows up here.
In the previous episode, we worked on our mechanical skill in a parking lot. We went to the auto shop for parts and defeated zombies along the way. We did our usual reading, leveling, reloading, checking plants, and traps. Let's just see how everything's doing. The strawberry's good. Got a tomato. Carrot does not like the extra rain, unfortunately, but can't do much about it. It's still in the same growing phase as all the other ones, so... So that's fine. Yeah, I think what we have to do is we gotta spam carrots. But I think what we'll do is we'll probably do like I don't really want to grow a bunch of different types of crops. Maybe we'll do one row for us. You know, one row of cabbage. And then just everything's carrots, but we'll do, you know, every two or three days we'll add a row, two or three days add a row, so that we're not completely overloading ourselves. Yeah, it's pretty inefficient to have all that stuff in in storage. We're going to need plenty of uh, freezer space so that we can fit the, the meat. Yeah, we'll have to find a better spot for the, the crate. Uh, well, at least we got some birds, though. We got quite a few birds. Alright, so we could read tailoring. Which is actually probably the right call because we're still collecting stuff outside. We don't want to waste that. Oh, we don't have it. Oh, wait, do we have it on us? No, we have it on us. All right, never mind. Let's do that. I was going to say, it's either that or reloading. We can train reloading. It's fine. Let's read. Oh, we got another zombie beating our door down. Sorry, we don't really need the doors. Now, I think you need at least five nutrition to use it as bait. These are all three. So these aren't going to work. The fours aren't going to work. These ones at eight will probably work. So we should probably throw those back in, actually. Oh, we don't have any more carrots, actually. That's it. All right, well, we do have some stale stuff. Let's go toss that upstairs in the uh, compost bin. Be interesting if there's a statistic for how long you spent reading. I bet you it's weeks, if not close to a month, of our two two months, six days. Actually, we'll eat the stale cabbage because I don't really care. Sad, not really that big of a deal. Let's try and finish this book. Here we go. We got it. Let's go put tailoring back. We're so close to trapping three. We'll get it with the bird traps, and then I think we'll stop using those. And it's time to start spamming the, the carrots. Actually, what we should do is let's go let's go plant some carrots. I wish there was more options instead of grab all, grab one, grab half. Like a slider would be nice. Grabbing a fourth would be nice. Because it's like either you get a massive amount or you get none. You get one. And you gotta do it one by one. Alright, here's our carrots. Should we do two? Oh, we don't have enough. Wait, what happened to the water bucket? Did I put them back? Ah, oh, crap. I think I put them back. They're supposed to stay up here. No, where the hell did they go? Did they disappear? Oh, that sucks, man. I think it might have just disappeared. Where else could they be? No, they're right here. They're just not showing. Oh, I put them in. I hate when that happens. This is why I don't like putting these. I like putting containers inside other containers. So that stuff like this doesn't happen. Yeah, that's so annoying. It was in one of the bags. <laughs> I was really confused. All right, let's get all of these things watered. All right, now for some reason it wants to switch to the water bottle. I really don't want it to use the water bottle. Oh, it did it again. It did it again. I don't want to use the freaking water bottle, man. Come on. It said that I had... It said I had a watering can still full. Do I? No. It has a tiny, tiny amount of water. That's why. So bizarre. All right, let's see which... Where do we leave off? This one. All right, there we go. Carrots are done. Everything else got rained on. So we just leave it. And I don't want to fill from this one because that's where we get our water. Alright, 
There we go. Should be easier to see him. And generator, 72%. That's fine. We'll leave it. So this one's growth phase four, growth phase one. Yeah, maybe we just do one each time there's a new growth phase. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. But either way, our farming, a little plot of land up here is doing really well. Yeah, we need more water since we dumped it all out. Something is going nuts down there. Let's go deal with it. Oh, he came in. Came in the other way. They're leaving the rope alone, though, which is which is odd. I don't know why they're leaving the rope alone. And I'm certainly not complaining, but it's just interesting why they would skip that. Right, how much damage did we do to our hood? Not really much. Yeah, we still need engine, or we still need mechanical to be able to, to do that. Um, I kind of want to see how well, uh, how much XP we get if we just put everything, oh shoot. Yeah, it doesn't really make much difference. It's alright, let's take the jack, the wrench, and the regular wrench and start messing with these cars. Like we can take the quick driver's seat that gives us a decent amount. It's about 15 and then another 15. Yeah, so it's like 30 XP right there. So 120 for everything as seats that we do. That's pretty good. And it doesn't, there's no risk of damaging anything. And again, the battery we can do, the taillights, like let's do the taillights again, see what that gives. Five. That's about 10. I'm just trying to think if there's a better way to do this. What about the lid? What if we uninstall trunk lid? Same thing. It's about 20, so it's about double. Can't take the whole trunk out. I can do the hood. Ooh, come on. The windshield, there's a chance of breaking it. Rear windshield, same thing. These windows. Actually, there is not with the window. That gives a lot. That's really good. But then if we do the door, same thing. All right, let's try it again. Uninstall. We gotta wait for this thing. We take a tiny bit of a damage, but we're also healing when we're when we're not in the middle of working. So I think it's probably not a big deal. Yeah, that's that jumped up pretty quick. I don't know if if doing the cars, you know, headlights, taillights, battery, all that's doing the whole circuit just with a ton of cars is the best. I think once you can, once you're able to. It's probably good to do... It's fine. It's fine to do that, but it doesn't give you that much XP. Yeah, I think driver's seat, rear left seat, do both of the seats on that side, put both of those back in. Well, that wasn't that much. About the right seat and front right seat. That didn't seem that much. I'm wondering if you get more for, depending on what part it is. Or what type of car? No, this one just gives a lot. It's the seats don't give that much. The hood, I bet you that there's so many doors on this thing too. So let's do front left window, front left door. Put that back on. Put that back on. Now we go rear left window, rear left door, rear left window, and then we do front right window. Actually, front. Rear right would have been a little bit more efficient, but not by much. All right, rear right. All right, and our health is still at 90, what, 95%. So it's it's very minimal. And that took us from 1100 to 186, just on one car. And we still have stuff that we could do. We could still do the taillights, headlights, all that. Yeah, they don't take long to do, so maybe it makes sense to do it. Let's check the truck. Uninstall that hood. Is that the same? Yeah, it looks like it's actually the same. So it's not really dependent on what type of vehicle it is. It's more just the type of part. Let's do the usuals. Yeah, this door doesn't have a window. What about a tire on a truck? It's pretty good. Putting it back on, not so much though. It's the taking it off that gives you a bunch. All right, let's try left rear. I'm going to try left rear brake. Nope, it failed and it damaged it. All right. So, yeah, those we don't want to damage, so we'll just put it back on. All right, I think that's pretty good for today. Let's head back up. Well, we could do a little bit of reloading. Let's just do that.
Okay, is there any other import team? No, we have the three already. Yep, the ones we already unloaded. Let's just do that again. Oh, we're getting bored. We should do it outside. <laughs> Let's try and get one level, and then we'll go to bed. Oh, that may not work. 33, and then we're not even halfway. One more round. We got, well, more than a half level. Wait, we only spent, like, maybe two hours doing it. Wait, what happened? I put it in the wrong one. Slept till nine. Probably spend some time cooking a few things. Let's just keep eating a few. Right, we got a bunch of junk food we can we can burn through, and then we'll start working on the other things. So let's go check on the generator. Make sure all the crops are watered, and then we'll get out. Go check on the, the traps. Looks like everything's watered pretty well. Nothing's quite yet ready to harvest. Trainer fuel is good. We'll need to change it in the next two days or so. But we got, what, three worms left? Yeah, we'll take those traps down once we're done, and then we gotta go find a better spot. Maybe we'll just find a spot where we can drive to. That's not too far. There's some there's some houses that have a backyard that aren't... It looks like it's all wooded. So we can just drive to our location if we have to. It's not that big of a deal. It would be nice to actually set up near that lake. We can set the traps uh, morning or midnight, whatever. Fish during the day and then go back there again later in the next day. And then we just come back to this base every two or three days to water the plants and do all that stuff. All right, here we go. Mm, absolutely nothing happened. So we got to add bait. Let's use the last of our worms and then we'll be done. All right, there we go. That's all our worms. We have none left. Now we do have our bottle of gasoline, so what we can do, we can't unfortunately do any searching or foraging. It's too foggy, it's not going to work. But what we can do is go get another car. Our shirt blunt is four, not quite five, so it would be good to get this to five. But that's the last one at the school, so we got to stop coming here after we get this one. Yeah, it looks like it does have some gas in it. Sound like a sports car. Oh yeah, this thing's fast. Decent brakes. Another car battery. In 100% condition, the battery itself has actually got a decent amount. We can take that. Take the wrench. Yeah, it's not in great condition, so we'll just use it after this um, pipe wrench is destroyed. So we got a ton of batteries, probably don't need any more. Although that's sport, these are standard. And yeah, what I'd like to do is find a good route. So down, I guess if we make a right, we'd have to drive on this back road. Yeah, driving the back road to get to the, the lake. And then there's a ton of woods in here. All right, let's go check it out. Yeah, right, we still gotta go down this way. Oh man, that's a lot. Oh okay, yeah, well, we're just gonna have to keep clearing this out. It's just gonna be very time prohibitive. All right. Well, what we could do is we could technically draw them to the backyard, just save ourselves the headache, having to fight that giant crowd every time. If we go over this way, draw most of them over here. And then we loop back around. They'll be stuck back here by the time we get around. All right, let's try it. Yeah, unfortunately, it's going to pull in all the ones from down there, too, though. They're going to take their place, basically. Well, let's hope once we get to that little off, that little side road, maybe it won't be quite as crowded. This one right here. Let's see what happens. All right, that's going to need to be towed. That's going to need to be towed. There's a lot still. It's not that big of a deal, I guess, but it's kind of annoying. There's an ambulance down there. Are you kidding me? Uh, I did not see that. Yeah, it, like, didn't render in. Oh, that's the wrong turn. All right, well. Yeah, see, some of these trees you can just drive right through. Some of them you can't. That other one... 
Looked like it might have been one of those ones that you could just drive through, but... Probably would be just easier to completely move the base. Just take all the food, unplug the generator, build a new base somewhere else to, to level up fishing max, and then maybe come back, because this is, this is going to be a chore, doing this every single day. Yeah, there we are. So the lake's right in front of us. Very close. A lot of zombies. There's a lot of woods, though. So we could easily probably... Yeah, there's a house right here, it looks like. And I would imagine any trap you put in here is going to be 75 tiles at least. So we could just fish. Oh, but the problem fishing there is we're going to be within 75. That's going to be a problem. So we'd have to, like, bunk up at the gas station, maybe? We could do the gas station. Put the traps over here. Fish over here. I don't know, something like that. Yeah, and I'm just going to off-road it because it looks like there's no zombies here. I know it's going to mess up the tires, but... Yeah, I don't I don't know what's what's a big tree and what's not. Uh, all of these look like they're small, and we're just smashing into them. Oh, don't get stuck. Dude, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Come on. Seems like once it starts to get stuck, it's better to just stop completely and then go again. And, like, the harder you try, the more it's going to get stuck until you just press stop. Which is kind of silly, but... It is what it is. Alright, that's a death trap on that other side. Yeah, I think we just... We give up on the idea of fishing until we're just going to do it 100%. Oh, you know, we could also... We could also base up in here, since the... That fence is pretty legit. They can't beat any of this down. They can just do the gate. Yeah, the more I look at it, the more I, I like the look of that um, that logging camp or the construction site, whatever, for an actual base. Oh boy, we kicked the hornet's nest, didn't we? Holy crap, dude, what did we do? I think the horn was a bad idea. <laughs> I am all over the place right now, what the heck? Alright, let's see the damage. Yeah, we trashed our hood. Completely trashed the hood. All right, we can take another one. So what kind of hood is it? Heavy duty hood. So we just need to find another heavy duty hood. Well, obviously this one is, but it's not good. It's 47. These are pretty big, but I don't think this is heavy duty. Standard, yeah. So it's probably got to be a truck or a van or something. This truck looks pretty good. Yeah, the trunk's trashed here, so this one for sure is just going to be parts. 73% is okay. I should have brought the other hood. That's stupid of me. Now I gotta run back twice. Alright, let's hope that gigantic cord doesn't follow us up here. There. Good as new. Or not quite, but decent. Decent enough, we'll leave it at that. Still no sight of anybody coming. Uh, we'll spend some time finishing off mechanics. We're right there, so we'll just start pulling parts off and putting it back on here. Let's go mess with the window and the door. Also, the trunk. Oh, you can't do it on the truck. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> doesn't have a trunk, just a truck bed. Alright, here we go. So, front left door. Put that bad boy back on. And we want rear left. Uh, rear left door. And then we're going to go rear right door. Rear right window. Oh, we got it. Um, let's keep going. Actually, now it's raining pretty hard. Yeah, we're going to get sick. So, mechanic level 5. Not bad. Still no sight of the horde. So we should be fine. So, not a whole lot to do here now at this point. I don't think we're reading any books, right? No, let's just work on reloading. Let's get that level up. Yeah, this would be even better if we had more mags. Alright, we got a level. And it's still pretty early, so we'll try and get as many as we can. Alright, that's good for now. Let's put that back. We got a level one and a third. We got a thousand more to get the uh, level five. Before I forget, let's go fill up the generator. Yeah, 50%. And we're still a decent amount away from being uh, from having to repair it. Alright, how are we looking on these? Stage 5, 
Still stage four. These are all still stage four. Strawberry stage five. Cabbage stage two already. I mean, we, these were planted pretty recent. But you know what? I forgot to look at compost. So we need to get this up to two and a half percent full before we can get any compost out of it. Right, we are slightly bored. Let's go read a newspaper. All right, I think what I want to do today, let's um, kind of get some more mechanics, but it's not really going to help us much. Yeah, I think. Oh, nice. It's, it's sunny out now. Let's go check our traps. I kind of want to be done with this trap area and go to a better area. Oh, nice. We get a couple. Yeah, two out of the three. And we gained a level from that. So let's go ahead and remove. Yep, these don't have bait. So they're pretty much done. So we got our stick traps back. We got two birds. So we can head back, chop them up. And one thing that I really want to do, actually we're here already. We've got room. Let's go ahead and get some compost items. Uh, one thing that I read recently is that you can get uh, worms. So many. Man, there's so many things here. I don't even know how much room we have in the composter. I think it's something about 50, but I'm not positive on that. Okay, let's eat these chips too while we're here. Yeah, I guess we'll just take a full load and we'll see what happens. All right, so our weight should be going up a little bit now. Nope, we're steady at least. Still have room though. Did we? Oh, I didn't check these. It's... Oh man, there's a lot. 20 out of 27. We still got a little bit of room. There we go. I think we'll make this the last one. 22. I still got a little room. Jeez. Could always just go here and take all this stuff. All right, there we go. We're full up. Right, we got to get this bird back in the fridge before that rots as well. Just got to be careful. All right, up the rope we go. Let's go ahead and dump this first because we have a huge amount of rotten fruit in our fruit and veggies in our backpack. Let's take care of that. It could, yeah, it can carry up to 50. That is so much. Nice. Well, no excuse now. We should be able to get some kind of compost out of it. Tomato, strawberry, carrots. Potatoes, nothing's quite yet ready. Yeah, we just fueled up the generator, so we're good on that. Let's get these birds chopped up and ready to freeze. Get rid of some of this stale. The rotten milk will keep just because we can use it. All right, there's some stale. I think just about everything should be in good shape here. We really do need to start cooking it, though. We have a lot of stuff we can make. Broccoli, cabbage, and then a ton of wild stuff that we've... Collected over. Uh, also the rat. Yeah, we got a big radish. Okay, we don't really have any excuses. We can make stews and whatnot. Let's throw this stuff up in the, the composter as well. I don't know if it'll compost because it is, um, it's not veggies or fruits. So I don't know if that actually counts. I remember, I thought I remember reading something saying that it has to be a, a fruit or a veggie. All right, let's throw our stick traps down. All right, what do we got to do? We got... We have uncooked bird meat, rabbit meat. Got a ton of eggs. Although the eggs, unfortunately, don't um, they don't do that well. Let's take half of our cabbage. Maybe half of the broccoli. We've got a bunch of this little stuff. I think we'll just grab these these little one-offs. Make it easier for us to really see what's actually in our inventory. Grab some radishes as well. So hopefully that'll defrost at some point. You know we do need to get. These, they'll just kind of defrost on their own. First thing first, let's get all the uncooked meat. All right, there we go. So we can create a soup or a stew, but let's wait until the stuff's defrosted in our inventory and all this stuff's cooked. Yeah, unfortunately we don't have anything to read while we're waiting, so we're just gonna have to waste a little bit of inefficiency here, but I think it's fine. Here we go, we got everything. So now let's go ahead and make some stew. Soup or stew? I don't know what the difference is. Soup looks like it fits a lot more. Rabbit me. I don't see the bird though. Can we not put the bird in there? The stew, we can make bird meat. The other one, the soup, we can do rabbit. So let's go ahead and use up the rabbit, I guess. Uh, we'll throw in some pasta, why not? Some nuts. We'll keep adding a little more rabbit. And I know lentils are usually pretty good, so we'll do that. And then probably something wild. We got lemongrass. How about a bouillon cube? Tomato paste. Oil. Random herbs. Don't really care. 
salt. All right, that's fine. Let's cook that soup. That thing is heavy. Five. We won't be hauling that bigger thing around. Yeah, because we're going to be putting it in something else. All right, what about... Let's grab one of these. Wait, what? It's not giving me the option. Yeah, it doesn't say make stew or anything else. What the heck? I haven't touched the... Oh, I'm really confused. Why can I not cook with this other stuff? Oh, there's not enough water in there. What? All right, we got to get... Some of these are, like, empty. What the heck? All right, that makes a lot of sense then. All right, let's do a stew. No, a soup. No, stew. Where's the one that we can put the bird meat? There we go. There we go. Let's go bird meat. All right, we got meat patty we can throw in there. I don't want that to go bad. All right, that one we can't put anymore. Whoops. Wrong one. Let's put some cabbage in there. Let that cook. Right, we're just going to load this thing up with as much meat as we can. And some cabbage, I think. Light it up a little. Salt, pepper, throw it on the barbecue. Now this thing... Alright, we got one more, actually. Yeah, let's do... Still got meat patty. Yeah, meat patty's stale now. Shoot. We gotta use it quick. Still got rabbit meat and all that stuff. Alright, into the barbecue. So that's, what, one, two, three, four stews. We've got a bunch of bowls as well that we can use. So let's make soup with four bowls. Stew with two bowls. Does that use them up? Yeah, it does. Alright, sweet. It'll be easier to manage that. So let's throw the stews and the soups in there. Stew's got quite a bit more food. Uh, hunger reduction, I mean. So rabbit meat. These are... Yeah, we still got quite a bit, actually. Why don't we try and cook maybe a roast? Small bird. Alright, that one's done. Actually, what can we do? Two bowls of stew. That'll finish that off. We'll drop the cooking pouts. We'll get them in a sec. And then the stew. We'll freeze the stews. Alright, let's throw as much stuff in here as we can. Bird meat. Uh, we can season it and all that, but pretty much ready to go. Let's throw that in there. Just keep going until everything's cooked. Alright, that thing's done. We don't have enough bowls. So we'll just throw... Oh, it will not fit. Yeah, that stew is huge, man. Alright, again, we're just going to keep shoving bird meat into this thing. So we use it all up. Uh, olive oil and tomato paste. Still got rabbit meat too, actually. Let's use the rabbit meat as well. This one's pretty much done. Alright, there's a cooking level. We have so many dishes, man. I think we should probably get more cooking containers. This is this is too much. Oh yeah, we got dishes everywhere. Well, on the bright side, we got our level up to, what, five? Working on six. So that's good. Right, we still got bird meat. Let's get this bird meat in there. And then we also have a ton of cabbage, broccoli, 98 hunger. That is huge. I know it's boring, but I think what we should probably do is cook everything and then just have maybe two or three of each ingredient. We'll have, like, two meats, two veggies, maybe a couple of fruit here and there. And then that'll just simplify life. I mean, to be fair, that's what I do in real life. <laughs> yeah, I don't go fancy. Just keep it simple. I got oatmeal every day for, I don't know, 10 years. Maybe I'll have like a bagel once in a while, but pretty much. We got a lot of broccoli. Cabbage. Yeah, the problem with the vegetable roast is I don't think it's going to have very much by in, in terms of calories. Let's put some lard. Some butter. That'll help a little bit. 69 section, not bad. This section, not bad at all. All right, I'm going to eat a little bit of this because we're super hungry. There we go. Another dish done. We still have roasting pans. So much stuff. We just got to use it all. I mean, it's, it's going to go bad. Acorn doesn't really give us that much. How about some broccoli? Some cabbage. It's getting up there. Some fresh leek. Radish. So we're out of those. I think we could just... I don't know. I kind of want to keep cooking. 
But we're running out of stuff to cook it on. I guess we could make a stir fry. Let's make some stir fries, I guess. Let's go some of this stuff that we only have one or two things of. Let's use those up. We don't have a ton of radish. Yeah, bell pepper, citrus. With lime. Nice. That actually sounds pretty good. And we could also throw in some noodles, some ramen. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty nice dish. Need some hot sauce, though. Tomato paste so we can ruin the taste. And how about some lemongrass? Yep, it fulfills a lot of hunger, thirst, boredom, um, unhappiness. Pretty good. Whether or not it's going to give what we need, I don't know. So we've got food for a very long time. Let's just, we're just going to throw random vegetables and whatever else we have. Citrus, nut, radish. Yeah, like I said, we just need to get rid of stuff at this point. In the previous episode, we leveled up mechanics and reloading some more. We scouted the lake area in our car, ran into a big horde at the fire station, the roads, and in the fields. We used our car horn to lure the horde away from the fire station, but it made things worse and we retreated back home. We leveled up cooking using ingredients that were about to expire. So many dishes, holy crap. We need to cook a lot of this stuff too. We gotta stop collecting stuff. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. We can just let some things rot and throw some other things away. Uh, what else can we cook with? We need water for the saucepan. And these cooking pans with water have like absolutely nothing in it. I don't know why they're even in here. All right, what we should do is let's pick up all these cooking pots. We got a little bit of time. Let's go fill these up with water. Let's put the fire out. We've probably been cooking all day, like literally all day. Yeah, we went from 66 or 68 to 56. So quite a bit of cooking done. And that took us up to level 6, 572 out of 3,000, so about a sixth of the way there. Make sure these are all full. Let's go throw these back in here. We don't want any more cooking pots. We probably want... This, what can we do? Baking tray? Baking pan? I think we need to have some other things, some water and whatnot. Right, what do we still have in here? Cheese. we still have a lot. We don't really have much room for it, though. We're depressed, we're bored, all that stuff. All right, how's this one doing? 250 out of 400. Yeah, we did use quite a bit of it. Generator's looking healthy. Let's throw some stuff in this compost. Actually, I don't know if it has to be rotten before you put it in, because that's been in there for a bit, and it's, it hasn't turned yet. So maybe we'll just leave a few things up here and just wait. All the stale stuff we can get rid of. These are all fresh. See if we have room for it. Man, <laughs> that's so much. Well, we shouldn't have to cook for at least a couple weeks. Maybe a week and a half, two weeks. And I think because we were inside so long, we're bored and depressed. Did not mean that. Let's go ahead and read a book. We need to read two books, apparently. It didn't help. Well, let's try and find our, ourselves a nice area we can hunt. Or uh, do the trapping, I mean. I spent a little bit of time looking over... Um, I guess there's foraging maps and hunting maps and all that. We need to go into forest and deep forest. There's not a whole lot of deep forest around here. There is some up here. It's up past the gas station and to the left. Kind of along, along the highway in this area. But the problem is, I think there's probably going to be a, a lot of zombies as well. So that's going to be tricky. I guess try and clear them out, but that might take a while. I was thinking about building a fenced-in area with the log. We call it the log wall. It's probably not a bad idea. We still need to get down there and, and do some fishing. Let's clear some people out real quick. Alright, we're still having to collect all the thread we can. And we gotta clear the roads. And I'm pretty sure I lost my glasses at some point. Let's go and wear these. Yeah, it's crazy, man. We just cleared this out a couple days ago. It's already completely full. Alright, we're definitely gonna have to switch weapons here. This thing's gonna break. We're hitting hard, at least. There it goes. I 
And I actually wanted to use the wrench. We'll give this guy our pipe wrench. Oh, he's overburdened already. Nice, he's got a pretty good quality nightstick. Getting some pretty good loot from these. Yeah, we got 84 thread from that. Even more over here. This thing's getting really heavy. Let's consolidate it and move it to the backpack. So that shrunk down to 25. All right, cleared all that out. Let's um, got one straggler here by the truck, and then we can continue to clear out the police department. But I feel like I've cleared it out like 10 times already. I don't know. I guess we're just farming long blunt. I was gonna try and make a little bit more room, see if we can somehow clear a way down down to the lake. I guess we just have to, I mean, we're going to have to farm up these skills anyways, the melee skills. Stragglers. That one had a few rounds on him, some 9 mil. I think I was missing the firefighter jacket. That one's not in great shape. But it's better than not having one. All right, let's keep clearing it out. All right, there's a pretty good crowd here. Let's clear some of these out. It's actually a really bad angle to fight. It's hard to tell the depth, like how far they are away from you. Oh boy. I had fast forward on when they came up. This wrench is about to go. Yep, oh, there it goes. This guy got a knife stick to replace it. And a revolver. Still got people coming, jeez. I don't want to spend too much time in here slicing stuff up, so we're just gonna look for high value loot. Watch those weapons. We're just about full, actually, just off of the, the Zomboids. Oh, that guy's got a katana on him. Alright, we can't leave without that. I thought it was a katana. Oh, you know what? He's further over there. Yep, there it is. And it's in great condition. Seriously, dude, just let me get my... Let me get my prize. Yep, there she is. I think she has a nightstick. She does, and a revolver. I think that's our time. That's our cue to get out. I right, dump that. Let's beat a little bit. Decent quality nightsticks, actually. I'll, I'll definitely put those to good use. And that katana is really nice. Look at that. It's almost perfect. It's not quite, but it's close. We're pretty seriously overburdened. Let's not mess around with anything else. I think that's my, my cue to get the kids to bed. <laughs> it's going to be pretty hard to record with that in the background. Let me get back home and then we'll get the little ones to bed. Definitely don't have room. Oh, I guess it's just throw it on the floor. Not ideal. I think we might have room for the pistol. Yeah, we do. Full as well now. Might want to make the metal boxes. I don't know what level you need to be to get those, but probably not a bad idea. Let's consolidate these. Yeah, it takes forever. 
So 60 thread, that's a lot. So we did pretty good that hole. 153 and most of those are full. There might be three or four that are not, but pretty much a solid stack. All right, and we do not have the jacket. Yeah, so we needed that. Did they just attack my rope? No. Um, we're just waiting for these to go rotten. Yep, never mind. Oh, we're a little tired. Let's just go to sleep. Let's double check the generator. Make sure there's nothing that needs to be harvested. Alright, these are already in stage 3. It's pretty fast. Tomatoes, potatoes, they're in stage 5. So we're almost there. We have nowhere to put any of that stuff though. We'll have to put it in the compost bin. Actually, what happens if we grab one of these sacks? Does it let us do it? Composter 2.5% or more required, which is... It's like almost, almost 100% full. Let's get the meat patty out of there. See if that's throwing something off. Yeah, these things deal with a lot of hunger, but they don't give you any weight. There's very little calories in them. It's just all veggies. But that's fine. We're going to have a ton more veggies coming soon. So actually, can we just can we just eat the whole thing? Yep, that'll give us a little bit of calories. And then once we start getting to the, the big meaty ones, that should be a lot better shape. Now, as far as weapons go, we need more. All right, let's use this little cartoon looking wood mallet. I hear one down here. I don't see him yet. Oh, there we go. Nice, he brought a shoddy for us. Let's go drop that off. It's, it's going to be really heavy. You know, I thought about it. I think we just have to stick to that plan. We gotta keep trapping in that area. Yeah, I, I think what happens is I was putting the frozen rabbits in there. <laughs> I don't know how, but... And what happened to... We had a water bottle full of um, gasoline. That's fine. I don't need it. Trap crates. We'll get a bunch of those. We'll have a bunch of stuff to, to use as bait as well. Yeah, cabbage is decent. We have only a couple carrots, but we're making even more. But I think in the meantime, we can just use those. And we should probably make more planks and nails. It might actually be easier just to make them over there. So let's take a few nails. We'll grab our saw. And then the ones that we already have. And some cabbage. All right, let's do it. Nice. Got an onion. What I'd like to do is actually build some walls. Currently, if you modify the area, it doesn't change anything. So, like, this can still be considered forest, even if we chop all the trees down. So, that might not be a bad idea. 200 XP for that leak. I think we're sufficiently far enough away. The thing that's nice about this, we could set up traps right here, and we only have to set up three walls, not four, so we can tie it into this. They won't be able to break that one down. Let's go ahead and unpack our crates. Keep them nice and tightly packed, that way it's, it's easy to wall around. And what we'll probably do is we'll probably wall a good distance more, so we can fit more in there. Now we need this cabbage, there we go, I was going to say we need the cabbage to defrost, but we're good. Oh, can we not use cabbage? Interesting. Yeah, I guess not. All right, well, we'll have to wait till we have more carrots. We'll come back. Well, in the meantime, we can work on building the enclosure for it at least. Right, let's hop the fence and go back on the other side. So we already explored that. All right, got a pine comb. We'll toss that. Oh, where did this guy come from? I think we're good on thread right now. Just leave it. We've got like 160. I mean, we'll, if we start running low, we can just switch it up and start collecting it again. But we could the axes, or we can use some of the ones that we already have. We've got quite a few here. Well, we have two. 
We also need sheet rope. Yeah, we can make a ton of these things. They actually weigh less if we make the axe right now, so let's just craft them. Alright, there's that. Let's take as many of these sheet ropes as we can. We can get the rest over there from zombies. Now, we're actually losing weight, so let's see if we can keep eating. Still going down. We'll keep eating until it's not doing that. Alright, poisonous mushroom. We'll let that go. Just hit the rest of this thing. Nah, it, it barely moved. Alright, here we go. Wow, we barely got one tree down. That thing's already dead. It's a big tree, though. Maybe maybe that's why. Yeah, it already broke. Wow, we didn't get through that one. Alright, come on, tree. Wow. Another one down. We didn't even get one tree down that time. So maybe it makes sense to use a legit axe. I think it's the tree type. This thing is, is pretty crazy. There. Alright, it's down. Well, at least we're getting some XP for it. We're getting maintenance and all that. Here, maybe one or two on this side as well. Two more on this side. And maybe this one. And then we got ourselves a nice little box. Alright, so we want to build walls. Log wall. We need... Oh, rip sheets. Shoot. It's not the sheet ropes. Alright, so... Let's take back as many of these things as we can. All right, let's go back. We'll get a bunch. All right, nimbles almost to four. Not almost, but we're trying. Our right, barbecue's almost back up to 60 hours. Should be good on that one. Sheet ropes we don't need. And we'll take a bunch of these dirty rags. And we're completely out of calories at this point. Let's get one of the ones with the meat in it. Right, we need to get something in us. Let's, um, let's chat down on some chocolate. It's 8 p.m. I'm wondering if we should do this tomorrow instead. Yeah, we probably should. When in doubt. I can hear him. Can't see him. It's mad about something. Oh, there he is. Or is that me? Apparently he can't really do anything. I think that's fine for now. Alright, hopefully this thing gives us some calories, man. A little bit, not that much. Let's go see where that guy was. Well, oh, he's beating on the door. Weather sucks, so we're probably not going to get much out of it. Let's just try and get there. And what I'm thinking we can do is... We'll approach from this side always, and we'll enter by jumping, rather than having a gate, because the gate's kind of a weak point, so that'll just be our entrance. Alright, log wall. It's going to cost four logs. Jesus. Maybe we don't want to make this thing too big then, because that's, that's a tremendous amount of logs. We don't even have enough to enclose this with what we cut. It's fine. Yeah, I think we have to. Yeah, we'll build it out nice and wide. Yeah, all those trees are gonna get us like five pieces of wall. Oh, no, uh, yeah, maybe six. Alright, I think it's probably about as far as we want it to go. And then we'll draw it out this way and then back in, just make a square. Yep, that'll be our little fort. I kind of don't like this one being so close. Same thing with these. Down to two. We'll pull out the relax for this next part, I think. 
right down to the last one. Oh, wow. That thing broke in two hits. I think that might have been a used one. All right, let's try and take back twigs, tree branches, all that stuff. We can't really use it out here anyways. And we'll take a few of these things and just dump them in the trash. We can take them all. We'll just go slow. And that's actually bringing our carpentry skill up a decent amount as well. Alright, stone axes, delete them. Alright, that looks good. Let's just grab... Where are you? We need our axe. Take a couple of them. Alright, we can turn search mode back on. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Let's see how many of these we can get. Apparently two more. Well, we can get our axe out. This thing should have decent durability. Let's cut the big one down. That's a maintenance skill here. We're actually almost at six. Maybe we'll cut it right there. Yeah, what I can do is reposition the traps. Yeah, that should be fine, actually. That can be enough. We're going to need... Uh, quite a few more actually. Alright, and X took a dump. Got another one though. Jeez, what the heck, man? It went from full to half, not even in one tree. I just starting to get late, almost eight. I think we can finish this in time. Oh, we might have to cut down a couple more trees, but we're pretty close. We need three more, and we did get a level of carpentry, so almost maxed out. Level nine. I think that's it. Let's pull everything inside, and we'll close it up. Just make sure everything's inside. Oh no. <laughs> we have three logs. We need four. It's already fairly late. We'll come back. What I should have done is we brought some of the sheet rope. We can tie those things up and make them a lot less heavy. I think two sheet rope. And four logs only weigh 12. So that's a pretty big difference. All right, made it back home. We need more food. I don't know. I mean, we're constantly full, but we're still zero calories, even though we've been stuffing our face. It's a lot of tree branches. I mean, they can either be spears or axes, but it doesn't really matter. Well, we'll probably save them for spears. I don't think we're going to need a whole lot of hand axes too much more. I don't know what else we would build. I mean, we build our little fence on the roof. I got a little bit of reloading XP. Almost to level 5. And we'll just sleep. Don't think we're going to need it, but let's let's take an, another axe. Okay, we got quite a few of the hand axes. Oh, we'll just grab another one. And what I want to do, I want to craft more of the traps. So we'll cut some trees from this side as well. It'll be easier to... I, I want to clear the fence off so we can see what's actually going on. I don't think anything's here. But let's just cut this down. Yeah, it's going to give a lot more visibility. So it's much easier to, to move these things over as a four log stack. And they'll even fit in the backpack. I think that's... I think that's it, right? Yep, I don't see anything else. We'll probably want to clear some more, but that's good for now. Alright, final piece of wall. Yeah, we still have still have one to make. I'm confused. It's not letting me build it. It's not showing anything is in the way. Let's try it from the outside, maybe. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, interesting. You can jump these two. I didn't know that. Okay, we got a decent amount of logs. Let's just quickly check. Yep, that one's stuck. Can't go out that way. Should be safe. Alright, trap crate. We need three planks, five nails. And we still need to have a way to get to these ones. So what I'm thinking... Let's just saw everything. And we'll make as many of these things as we can. Now, I won't put it up against the fence, just so we can jump over at all points. There we go. And then... So there's four in between here, so what we'll do is we'll do back-to-back -back one. So we could fit another eight in here without blocking anything. We can get to all of them. So 22 traps. 
That should be pretty good. I think we probably ran out of nails though. Yeah, we did. Still have planks for two. Yeah, we need to go get some more nails. Looks like some of the veggies are done. Let's go check it out. If these are stage four, it's good. Blooming. Nope, still not yet. Young tomato. Yeah, five out of seven, three out of seven. So those are getting there. And then same thing, potatoes still need some time. I think what we'll end up doing is maybe one or two rows cabbage, and then we'll just slam carrots all over. We don't need the dirty rags. Let's throw those back. So we still need to clear out some trees. Uh, would like to get even better visibility here. We need to make, uh, we need wood for six more. We have enough for two there. We need eight. Oh, that didn't last long. Yeah, we can still get over still. But we need 24 of these things. There we go. We'll have two leftover planks. It actually seems like a little bit inefficient of a layout. Maybe I could have thought about this a little bit. No, no, this actually, it's, it's not bad. Yeah, it's, it's not great, but it's not bad. And we'll leave the logs here. We'll definitely need them at some point. I think we'll probably expand this. So this will be our trapping slash cooking. I'm trying to think what else would be affected by this. Mostly those two. And then obviously maintenance. Every time I cut down the tree, that's helping a lot. All right, let's go get the rest of the stuff on the floor here. I think that's it. Now we just need stuff to put in the traps. Let's put some of this stuff back. Keep eating. All right, we can't finish foraging. Can't do trapping till that's done. Till we, we get our food. We can do a reloading for a while. Yeah, we can get tailoring for sure. We could go do some fighting too. 34 though. I feel like it's kind of a waste. But oh, might as well. Let's just keep farming. We don't got a reloading level. It's starting to get late. Let's put all that back. That dish actually did pretty well. Let's eat the whole thing. Just get some calories back. I think we should probably do a start hunting down these extra books. We're missing cooking five, farming four. Farming four is definitely a problem. So we're already trying to plow through that. Foraging five, mechanics five. It's only a few books. I suspect I, what I probably did is mark some stuff. I feel like we probably would have ran into it by now, but I don't know. Maybe not. Got to keep our weight up here. Still have a ton of stuff we gotta deal with food wise. Just clogging all that. These are all rotten. Let's go throw it in the bin. We're getting kind of low on fuel here. This condition's okay too. We'll do it on the next one. We got a lot of stuff to do here. Yeah, I think what we'll do is get this plan out of here. All right, what do we have in terms of blanks? No, we don't have a lot. We could use some more of these. We could go somewhere and just pick them up if we don't want to. Yeah, I guess we could. Oh, either way, we got a seat for the night anyways. Let's just do that. We have so much stuff. I don't know why we even have all this stuff, to be honest. What we'll do is let's use it to, as compost. I was watching some videos and thinking about it. Some people have a decent idea of just doing like one or two types. I kind of like that. Okay, cabbage is the best to eat. Carrots are the best to, to get rabbits with. So we could just do all of one or the other and then sacrifice either a little bit of calories or a little bit of effectiveness. Or we could just do a little bit of cabbage and spam carrots. Let's grab a bunch of these mixed veggies. We'll just be eating these for the next few days. We'll do that. Cabbage and carrots, fine. Eggs, we'll probably just eat them all as well. Let's see, we got a bunch of stuff in here that we don't really want to use. Just get rid of all this crap. Yeah, it's just it's just, just so much stuff we don't need. Absolutely don't need. The cheese we can use as bait. We'll just use it maybe for uh, some mouse traps or something. Yeah, all that stuff can go on the floor. The rotten oak will keep up top because that's mild that can be used to cure mildew, I believe. We need to get this organized. We we just I think we got a little bit of work to get done here. And we already went once to the warehouse. These, uh, this double warehouse, we could go back there again. Why don't we just do that? It's early, but not early enough to where we can't see anything. 
So let's go dump this hand axe and then let's head out. Hopefully we can just make a straight shot. Just depends. These streets are pretty, pretty crowded. I feel like this is going to be faster than building them because getting out, chopping the, the logs and all that stuff. We don't need the XP. It's just a little bit of carpentry XP, but we're going to be maxed out on that very, very soon. So that doesn't really make a difference. We've got tons of fuel. I'm not really worried about that. And we've already, this place is already empty. We can go here pretty safely. All right, let's not smack ourselves into a giant tree. That goes into the, the little army barracks. Perfect, we can just back right in. All right, now the hard part. We gotta dump everything out of these things. Yeah, we can fit a ton of these crates in there. And this is what, three? I think it's three and three? Nails and um, planks. So every time we do that, it saves us a bit. We got room for a couple more and then we can fit quite a few in our backpack. Ooh. This might not be a bad idea. We could take all this as compost as well. So maybe we'll do that. Well, we are going to have a lot of compost, actually. I think about it. Because we just emptied out our freezer. How much do these weigh to each? Just try and get a couple more. In the previous episode, we headed towards the lake to clear it out again and found a katana. We built a fort around the traps. We drove to the warehouse to get more wooden crates as well. All right, we could fit one more or a couple more on our lap. Because you can be overburned while you're sitting down. It doesn't really damage you. Yeah, we're way overburdened now. That's fine. Let's get out of here. As long as we don't have to get out, if we don't get stuck in a zombie horde, then we should be fine. Oh boy. Well, can't avoid that, unfortunately. Yeah, those, that area is really, really dangerous because you can't swerve trees everywhere and it's a really sh small road. So if he's anywhere in the middle, you just don't, you don't have room to go on either side. You just have to smash him. Yeah, what I'd like to do is throw maybe one or two crates up top where the farming stuff is. We got to get the farming stuff up there. Doesn't really make sense to have to take it out every time. Probably have one, yeah, one crate, one crate for the farming stuff. One crate maybe for the generator so we can keep the fuel to jeez man one for the fuel tank one for the electronics oh man they're all over this side of the road i should have gone to the other side oops and then all the other crates we can throw up probably have us some designated place just for the weapons maybe we'll put them up in the middle of the room or something are you out of your mind dude that is yeah, that looks like a small tree to me, but all right, well, apparently not. Well, we're not severely injured, at least. Well, we definitely can't run. We're severely overburdened. So we're just going to fight. Yep, that's it. All right, let's scurry up. I need a way to get up from this side, too. It's kind of annoying having to go through. So let's actually, yeah, we're not losing any more HP because we're already as low as we can get from overburdened. So let's throw one of these down right here. We'll throw another one down right here. Yeah, that's fine because that'll block from falling off. That's good. And we'll reorganize all that stuff in a minute. Stuff's still fresh, so we'll deal with that later. Yeah, we're supposed to eat the mixed veggies. Okay, let's keep the cheese. I don't know why I pulled that out. Let's just build out the second row for everything. Yeah, man, I'm really trying to avoid flashing this thing up. I mean, I know I could fix it up. But yeah, look at that. The hood, the engine. Jeez, man, we trashed it. Completely trashed it. 
That sucks. Oh, man. Oh, and I forgot we have crates in the backpack. We're missing a few over here, and then I think what we'll do... We got some in the backpack. Let's pull those out. I think we could do another one for cooking. Wait, can we not? Oh, we can. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why he's blocking. All right, so that's doubled up. We need some for weapons. So probably one for long guns, one for pistols, one for attachments, and then one for ammunition, maybe, just to keep it simple. That little spot right there, I feel like we're going to, like, just for the town that we're in, it's not a big deal, but we're going to start looting everywhere else soon, and it's just not going to be sufficient. So let's go ahead and go overboard. One, two, three, four. We're definitely going to need two for long guns, probably three for long guns for pistols and then the melee weapons we have way too many we'll probably switch this into one-handed two-handed see we need more for electrical should be okay farming we'll turn this into metalworking and that's gonna have a lot just because those plates are super heavy uh okay let's do another one for long guns and i think that's it starting our eggs it's like a giant Amazon warehouse in here. So pistols, I think we probably get away with two. But we'll do two for these others. Ammunition probably won't need it right away. And then these will probably be one-handed, two-handed weapon crates. So we can organize that. All right, we got quite a bit of stuff. I still don't really want to put the rip sheets in. Yeah, I guess we could. It's kind of sloppy, but that's not a big deal. Need some eggs. We have a bunch of eggs in here still we need to get rid of. Yep, cooked, and then there's uncooked. We'll do that. That'll give us a bunch of XP. Okay, let's see what we can do here. We'll make this the long gun crate. We got long guns, pistols, this will be attachments, and ammo. Actually, attachments, we can just put, make it simple. We'll put the magazines in there as well. Yeah, I want to remove all the upgrades and then try and I think rack takes it out. Yeah, we got a rack. We'll get all the ammo out because I don't want all these things sitting with mods and ammunition in them. Oh, we'll put the shotties up top. So these should all be unloaded. Yep, all unloaded, no attachments. Let's do the same thing with the M14s. No mag, no, this needs to be racked. Alright, M14 can go on the bottom. Hunting rifles will toss in the middle. Oh yeah, this thing's got a ton of upgrades. Alright, none of them are loaded. And then again with the mods, we'll toss them all on the bottom. So we got ammo strap, choke two. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff. And then ammunition, we've got a couple of loose rounds. Yeah, because the problem is I don't want these things sitting around with all these upgrades. If we have a specific one that we want to use. Oh man, that's a lot. Yeah, some of these have a ton of upgrades. And it needs to be racked. This one's got a mag on it. So many upgrades. All right, that looks good. You know what we can do is we can separate the mags. Mags will be in the top, mods on the bottom. They keep eating the eggs. And we should have a ton of shotties here. Let's go grab all these. Oh, and we got a bunch of mods. Yeah, the weapon system's a little funky in this one when you have more than one weapon. It's kind of... I don't want to say it's unintuitive, but it's very cumbersome. Now, with that said, I don't know. I don't know how you'd fix it, but there's probably a better way to do this. All right. Well, there's all the shotties that we have on us anyway, so let's get them packed away here. When you shoot shotgun shells, we could probably box those up. Yeah, once you get a certain amount of shells, we can uh, convert it. Now, there's three more. Let's go handle these three. Almost done, and we can do interesting stuff. This, those didn't have too much on them. And we may actually not have space for this. We do just, oh, exactly 60. Well, we're going to need probably another crate. Yeah, these long guns are, they take up a lot of space. So all we have is a, sh a few shells. Should be able to box one up. Nice, there's another, another box of shells. Let's go ahead and move some stuff. Load up on eggs first. Let's drop our little bottle of gasoline so we can just take all. Put it all. Now that's actually perfect. 
We don't really need... Actually, we don't even need the shovel. We can leave these and put those in the two-handers. We could just do everything with the trowel up top. We don't need the other stuff. And there's some stuff that we just don't need a whole lot of. The gardening can spray. Very rarely going to use this, I think. We'll keep one. And then we'll toss the rest. The watering cans, definitely we need more. And also, oh, I don't know why I'm not keeping these in packets. Silly of me. We'll put them all back in the packets. That'll save a lot of space. There's some things that are stale in that pile now. We should be able to get some mulch out of it. Oh, there's a zombie down there. I don't know where he went, but somewhere down there. But we put all that stuff in there. That only takes up six. Just good. And the rest of this stuff can go in there. Same thing with the watering cans. We need to get those off the ground. Yeah, there we go. So 36. There. Oh, we need to reorganize this too. I wish I didn't grow so much stuff. So many different types. But it's not a big deal. Let's get our gas cans. Gas cans can come in here. We gotta get scrap electronics in here. We need to go grab some more though. We we'll do that. 8.30 almost. It's getting late. Time for night night. Although, it was a day well spent. It's always good to organize. Let's get the rest of these shovels out of here. We can relabel this. This can be metal. I'm trying to find a color that's not right next to it. Let's just get everything out of the backpack. Yeah, what we need to do is... Let's just get rid of the label. Alright, everything in the backpack. We'll sort it. All the mods, all the ammo. I don't remember if we've gone through these yet. So let's just go through them. So these have no... Yeah, no mag, no attachments. Perfect. Yeah, we get to unload all these. Got a red dot on that one. But those should be pretty much empty then. You know what I probably should do is throw the loose ammo up top. Anything that's not in a box. All it needs to be in one because if they're separated, there could be loose ammo in both that match. And if we combine them, it would be able to go into the correct container. But if they're separated, you, you just wouldn't know. Now the M14, I think we're just going to leave. We'll leave those loaded. Yeah, all these are fine. We'll just leave these loaded because we can use that still for the reloading skill. Man, that's a lot. That is a lot of stuff. It's good though. It's better than not having it. All right, all the boxes need to go. So it seems like the process is to... So you check it, you unload it, whatever you eject. If, it is, if it's a magazine fed, you eject the mag. And then while you still have it equipped, you rack it. That gets the, the round out of it. We get a bunch of loose rounds. This is definitely going to be a box. Shotgun shells, I think, need 25 for a box. All right, we still got a bunch to do. Let's take care of these. All right, these are all unloaded, ready to go. Oh, there's a gunshot. Probably going to be getting hungry again. We need to get our weight up. What else could we eat? We got some mayonnaise. That sounds yummy. A ton of calories in that, so we won't have to worry about it. Did I miss anything? I did not. Alright, let's go get the rest. Yeah, see, so we eject, we rack, do the next one. Eject, rack. This one's got attachments too, so we do get rid of that last. Eject, rack, remove. Oh, and I hate it when it does that. You take off the attachment and it just throws it in inventory. So now I gotta look for the other one. There it goes. So these should all be clean. Clean and stripped. Yeah, because the problem is we can only use one weapon at a time anyways. So it's like you could have all this stuff spread out on all your many different weapons. You're only gonna use one of them. And then you're gonna use the other ones for parts. So it's like you might as well just strip them. All right, those mags are empty and ready to go. A little bit of loose. Looks like 25 is not the number. Any more than that. Alright, last batch. And yeah, nothing in the top one because that's a new box. Here we go. Alright, no upgrades on those. Nice. None of these are equipped with anything. Yep. No loose rounds, no nothing. So we can just throw these straight in. Got a nice little collection here. Looking pretty good. Almost full though. Jeez. We'll probably separate them. Revolvers and semi-auto. Slide action, whatever you want to call it. Because technically this, the revolvers are semi-auto too, I think. Yeah, as long as it cocks itself, it should be, mechanically, it should be called semi-auto. There's that. Loose rounds. We should be able to box some of this up. 19 to 17, so 12 for those. The 44 Magnum. 
none of this other stuff is ready. All right, so that's that. That's all the melee stuff. So what I would like to do is maybe do one-handed, two-handed. Do we have any two-handed in here? Yeah, we got plenty in the shovels, of course. We can do like a lighter blue. Man, that's the same thing. There we go, two-handed. This one can be one. One-handed melee. Let's try and consolidate these boxes, actually, can we? No, we have too much. Oh, there's... All right, I'm an idiot. Well, first off, we're really tired. We're also really hungry, so let's eat some mayonnaise. That'll stop the issues of the weight. And then as far as being bored and depressed, we're just going to have to be bored and depressed for a little bit longer. There's a ton of two-handed stuff in here. Now what I'm thinking we could do actually is... No, let's just do them all in one. It's it's not a big deal. I was going to separate them maybe what? and short blade, but I don't think it's really worth it. it it's, it's fine. Maybe these little crappy ones like the butter knives and whatever if we have any of these no, i think those are over in the cooking area we can put those all up at the top the ones that are going to break super fast let's eat the rest of our mayo we gotta eat the rest of these mixed veggies we got a ton of food we can blow through so these are good these are good folks electrical we need to separate i'm pretty sure right yeah metal sheet we'll put the big sheets on the bottom maybe small sheets in the middle Scrap metal and welding rods can go on top. Now, is there anything else that needs to move? Yeah, we're going to keep the propane out. I think these rip sheets are fine on the floor. That's fine. The, the rolls, whatever. Sheet rope, that's fine. We can get rid of uh, some issues with the strawberries. Just head on these things. That'll make us quite a bit happier. Right, and then the other one, boredom, will go down as we're outside. We just bored because we're inside. Yeah, so it ticks back up when we're inside. So at this point... We gotta figure out what is the best option here. Skills wise, we need to grind up to six on a lot of these. We're gonna run into issues with farming very soon. And that reminds me, I wanna put a, a little, what do you call it, like a little overhang, like we did on that side, but do it on this side. So that way, when we come home, those carrots are ready for harvest, but they're not uh, seed bearing. We wanna wait for that. Yeah, when we come home, we wanna be able to just go straight up, not have to come all the way around to the backside. We'll take two sheet ropes. Actually, the only time we use sheet ropes is when we're outside. So why don't we just move these stupid things outside? Just throw them right here. Now we're going to need some nails. Grab our saw. Let's just build it right here if we can. Not going to let us. What about right here? Oh, there it goes. There, and that used up all of our planks. No, no, we still have a little bit. So we can build one more. Let's just build an oops fence. Because <laughs> I'll probably fall off, walk off or whatever. There, we got access points on both sides. I do want to finish at some point in closing this whole thing, but it's not really a priority right now. All right, this stuff is still rotting away, no problem. Well, I think just because our cars get all jacked up, let's finish mechanical. Let's get our bottle of gasoline in these garden spraying cans. Now, I doubt we'll ever use it, but let's just hang it on just in case. You never know. I think it might make sense just to swap the hood. We're going to have to repair the engine parts, though, and that's going to be a real pain. Let's make sure there's nobody to sneak up on us. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, let's do it. So we're getting the hood and the windshield. That engine is taking an absolute beating. We'll have to deal with it later. I don't think we can do it yet. Oh, we can, actually. Yeah, we can. We have engine parts. It's not going to add much. I think it's one. Every engine part adds one. So we're going to need, what, 78? <laughs> it's fine. We get up to 25. Why not? I'd rather... Yeah, we can try and get it up to, like, the 90s. So we need a good hood and a windshield. Let's see if we can find one. It's got to be on a heavy duty. This windshield's not that great. The hood's trashed. Windshield's 82. That's good enough. Plus 10 mechanics, so it gives you a pretty good amount of XP. So you don't want to smash it, because we can put the busted one in the other one. So at least it has one. There, give us 20 XP. So there's that. We need to find a good hood. This one looks trashed as well. That one looks trashed. This one, I don't know. 
Yeah, it's not good. These are all regular, so I don't think it's going to count. I'd be surprised if it... <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I'd be surprised if this is anything over zero. That one looks really bad. But we could look to repair it. Potential repairs, 97%. Metal sheet and propane torch. Done. Let's do it. I'm actually just going to combine everything. I don't want these all separated. We don't have enough metal. We can separate it later if we need to, but keep it all in one container. And then we'll spend some time fixing up the engine. We got to go pull engine parts from other vehicles. 97, there you go. Yeah, that's much better. And we also need to find better headlights. Tires are still pretty full from the last time we filled them up. Yeah, we just need headlights and engine parts. I don't want to pull engine parts from vehicles that we potentially plan on using. But these little ones, we're just going to completely shred them. They're pretty bad too. 40% engine quality is, is not good. The engine parts, we need one more headlight. Uh, this is a sports model, so we need one more level before we can do that. Let's pull the taillight. It's 89. We'll throw in a 39. Now this truck. I don't think we'll use this truck ever. All right, let's go ahead and repair engine. 43 is better, but we got a lot to go still. We're just going to shred all these, these poor vehicles, but what they're here for. Spare engine parts, we've got 29. Let's use that. 72. Let's get it up even higher. I want to get it in the 90s. These are all parts vehicles anyways, that's what they're here for. So we need at least 20 parts, we're at 15, let's keep going. It's like the bottomizing all these cars. 19, let's actually get one more. 26, that'll work. 98, that is perfect. Rear windshield, everything is in pretty good shape. I don't think we need to mess with anything. Suspension. It's getting a little low on a couple of them, but I think overall this is this is where we want to be. So we still want to get some XP though. So let's go get some food. Go we'll chill out for a sec. We need fifteen hundred XP. It's not that much. We'll do the usuals, but then we can also do the hood. Replace it. We can do windows and doors and driver seats. Why not? And then since we're on the left side, let's take the tire, the left brake. Oh, it's actually going to ruin it if we don't get it. Let's get to six first. We'll do both tires. Get the trunk lid. Yeah, the problem is if you don't have enough XP or you don't have a high enough level, you're just going to damage stuff. There we go. So we did quite a bit of stuff to that. Oh, I was looking at the wrong stat, wasn't I? That I said, I, I think I said I was at 1500. We're definitely not at 1500. So I think a regular vehicle, we can probably do all the extra stuff. We'll start with the hood. Yeah, see this one, you only need three skill. We can also get the suspension. We can do suspension, brakes, and then put the tire back on. There, let's see what that does. So that was about 300, 500. So about 250 XP for every car that we do. It does make us pretty sweaty though. It's hard work carrying all that weight. We take some damage too. Which is really not a big deal if, if we've got nothing else going on, right? If we're just staying home and sleeping, it'll come back, no problem. Oh, these peas don't give us squat. All right, we need to get more of them. Let's see, four. All right, new day. Two months, 15 days. All right, let's go again. We're going to go for these cars right here. These are the standard ones, right? Yeah, standard. So we can just chop them up, no problem. We'll try and get everything on the left side first. If we already know we're going to be overweight, get both of these things. No, it's definitely better to do them one by one. Yeah, that was not efficient at all. All right, well, we got a ton of XP out of it. It's fine. Let's do the trunk, tail lights, and then now we want to do the right. So we go front right window. Let's do the window first. So front right tire, we'll get the brakes, suspension. There we go. I think that was it. So it was like 520 to 840. Did we do 
Maybe we did more than one car in between, but anyways, not bad. Let's keep trying to get our weight up here. All right, let's go windows left side, I guess. It's going to be confusing with this many doors. So front left, rear left, rear left door. Reinstall it. Now we want to do left tire, so front left tire. Maybe brake suspension. Like a pit, pit crew for NASCAR or something, or F1. Trying to put these things on as fast as possible. All right, let's get the trunk lid. Tail lights. And then we can start working on the right side now. Uh, rear right window. All right, that's all the doors. Let's get the tires. Let's do front. Do the right side next. There, done. It was like 8 something to 11 something. So about 300, roughly. If we get all of them. This one has four doors instead of two, so that probably helps it some. Although it doesn't matter, we have so many cars, we could just go to a different car if it's a two door. So it's really not a big deal. Let's go left side, front left. Rear left. And we want left tire. That's it for that. Let's go trunk lid, tail lights. And then we'll get windows on the right side. So rear right. Front right. That's it for that. Let's get the tire starting with the rear. All right, I think that's it. 11, 20, 14, 60. Jeez, that's a lot. But we are running out of... Um, Ran out of water and everything. Let's go get some food and water. All right, not a whole lot else to eat that we need to clean out. So let's just start eating some of these stews and soups. That, because of the parking job, we can't get to it. So I'll just put the tire back on. It's fine. Let's actually skip these. It's kind of inefficient. I should have fixed that other car down. 1900. I think we can probably finish this before end of the day. Um, yeah, it's getting kind of light. Shoot, we might run out of time, but we'll see. That was loud. Shoot, somebody shot right nearby us. So close, 2447. I think we might need to pack it in. It's getting dark. Probably a little dangerous to be out here. And we don't need to be carrying the saw, and we're pretty severely overweight or overburdened. It's probably good to not have that. All right, everything looks good. We're not smoking because we're not fighting. Depression will go away once we. Yep, we got a zombie down there trying to break in the door. We'll let him break in, I don't really care. I used to be real upset about them busting up the base, but now that I... As long as they leave the... Sorry, I forgot to check these... The harvest. These are ready for harvest, but not seed-bearing. Oh, the tomatoes are seed-bearing. We should probably do that before they all go rotten. Uh, as long as they leave the ropes alone, I don't care what they do to the base. It just doesn't even matter. We're never going to get a gigantic horde here. It's just going to be one-offs, so it's, it's really not a big deal. Seed-bearing all the way down. Perfect. Right, we got a level in farming. Our XP is gonna just plummet because we don't have we don't have the right book. Fuel's at fifty five. I know we have. Yeah, we've got a bunch of these that are just like half used. We need to fix that. Let's turn that off. Probably need to repair the generator too. Let's get some more scrap. I know we're overburdened and taking damage. We're gonna be doing the same thing later anyways because the car so don't really care i forgot to move up the electronics up here though so let's just take a heap of these i don't know how many that's 24 that's probably more than enough for a very long time we'll eat some of these tomatoes but really we probably need to just compost them 12 hunger is not enough it's just not enough seed bearing strawberries too good all right let's shut this bad boy off Alright, that's three. Let's fix the generator. Pretty good amount of XP. Went from 24 to 18. I mean, just, yeah, it's going to take us a really long time to burn through that. So 100%. This gas can probably has some left. Yeah, it's just a tiny bit. We'll hang on to that. Let's get the calories from our stew. Actually, you know what? Let's just dump the tomatoes. We can, there's so much produce here. We'll hang on to a couple of them, but yeah, there'll be a compost. I don't think we need the propane torch for now. I should have that back. 
And let's harvest these strawberries. Seed bearing. Yeah, it's nice you don't have to replant the strawberries. That does make a bit of a difference. We'll keep some of the strawberries on us. Maybe it'll help with the depression. <laughs> yeah, we're too full to eat now anyways. We gotta wait. Alright, not seeing any zombies out. Let's start working again. We should be hungry enough to eat some strawberries. Let's see if that reduces our aggression issues. Yeah, it's dropping it. So even without smoking, it's not that big of a deal. We got two more cars maybe and we're there. One more. I think one more car will have it. Here we go. The good old grind. We got it. Now we're getting no XP for anything we do. We gotta read the book for the next one. So that's up. We got metalworking. Electronics, it's just going to take forever. So we'll, we'll kind of passively do that, as, I think, as we farm the other stuff. So I think probably we need to put our let's put our tools down so we're not carrying around 5,000 pounds. Wrench, jack, and lug wrench. Yeah, we don't need those. Sit on the ground for a sec so we can get rid of this moisture issue. So it's 350, 360, or sorry, 360, aka 4 o'clock. I think we can probably not do any metalworking tonight. I, I don't think that's going to work. It's clear. We could do some forging. Let's just do that. Let's do forging right now. Still got a bunch of food over here. That's decent. What are you doing, dude? I'm literally right next to you. Yeah, you can't hear. Should be able to feel, though. All right, we need to get nimble, foraging, all the fun stuff. But let's work on that right now. Yeah, actually, foraging is pretty close. Some short blunt. Nimble is not that far off, technically. So we'll just do those two. In the previous episode, we brought the wooden crates back to the base and organized. We worked on cars for mechanical XP, and we forged around the area to get forging XP. Oh, we're getting stuff. Definitely getting stuff. Caterpillars, cockroaches. Those will at least give us some XP. We can take a quick peek at our traps, see how many are set off. Uh, we don't want poisonous mushroom. We'll discard that. Doesn't look like anything is tripped yet. We got a log. Let's go drop it back off in our little base. Uh, a locket, that's completely useless. We're finding a lot of good stuff, though. Put it with the other two, just in case maybe Zombie will come by here and try and bust it down. We'll need to rebuild it. These broccoli don't even move the needle. It's not worth really growing that. Almost got another foraging level though. We're 600 away and we're getting, like on some of the good ones, we're getting over 100 XP per, so we get a few more. I just want to comb the area a little bit. Definitely take the caterpillar. I've never had one of those before. Or at least that, that the one that looks like that. See, like that one gave us about 116 XP. But why are we... Oh man, moderately exhausted. I was going to say, how did we get exhausted? We've just been walking. Well, let's sit on the ground for a sec. Just recover some stamina. And then we'll get back after it. Now we gotta stay away from this area tomorrow. Just so that we can let the traps work. There's a few zombies out here. Take them out. But that guy's got a uh, shoddy on him. A slug, we should be able to. Assuming it doesn't go night on us too fast, we should be able to get this. We're really, really close. I will definitely take that. It's got no ammo in it. I gotta keep going. Forging, and then we can start reading the book for that as well. We got mechanics, forging. That's our trash. Actually, let's let's clean up because I yeah, I don't want to keep patrolling this area and running into it, thinking it's you know some XP. So we'll discard it. 
All right, that should do it. No? 300 more. Actually, we need, like, maybe two food items. We didn't quite get it, but we'll be there soon. And we can't fit it in the shotgun, so we'll have to put it with the rifles. The, uh, the hunting rifles, I mean. Nope, no, 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 I did not want to eat that. I accidentally double clicked. I meant to throw, yeah, I meant to throw that in, in the uh, container and I just started eating it. It was a uncooked caterpillar, which I think, I don't know if that's poisonous or not, but that could have been pretty bad. Yeah, these things just don't move the needle at all, the tomatoes. It's kind of a waste of time to sit there and eat them, so let's not do that. We can work on the mayo. We should do is we should be taking these gas cans. Right, we can take them all. Let's throw. Do we have one in the trunk? We don't. Let's keep at least one. The rest will throw up top by the generator. And it's about time to sleep, anyways. Let's check the crops. There might be some seed bearing. No, blooming. These are all seed bearing carrots. Yeah, we need to get those done. I'm not too worried about not having the book because we're going to be farming the whole game. Oh, these are seed bearing too. Blooming potatoes, so those aren't quite ready. Potatoes are 18. Carrots. Carrots are only 8. Yeah, we got to use them as bait though. That's the thing. Yeah, I'm still not 100% sold on carrots. I might just do cabbage and use cabbage because cabbage will catch, I think, slightly less rate, but I mean... If it means we only have to manage one crop, it's probably worth the extra hassle, or the less less amount of hassle. Do we even have room? Yeah, we have a lot of room actually, so let's keep the carrots in here. I don't even remember if we baited those traps. You know what, we should probably take, I think we have like 24. Yeah, see, at least the potato, you can see the calories go up every time you eat one. The tomatoes, you had to eat two or three to see it tick even a little bit. At two months. 17, almost 18 days. We're working on metal today. Metal working. Grab the one that's, uh, that has the least amount of stuff in it. Oh, the carrots. Why do I have? Yeah, I was going to go check the traps, actually, I think. Yep, yeah, let's go do that. It's still pretty early. We got some rotten stuff. We'll come back and throw that in the rotten pile. Let's get to the traps. Just, uh, shove some potatoes down our gullet. And I think what we'll do is let's go on this side. I want to patrol around and make sure we're not going to have any zombies busting that wall down. Well, I know we're not going to get much, but we can't see anything anyways. Might as well. Alright, we're actually here. Let's turn it off. That was fast. Yeah, you know what? I think these don't even have bait in them. I think I forgot to bait them. Yeah, I thought I had done that, but no, some of them are baited. Nope. No, I just clicked on the wrong one. <laughs> there we go. Well, we'll get carrots in each one. No, not, not potato, not potato. Alright, that's it. And how many do we have left? Three. So we actually have 22 traps. I gotta remember that for next time. Let's actually go over the fence. It's just about bright enough now we can take a lap around the area just to make sure there's nothing that close. We'll go maybe half a screen length out and then just do a radius search. Oh, we definitely want that. That's a good one. Lemongrass is a huge XP. Something around here. Who's making all that noise? Uh, there it is. Yeah, that could have been the one that busted our, busted our walls down. So like I said, let's just do some kind of radius search around. It is nice that we only have to worry about half the radius. I do like that indestructible fence. Right, nothing in the field. Just cut back into the wooded area and make sure there's nothing here. Figs and pine cones. Here we go. We can take some mushrooms. Discard the pine cone. Oh, there's another one. We're really close. Less than 50 XP. We'll have it right here, I think. No? Ah, uh, we're right there. Yeah. 
It's because it was trash. You don't get much XP for trash. Nice, we got it. So we need to read the next book. Let's not waste any time. Let's keep moving. All right, a lot of our cabbages are starting to come due. Now, another thing we need to do is throw the rotten stuff. So let's go ahead and go through and get all the rotten. And we'll toss it in the composter. Oh boy, we don't have room for much of this. We got seed bearing. Yeah, this is, these are ready to pop. We got to do this today. All right, looks like we're not doing metalworking today. Let's put this stuff back. And we have three carrots that are usable. So we'll put those back in. And then the rest of these need to just go on the floor because it's not worth spending the time chewing on them. Oh yeah, the rotten lime. Let's throw that in there as well. Now it looks like one of these is not ready to go. So we'll leave it for a little a couple more days. I'm really tempted to just actually only do cabbage just because of how good it is to eat. All right, we are severely overburdened. Oh no, we lost the carrot. Let's take care of the seeds first. <laughs> 500, 500 seeds, lovely. We have 181 cabbage. What in the actual heck? Why do we, why do we put the cabbage seed on the floor? Yeah, there is room. It definitely will fit. I must have tossed it on accident. 181 cabbage. Like, what the heck are we going to do with that much cabbage? Let's put some of it back. Oh, we can actually fit most of it. Yeah, it'll fit. Problem is, we just don't have a whole lot of room for much else. Right, we'll hang on to 10. We need to eat our mayonnaise first, actually, so we can get our weight up. Boom. We just maxed our calories out. I probably should have not done that. I think if we ate half, we probably would have gotten the same thing, and then we could have done it again later. We shouldn't have a problem gaining weight in this one. Wow, actually, some of these mushrooms are really good. 19 is really good. You know, if we were out in the wilderness starving, that would have been a pretty big thing to have. So let's get these potatoes. These are all seed-bearing. We probably won't use these again, but we'll keep the seeds, just in case. Strawberries are... we're still waiting on. And yeah, let's go ahead and get our trowel. And we gotta dig this up. Alright, everything here's looking good. Probably could use a little water, but not that big of a deal. Cabbages, yeah, that's probably why these aren't doing too well. That one definitely needs a little bit of water. Let's go do that. We'll put our trowel back. Oh, we only got eight worms for that. Kind of surprising. And it, it's using the water bottle again. I don't want to use the water bottle. I want to use the watering can. There. I don't know why it does that. I'm sure I'll get... 20,000 comments as to why I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> it would be nice. We got it all done. Here we go. Cabbage. We have 16 cabbage packets. Carrots, we would need to... There they are. Six, we would need to probably... We definitely couldn't do all of them right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Let's just do only cabbage. And I'm gonna do... A new row starting over here. We'll try and plant a new one every two, three days, maybe something like that. And that way, we're not just getting inundated with a ton of inventory all at once. All right, we're good. And you know what? Let's just throw the potatoes on the floor. We'll let those rot out as well, and then we can compost them. We have so much cabbage, we can just eat it. And not just that, but we can cook dishes with literally just cabbage, and it'll get more than what we're getting if we just eat it raw. But I, yeah, I don't think we need to worry about food ever again. I think we're we're good. I mean, we'll still get some, some meat and game and whatnot in here, but even without that, we should be okay. Take these mushrooms. All right, this lemongrass. Let's actually throw it in the medicinal cabinet or box. Now, it wants us to sleep. It's really early. So, yeah, we need to read books. That's what we need to do. We got forging mechanics. Forging four. Let's read that one because I feel like forging we can level up anytime and it'll help us get nimble as well. Yeah, we're really tired. It's okay. We'll sleep around 10 or 11. And then that should put us, maybe we'll wake up around 7 or 8 just because how tired we are. And if we can get up to, say, 83 or 84. Kilos, that'd be really good. Yeah, 10 o'clock is, is good enough. Let's eat a cabbage and go to bed. 
two months, 18 days in. Yeah, today's metalworking, that's right. Now, I know we cleared out quite a few things, but there's still a lot that we can do. Let's go across the street. I think just stay kind of close because we are using like half of a propane bottle. I don't think it's going to last too long. Yeah, I already did this area. Yeah, did this area. You know what? Let's, let's go up to the, the private homes. Don't recall if I did these or not. There's a pretty healthy amount. What the hell, dude? How did... I like, hit air and he just lunged through it. That didn't make any sense. I think he might have bit our clothing. Oh, good thing we got armor. That could have been really bad. Tomato seeds. Well, I don't really want them, but we'll take them. I'm gonna say there shouldn't really be anything in here. Let's see what they got hiding in here. They might have uh, another propane tank. supplies that'll come in handy later yeah this is pretty good stuff we could take all of it we're already full so hopefully we can get this car can we get in looks like it's in really good shape Let's see if there's a window that's not in great shape no they're all in really good shape Not much we can do about it, we gotta break a window. Unless one of these guys drops a key for it. Oh, it's got like a full tank. Holy crap, this is pretty nice. Well, we can definitely use this. Let's go with these. Okay, it's got some stuff. the garage. Nice, another generator. It's like the 10th one. Nice, one of them's got a gun on him. these cabinets they get a lot of XP I'm not too interested in getting all the loot but we do want to disassemble all the big stuff yeah I guess 39 that's a lot same thing with the bathrooms. So there's something else in here. We want to target the bathrooms. This guy's going to break out of here soon, especially if we have it at max speed. Not a good idea. So let's take care of that. Yeah, that gives like 70. Alright, looking good. I doubt there's much in here. But we'll keep looking for... Ooh, big hiking backpack. We'll take that. Yeah, still on the lookout for stuff we can dismantle. Pretty important. Alright, another bathroom. But we're out of propane. Oh, there's one in the backyard. Perfect. Right, that should do it for this place. Let's go to the backyard. Get that propane and then we'll get out. Nice, it's full. Yeah, we should be able to keep looting. We just gotta keep putting stuff in here. Let's put this backpack in the trunk as well. 
the heck did this guy come from? He's probably along the fence that saw me take out the propane from a far distance. I just didn't see him. So that's not quite full, but almost. We still got four seats we can put things on. Oh, that's a hunting knife. Actually, I didn't realize there was so many over here. Where you guys been, man? Got nothing good there. I saw one behind. Yeah, she's probably gonna make her way over here. Let's get in this garage. We got a plus one and what? Yeah, we got another maintenance. Well, come in handy. I want to get that up to a decent uh, level maintenance before we start using the, the stuff that breaks really fast. The um, short blade. What the heck? Did you not see me? Okay. Blind. We got somebody else coming. We got some dismantles in here, that's pretty good. Or disassemble. But I doubt we'll get lucky with the book. Oh, we got a VHS. Oh, time to eat some cabbages. How are we doing on our way? 82, still going up. We're in good shape. We gotta slow it down a little bit. Let's get some bath towels. Like right now we're wet. We need to have a way of getting that so dry. Yeah, that'll be good to have back at the base. We can just dry ourselves off real quick and just let them, let them dry out on the floor. I don't know if it's worth it taking these um, these electric guitars. I know they, they do decent damage, but they're really slow to swing. So maybe not. More bath towels. All right, I think we're good. Let's start just dismantling. Which I think we can take this thing apart too. Can we disassemble? Close rack, yep. 26, that's a good one. 26 plus 52, geez, it's a really good one. Well, that gives me an idea. There is a closed door. Yeah, see, like that one only gets 13 once. Disassemble the chair. Yeah, these don't give you very much, but I mean, we want to do it anyways. We want to get everything. I also think we can get these, right? 26, so they're decent. You know, let's grab it all. We'll be a little overweight. Overburden, I mean. This stuff, too. We can just go back and drop it off. I want to go to the close door. Let's try not fight that guy if we can avoid it. That'll work. So we check these three. Close door's right up there. So let's drop all this stuff off. We might be able to get there in time to do it today. Let's just dump everything on the floor. We'll be back here in a, in a little bit to pick it up anyways. Main tank. I think that's all I need. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we'll haul all that stuff upstairs when we get back. Because we don't need a whole lot of light for that. Fashion, there we go. There's only two close, right, or close hanger things in here. Unfortunate. What about the mannequin strength? Wait, I'm gonna try that out. Does it really give you strength? Strength plus 10. That's kind of cool. And you get stones. I think those are the big ones that you make the primitive hammers with. But anyways, we came here specifically for these. Let's do these. And these are large, so maybe these give you even more. 26, probably more there, 52, uh, well, it's still decent. It's also a closed rack back here. I right, can't disassemble that, unfortunately. Oh, 
Okay, well, that wasn't quite as cool as I thought it was going to be. But there's a buffet here. Which means there's probably some metal stuff we can take apart. Oh, configure container. Can't take that apart. Alright, let's go back to the kitchen. After we take out the toilet. Hey, this kitchen's got a ton of stuff to do. You're starting to get tired. I kind of want to finish this. Yeah, 39, 65. That's really good. We get to find these freezers, the industrial ones. Right, that should be good. And I don't know what the heck this thing is, but you can't do anything with it. Can you pick it up? Bake Omatic? But you can't do anything. You can't use it. It's not like a usable item, so I don't know. Right, let's just go back. We left all the metal stuff. We'll pick it up later. We're not going to be able to fit it all in one go anyways. Right, let's just go up and eat some cabbage and go to bed. Alright, weight stopped at 82. We can probably afford a few more pounds, but it, or a few more kilo, but it's fine. Definitely don't want to go over. Yeah, we kind of need to keep the propane tank. There's no way we can get it done without it. Or we're going to need a new one soon. Oh, drop off what we got. Let's refill the water. And how close are we? Well, I mean, we're going to hit five, but the problem is we want to get six. So I think we just keep going. We'll go metalworking all the way. We'll deal with the loot all at once. Let's just double check, make sure we didn't miss anything, and then we'll pick up some of that loot. Alright, what do we got? We need to get some more of the cooking supplies as well. We're going to be spamming out food soon. That's full already. Oh, we can fill up the trunk. Food stuff will be fine if we pick it up later. Alright, that looks good. Pretty sure there's nothing in here. I think I checked this place already th two or three times though. Don't remember if I had metalworking five. Maybe a marked on accident. I think we do, but let's just take it in case. And if not, we just use it to start a fire. Alright, we can go disassemble some stuff up here. Alright, bathrooms. These are gonna be good. Well, we didn't get anything from that. Oh, we got a metal pipe. Not much. Alright, nothing good over there. Let's go to the next one. Nice. There's one level. We got a lot more to go still, though. Oh, interesting. So if we make a metal sheet by combining the smaller ones, we get 65? Whoa, that's a lot. I don't even think it takes that much, either. Alright, let's look at metalworking. So four... It takes two units of propane, which isn't that much different from what we would have to spend anyways. And then we can actually break it back down again. Shoot, maybe that's the way to do it. I did not mean to hit that button, but kind of glad I did. All right, we need to recharge these. All right, nothing over there. Oh, wow, the cabbage went stale already. Well, let's eat it all before it goes rotten. Right, we're going to be pretty severely overburdened, but we got to do it. Let's just go. We got one more apartment. Two more apartments. Did we finally use that? Yeah, we only have one propane tank left, so that saved us 10, but we're still overburdened by quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Let's just load up so we don't have to come here again. We'll take our damage down to 75% and then it'll stop. Who cares? We're not really trying to fight. Farming volume 4. Isn't that the one we needed? Holy crap. Well, we're definitely taking that, right? That's what we're on right now? Yeah, farming four. Jeez. I, I must have marked it on accident, because it, it's definitely marked right now, and it should not be. All right, we are taking some pretty severe damage. I don't want to fight like this either, so let's go home, and we can deal with the loot. Sort all that out. We're... 630 into 3,000 on metalworking 6. We got a pretty good head start on that. I think we finish off the rest of, of these apartments. On the other side, not this, this building, 
Oh no, we missed one. Shoot. I did. I missed one in the corner. There's one more up there. Whoops. Alright, if we're gonna be overburdened, let's go full on overburdened. I actually risk ready for harvest. Can't tell if it's seed bearing though. I don't know if it gives you the notice up here or not. We should probably check that out. Right, foraging. Let's actually read farming first. So we'll, we'll keep we'll keep this one. Oh yeah, metalworking. Do we have this one? Yep. Do we have metalworking five? So let's unpack it. We'll hang on to it. Toss it in the fire. Well, we still have enough to fit all this stuff in. A bunch of small metal sheets. So if we convert those, that's a lot of XP. I don't want to use them all though because I know you need you do need some. Did I put some of these in the wrong spot? I did. I actually didn't separate some of these yet as well. Metalworking, let's dump that before I forget, because I will definitely forget that. What's in the throwaway pile now? All right, we got those towels we can use, so we dry ourselves off a little bit at least. We got tomato seeds we can throw up top. There's probably a bunch of stuff in here that's rotten already. Yep, the broccoli's finally rotten. All right, we can toss all those up in the compost. Yeah, and there's some stuff up here that needs to be harvest harvested. Oh, it's too full. That's funny. Well, the nice thing about rotten food is it can't get any more rotten than rotten. So we just leave it. Let's go and harvest this. Seed bearing carrots. We definitely want that. Now we just planted these like, what, one day ago? So it's still too soon. I don't want to, I don't want to do that again. Let's do harvest this one and definitely eat some cabbage. So I don't want to spend too much time up here. We'll dig those later. It's, uh, we still have a little bit of daylight left. Let's try and make use of it if we can. So carrots need to be saved. We'll hang on to some of the cabbage, but yeah, we don't want to use too much space for it. We're pretty depressed. We're just not smoking enough. That should help some. There's still loot down there. Let's go get that. And then we can always, I guess, go to that one place and that apartment pick up the rest that we were supposed to get now gas can needs to go in here hiking backpack needs to be put in here let's take these two hiking bags i don't think it really makes sense to keep five backpacks i think maybe three or four is probably fine so we'll put these hiking up in the corner a little stash a lot of metal pipes i know we're supposed to save it for metal working but i feel like it fits better in the melee We'll just get it later. Oh, we still have a bunch. Whoops. Yeah, we got a lot from that. They're decent weapons. They're not great, but they're decent. Yeah, look at that. We've got two already filled up. And you know what? These... I don't want to use these as weapons. Just dump them. It's kind of a waste of time. In the previous episode, we checked our traps and dealt with our plants. We went to different houses and apartments to do metalworking. We found a generator, found a station wagon full of gas, propane, hiking backpacks, and farming level four book. All right, we'll keep our weight up and our, our stomach full so we can heal up fast from that. Yeah, there's still stuff. Let's get it later. It's already almost eight. We have a little bit of sunlight left. We can probably get to that apartment again, clear it out so I can update the map. Yep, I did miss it. All right, well, we'll get it now. I do want to take the umbrellas too, actually. We'll keep one at the base and maybe one in the trunk of the car. All right, that should do it. It's almost 9.30. Let's just get back, finish up the loot. Maybe get some reading done. Well, first of all, these two bums are getting on my nerves. Alright, up we go. You know what I need to do? I forgot to check. Make sure the generator is in good shape. 50% fuel. It's kind of low. Back to full. And we got under the gas can we can use. So again, I'm going to put one umbrella over here by the window. We'll put one in the car, if I remember to put it in the car. More metal pipes. All right, another 1911 to the pile. We got an empty mag. And some 45. 
That's enough for a box. No, it's not. 26 rounds. Jeez. How many rounds they got in a box? 9 mil is what? 24? That's all 30 actually. A 9 mil is 30. Shoddy's like 24, 25. Alright, we're still doing propane. We're still doing that. But we really need to learn some farming stuff. So let's go ahead and read. And I'm going to go till maybe 2 a.m. and then sleep. And then hopefully we'll wake up when it's daytime. Now we've got a lot of cabbage, but we need to start eating the cooked food and using that because it's way more efficient. Went down pretty hard, but we'll be working inside mostly. Should be fine. You know, let's actually start with the upstairs. Like that's going to be the best, most efficient use of our time. So all of them have a bathroom. There's like seven or eight units up there. Oh, you know what? Shoot. I'm getting mixed up here. Yeah, we already did this. But we didn't take any of the loot, so it's fine. We can come in here and get that. Oh, I missed a sink. Yeah, we didn't get the bathroom either. I don't know what I was doing last time. Maybe I leveled up and stopped. I should probably update my map, huh? Alright, so for metal, what do we want to use for metal? Metal, these are done. These are all done. We're in the process of doing this one. So this is both up and down. We're doing up right now. We can work on down later. I don't know if we'll have time for that today, but it might be a bit too much. Wasted time checking these because I know I checked these bookshelves like four times, but I guess that's the problem when you, you save a game and you come back to it like a day or two days or a week later or whatever. It's hard to remember everything that went on sometimes. And I know it's it's good to have, be organized and have lists and to-dos and all that stuff, but sometimes I've noticed I tend to rely on it a bit too much and I let my memory kind of lax. It, it doesn't get as strong. Whereas if you have to rely on it, like, you know, when you're in school and you're starting for exams and whatever, kind of have to rely on it. And I feel like it gets stronger. And then when you just rely on stuff where you don't need it, you don't use it, you lose it kind of thing. So maybe I should start working on memorizing certain things. All right, we'll go, we'll go overburden again on this one. Oh, what are you doing, dude? Get over here. This is really nice not having to refill this thing every like five or six things. I, I brought two. And running the double really makes a difference. Like quality of life. Uh, if I have more, I think I'll probably run more, to be honest. I'll probably have, like, three or four. They only weigh point, I think point one. Oh, they weigh one. Okay, so they're actually pretty heavy. Yeah, maybe it doesn't make sense to have a bunch of them then. Two is good. Maybe even three. You know, we do want more roasting pans. I forgot about that. And the cooking pot. We can make soups and stews, but we have a lot of those. We don't have a lot of bowls. We, we need more bowls. Right, we'll have it just in case. How far along are we on this? We're not even halfway. Yeah, we got a ways to go still. All right, we're just about max. I think you can go up to 50 or just shy of 50 and then you you don't start taking on anymore. Yep, that's it. All right, it is draining our, our fatigue or endurance. Oh, we'll fix that right now anyways. Wow, I can't even handle that. We've already maxed it out. I mean, we have room on the seats. If we absolutely have to, but I think we'll be alright. What I'm going to do is actually sit on the ground here. There we go, we got our fatigue back. Let's eat. Alright, I think we're on the third. I forgot where we left off. This one? No, one more. Yeah, one more. Here we are. You know, we'll definitely take the butter. Okay, our last chunk of that roast. But I think we're going to go back to the base after this anyways. We're not going to have a whole lot more space. Alright, how we do? 
16. We're more than halfway. So we started with, what, halfway to 5? And now we're halfway to 6, which is quite a bit. I think maybe one one more day we should be able to finish this off. I think we might need the other propane tank. I don't think this is enough. I'm tempted to just keep going and getting loot and all that, but... No, I, I think we gotta go back. We have so many metal sheets. You know what we could do, actually? Between the metal sheets and the small metal sheets, we could probably get it done if we just use that. I'm pretty confident that we're not going to use all of this stuff by the end of the campaign. We'll probably end up either finishing and not using most of this or just dying before it's all done. That's my guess. So probably better to save ourselves a little bit of a grind and just keep it in-house. Spend some of that protein. That's so many pipes. Oh, we got too much stuff. We should probably separate it into something easier, like the ones that are used more frequently in the top one. In the bottom one, maybe... Yeah, we've got a bunch of stuff down here that probably don't use much. We need a lot more bowls. I know we're using some, and speaking of which, we need to pull some of these out. Yeah, let's pull these two stews. Actually, I'm going to put it down right now, because this thing weighs so much. And let's go get the rest of the loot. More metal pipes. I think we may not even have room. These are ready for harvest. Yeah, no seed bearing yet. Man, that's a lot of sheets. I think we can probably do it. I wonder if you can go back and forth. Because you can make metal sheets from small sheets, and then you can make small sheets from metal sheets. I'm wondering if you can just ping pong back and forth and use... Basically, you're just swapping XP for propane. Might want to look into that. You know, before I forget, because I'm already forgetting to do it, let's throw the umbrella and the gas can back in the, the trunk here. It's empty gas, closed umbrella. And then since this rain is so hard, it might make sense to plant another row. We'll do another row cabbage and then... Yeah, screw the carrots, man. Screw the carrots. <laughs> Let's go and dig a furrow. We'll do one right here. Actually, I've got it out. Let's just do this one. Right, they're done. They should be watering themselves now. And again, we need about just under two packets for a row of ten. I'll calculate and see how many seeds you get from each of these, and then we can just kind of get a, an idea of how many we need to let go to seed bearing and how many we need to wait. All right, well, we'll call that. That's a pretty good day. We didn't die. We got quite a few levels of metalworking, or a couple days, rather. And let's see, our weight's been fixed. Oh, boy, we should get decent calories. Yeah, we got to keep the calories up. We can spend a little bit of time reading, I guess, till it's time for bed. Lovely, a gunshot. Oh, we'll probably have a bunch of visitors soon. It is starting to get cold. Our uh, temperature's going down a little bit. All right, 2 a.m. I think that's our that's our cue. Let's go puff on a cigarette to relax. Have a little bit of our stew, and we'll go to bed. Call it a night. Two months, 21 days. Go back on the metal grind. Metal working. Well, let's just have a quick look at our crops. Strawberries are seed bearing again. Let's harvest them. And we can dig these up later. For now, I think we just leave them alone. We were sad, but now we got strawberries, so apparently it's impossible to be sad when you're eating strawberries. Now, I don't think we're going to keep these. We've got food covered, we've got boredom and sadness covered, so let's just throw them all on the ground. Yeah, it's, it's probably easier just to read a book, and we have over a hundred of these things, so... Yeah, we need to read farming before we gather more stuff, but I really would like to get level six in metalworking handle that right now. Kind of like driving this new SUV. Let's keep taking it. 
So we did all the upstairs. You know, let's um let's check the downstairs. I'm sure there's something I missed. Oh, there's definitely loot I did not take. I didn't clear the bathroom, so I think I probably cleared this whole place out. I know I cleared that out. No, nope, I didn't get the bathrooms. Did get most everything else though. Oh, I forgot to get our electronics. 26. That, those things are so good. Pretty sure that other area is gone. That's upstairs. We already did. Offices. Did we get. No, we, I was going to say we didn't get the bathrooms. I think we might have gotten the filing cabinets though. I'll double check. Oh, didn't get the XP for that. This thing only gives five, but for electronics, we need everything we can get. Oh, actually, it's 13, so it's not that bad. Keep these closed. Yeah, I did, I did get the filing cabinets, but a little bit of loot we can at least pick up. Right, let's go to the doctor's office. Yeah, as I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I got all these. I did not pick up the materials though. Yeah, none of these can be deconstructed. What about these chairs? No. This bathroom right here. Did I get this one? I did. So down is already cleared out. Let's just get out. Waste of time. I should have brought more food. Yeah, this is not going to be enough. Alright, wood mallets about to give out. Alright, so up and down has been checked. Let's go to the next. Now, I don't recall what I cleared in the bank. And does this... No. Can't disassemble the man box. Trash cans are decent, though. Now, I know there's bathrooms. Yeah, there's fridge. Stuff like that. We can definitely get all these. Microwave. Oh, we need to get bowls. Yeah, good thing. I think I saw that. Alright, perfect. Oh crap, what happened to... Shoot, what happened to the propane tank? That I might have put it down. Did I not grab it again? Oh crap. Yeah, I don't have it on me. Oh, well, that's not going to do us any good then. Let's go back down. We need it. We're already out on one and the other one's almost... It's like... Uh, Close to halfway being done. Didn't put it there. I think I remember putting it down and then not picking it back up. I mean, we're right next to our base anyways. Yep, there it is. I didn't grab it. Well, since we're here, let's just drop stuff off. Yeah, we need to grab food anyway, so this will work out. Alright, all three boxes of one-handed are full already, so let's just start using... The top box of the, the two-handed. We'll just start stashing stuff in there. There you go. Five more bowls. That's quite a bit. And there's our lunch. Alright, here we go. I did see some stuff in there that we haven't deconstructed, so this should be good. Alright, we got that. We didn't get this bathroom yet. Two metal lockers. These are decent, usually. Filing cabinets between the two rooms. It's good for about 100 XP. And nothing left. Uh, let's check the downstairs. I don't think there's much there, but let's just double check. You need to start eating, though. Yeah, that didn't give us hardly any in terms of calories. There's more metal lockers in there. That safe is not an actual object. Can't do anything to it. Okay, and that's the stairwell that we already looted. The other side of there was a cabinet in there, so let's get out. Uh, 
That's cleared. Let's go check these businesses. This is all going to be interesting. Oh, well. I think they all didn't go at once. Alright, just to double check. Yeah, they were hiding at this corner. Well, that could have been bad. Alright, let's go to the bathroom first. And then we'll go kitchen next. Yeah, these are the good ones. These things give so much XP for what it is. All right, how are we looking? 670 away, roughly. So pretty fast. Let's make sure nobody's creeping around. All right, we can take these metal. Sh oh, yeah. Let's close that first. And take these metal shells down. Yeah, that's not nearly enough. We need a lot more calories than that. All right, nobody's here, but there's a lot of stuff in here. This is gonna be a good place. Backpack is just about full now, but we got a lot to do here. Yeah, these chairs, the dividers, we got cabinets. Everything must go. So we'll probably head back after this. 39. There's a chair back here, it doesn't look like it. It is really, really dark. I basically can't see anything. We'll have to come back for the loot, but I think we can probably finish these. That's it for the dividers and the chairs. It looks like a couple cabinets. We gotta empty them first, and then we can get out. Okay, I think we stayed here a little bit too late, but I think we'll be all right. Oh, we got it. I didn't think we were gonna get it. You know, because of that, let's just load up. Yeah, I know we're gonna be overburdened, but we're here. Let's just grab everything. Oh, you know, maybe it's not that much. All right, let's get out. So we got the downstairs. We still need to get the upstairs. That'll be for another, after we read another skill book, we got level six. I don't think we put anything in the front. Oh, we did actually. Yeah, let's take it all. Oh, perfect timing too. We actually used all of our materials. The what do you call it? The propane tank? We use that whole thing. Wow, that's a lot. We have so much metal. But you know what? Let's put our... Yeah, let's put our torch and the welder mask back. Yeah, we should be good. Eat the last of this. It's a nasty little meal. What other meals do we have? We got the stew. We got two... Let's grab two bowls of the soup. We need to read, but not at 2.30 in the morning. All right, let's go. Yeah, this is looking good. Very solid. Electrical we need to focus on, but I don't know that we can just intentionally do it. It's kind of one of those skills that is going to be there eventually. But the nice thing is it will level up with our combat skills just because of the loot that they drop. So that's kind of nice. Let's take a look at our crops. Oh yeah, today, two months, 22 days in. Uh, 23 days because it's about to turn over. And I think we planted that like one... Yeah, I think it was only yesterday that we planted it. It wasn't that long ago, either way. Let's eat all of our soup. That was not that filling. We're gonna need more soup. But we could just spend today reading. I think that's probably not a bad idea. If we're getting hungry, let's just eat the whole soup. It doesn't even give us that much calories. We got two more. Let's just take them both. But you know what? Empty cooking pot. Saucepan, we need to fill these up with water. Yeah, it's raining, so we're getting free water anyways. The thing is the kettle, we could make, I think, coffee or tea. So we should probably grab that. Yeah, we can make... Oh, no, we can't. High dough, bread dough. Gravy, shortbread, cookie. 
That sounds interesting. Nice thing is these don't go bad, I think. So we have some shortbread. Oh, you know, we got a bunch of crackers. These things don't do anything. It's like five, yeah, five hunger. Just eat them. Make some space for the good stuff. And back to reading. So farming is good. Metalworking and mechanics. But we didn't finish forging. Let's actually do forging. I feel like that one's going to be relevant sooner. And we still need to find forging level 5. We gotta go out of town, I think, to find some of these books. We're only short. If I remember, we're only short two books. We also need to go check our traps. Actually, not. Could go do that right now. No, it's already 7. Let's just, let's just stay and read and finish. We'll, we can go in the morning. Alright, we're getting a little bit cold. Let's head inside. Drink our soup. We still got a gigantic stew. 143 hunger. Yeah, we need to defrost this and split it up into bowls. We'll probably do that next. But 2 a.m. We can read for a little bit and then go to bed. Make two bowls so we can have very filling stew. Let's fill this thing back up. Yeah, look at that. Half the stew. That was pretty good. Problem is, we don't really have any other meat to replace it with. So what I'm going to do... Let's get some cooking XP. We've got some eggs we can use as well. Let's grab all the uncooked bugs and stuff. Let's get them fried up. Right, let's get the bugs on there. And then we get to open up all these eggs. 72. <laughs> 72 eggs. We're going to get a ton of XP from that. Alright, the bugs are all cooked. Let's throw them back. I still don't think they go bad. So let's just throw them back in. Yeah, these go these cook so fast. Nine calorie or nine hungers, not that much. Yeah, we'll have to eat them later. Alright, let's check generator and crops. And then we'll keep reading, I think. Yeah, nothing new up here. Down to half fuel, let's actually take care of that. And it's probably a good practice just to repair it while we're doing this. Alright, generator should be good for quite a while now. Do we want to plant another row? Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, that's what we're... Yep, we're supposed to go check our traps. Let's go do that. But we need to get some bait, because a lot of them are probably missing. You know, one thing I haven't tried... Is there like a defrost mode on this? Settings, yeah. I think that's what that means. I think that means defrost. Let's see what that does. I don't know if that even did anything, to be honest. Alright, let's get out of here. Off to the traps. Now, it's pretty cold, so running will actually raise our core temperature. Oh, crap, dude, they broke in. Yeah, they broke in. Jump back over. Alright, let's just double check, see if there's anything else around. God, that's so annoying. Doesn't look like they did anything to the traps, at least. So that's good. Oh well. Apparently that took up too much exertion. The question is, can we rebuild it? I think we can. Yeah, we have enough. Oh no, well, yeah we can technically. We can rip the sheets of that, that zombie over there. Wait, why? Why won't it let me build the freaking wall right there, man? Let's remove the trap, I have a feeling it's getting in the way. Yeah, it is. Alright, we'll put it back. Well, at least the trap worked. Caught something. I think there's another zombie coming. Let's get all the traps. And then we'll rebait them all at once. Right, I think that's all. So we only caught three. Alright, 
22 carrots. Let's go at them. Some of them still have their bait in it, actually. How many we got left? Single carrot. Everything else will toss on the compost pile. Alright, let's get out of here. Well, three rabbits will actually hold us over for quite a while, but I was hoping to get more than that. This guy come from. Alright, carrots. Welcome to the pile. She's speaking of wish. Yeah, I was gonna say we should have some compost to take. Alright, let's go get our sacks over there. So 10%. Each one gives 10%. And you know what we could do is fertilize these. Let's just do it. We we'll used up two, a little more than two. Okay, we still have some compost left. We should have plenty of room in there. Let's. Oh, okay. Jumping over the edge. All right, let's get all the rotten stuff. Oh, nice. We got a bunch of worms. All right, can it hold? Yeah. There's a lot more room in there too. Okay, put the carrot back. Let's go chop up these bunnies. And we'll cook them later. Oh, it doesn't fit. There we go. Yeah, these things weigh a lot. Oh, we're so close. Trapping's almost to four. Yeah, if we had like one, maybe two more catches, we would have been fine there. We'll check it in a couple days. We should be able to get something. I mean, with 22 traps, if we're only getting 10%, that's still two. It's not terrible, I guess. Alright, forging stone, let's go get another book. Metalworking or mechanics? Mechanics is probably the more likely. We need mechanics 5 as well. Finally getting tired. There we go, I think we're good. Two months, 24 days. We only need a little bit more for cooking. I think we might need to start making some stuff, actually, let me think. Uh, we do need to eat all these eggs. Maybe we'll wait one more day. We'll try and burn through a lot of the eggs. The only problem with the eggs is they they do take a long time. A long time to eat. It's clear. I think the last verse to actually put that back. It is clear outside, so we could do some combat. Actually, no, it's probably not a bad idea is to go to the gas station and just clear it out. Maybe once a week. We got all our gas tanks in the police car, so we use this one to go. Yeah, it's not super busy here, actually. But we'll have to fight a few for sure. They're going to be tailing us. Yep, here they come. Man, nothing over here. Well, while we're, oh, I was going to say while we're waiting, but this guy's not going to give us a chance. Actually got quite a few people in here, I didn't think there was that many following. Alright, that might be it. Let's take a quick peek on the other side. Yeah, we should be good. Alright, let's unload empty gas can. Let's do the uh, generator first. In the previous episode, we returned to the base to unload and check our plants and do some reading. We leveled up metalworking some more at the bank, and some zombies broke through the trap enclosure. We also went to the gas station to get more gas. It's interesting because the generator running, if it's not connected to anything, doesn't actually use really anything. It, the gas station itself doesn't actually show up, so I'm kind of curious about that. We don't want gas in our empty bottle. This thing is full. Yep, so we're good. We can shut it off. 
give him that. You can have our broken, whatever that was, mallet. Alright, so we're good. Let's just eat a, a couple eggs and then maybe we'll we'll go around and clear a few people here. Yeah, let's let's use the car though. This thing hits hard, it just doesn't last all that long. But we got quite a few of them stashed away, so it's it's good. Actually we yeah, we're collecting weapons a lot faster than we're able to use them, so maybe we'll stop doing that a little bit. I was trying to clear some some of this area out. I don't remember if we went in here or not. Guys got a hard head. All right, if they've got maybe engine parts in here, nope. Yeah, we've been in here before for sure. I thought so, but it's been a while. So there's some stuff we can deconstruct here too for metalworking. You know, I forgot to fill up the car itself. I mean, we're more than three quarters of a tank. It's not that big of a deal, but should have done it since I was there. Right, let's clear some stuff out here. Actually, we have to be careful. We don't have a backup weapon since we busted our mallet. Yeah, let's just clear around the pizza place and then we'll go. Well, now we gotta back up just in case. Hey, we are we are moving pretty quick with Nimble. 64, this thing's pretty bad shape then. There goes our baton. Yeah, it's good. Two more two more clicks or whatever you wanna call it before it busts. So let's not do anything stupid. <laughs> Gunshot drawing them over this way. go back and read. It's a really nice day out, so usually I like to save that for when it's raining or snowing. But I don't... Hmm. Yeah, let me think about that while we're clearing out. Ooh, I totally whiffed that. Yeah, that was pretty bad. I missed a push. So we could have gotten bit there. You know, I want to check the condition on this truck. It looks like it's in pretty good condition, except for... Oh yeah, we busted out the, the window on this one. Engine is really good, 79. The trunk can hold 85, so it's not great. But it's the right uh, type, and it's got a lot of good parts, so definitely we'll come back and grab that at some point. Or, I'm an idiot, I can just tow it right now. Why not? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, I just wrecked it. I just hit it, didn't I? Oh, why the hell did I do that? Let's see if it's how bad that was. Hood is 93, engine 98, so it did absolutely nothing. What What did we hit then? Or if it's, maybe if it's at a low enough speed, it doesn't count? Yeah, that's weird. I'm not complaining at all, but very weird. Why is this thing not able to tow? What the hell? Our car is in really good condition. It should have no problem. Do we lose a tire? I don't think so. Let's kill these guys real quick and then we'll check it out. That's weird. Usually that happens if you're like stuck in mud or sand or whatever. Let's see what's actually going on here. I'm wondering if this car has a problem. Did I bust a tire on that? 
Because this is painful. I mean, good thing we're close. But really bizarre. I can't, I can't seem to get above 15 miles an hour or 20 miles an hour. And then it, it just stops. What if we weave back and forth? Nope, that's even worse. Yeah, the only thing that helps is stopping completely and then starting again. So there's, there's got to be something with the code. Very, yeah, when it's predictable like that. All right, well, we made it back. Just not. I'm just not driving well right now. I'm hitting the wrong. I meant to hit forward, but because I'm in reverse, it went faster. All right, how bad did we mess up our trunk? Trunk. That's not too bad. <laughs> right, let's chat on on these eggs. Those are all seed bearing. Yep. That, well, okay. Only that one is actually. Yeah, just this one. That gave oh, hardly anything. I wonder if there was, maybe it had a disease or something. We got only two carrots from that. That's yeah, really bad. It's definitely too late to go out or, you know, go out far. We could just patrol a little bit, I guess. We need another weapon though. This thing's about to die. Uh, when in doubt, we can go down to the fire station. There's always a ton of people there. Actually, you know what? I don't want to see if there's... Yeah, here we go. There's some stuff over here to do. So, we'll search. We'll get some of this XP. Might as well. We need Nimble as well. Is that one following us? 250 XP. Forging. Right, we don't want to pull the whole group. Let's see if we can just heal off maybe three. Yep, there's three. Alright, we can handle the rest now, I think. Well, that was a pretty good fight. I don't want to get too far out, so we'll go down maybe towards the chain link fence for the police station, then we'll cut back. out here. Tomato seeds, which we don't need, but would be nice on like a fresh playthrough. You can get that pretty early on, I guess. Yeah, let's start cutting back. It's already 630. Better something. Finding a lot of stuff here foraging. That was what almost 200 XP between the two. I made it back home. Fairly uneventful day. We got about a thousand foraging XP. We got some short blunt. We need only six. Yeah, six more XP and we'll have level five. eating more eggs we need to stock up on the frozen ones to grab a bunch we got some medicinal plants let's throw those back in the uh, the medicine cabinet uh we can put the scrap electronics upstairs these berries are pretty good yeah, if we were if we were starving this would be i think it'd be a pretty good item to have we'll have this done before uh before bedtime we go. I think we need metalworking, right? Yeah, we gotta get the next one. We're running a little low on cigarettes. We got 724 in storage, so we can yep, we can handle taking some. I think we'll wait until three. We're not really tired yet for some reason. There it goes. Right at three. That seems like a pretty good time. 730, 740, it's a good time to wake up. We got plenty of daylight. Yeah, those carrots are stuck. I'm wondering if they're diseased because they've. I feel like they've been that way for a while now. It's 
So today, let's try and clear out around the police station again. We got short blunt. He's got a nightstick for us. Let's take it. This one's about to break. This one's broken. But we got ourselves a backup from this zombie. I actually drive over there, I don't like, like walking. We got a decent crowd here, we got to focus. He's got some weapons on him too. Oh nice, another nice stick. And a shoddy. Hey, wait, stable. Uh, they still have quite a few. So let's wait. Engine quality is really high. I don't know how that thing didn't want to start. I think we cleared most of the police station. We can head back for a sec. I think we gotta pick up more food anyways. We're gonna run out after we eat these two eggs. Also, we need to get I forgot we need to get these out. I've got a lot upstairs. I don't think we need any more for now anyways. Oh, you know, we already left one in there, so we're good. All right, I kind of want to finish Metalworking Volume 4. And then I think we're going to have to go... It's exactly what I thought. So these carrots are finally done. So we can harvest all of them. Just... Three left, we'll just leave them alone. We got 65 carrots. That's uh, what, three rounds of traps? Or two, yeah, 66. So it's over one short. We got some in storage though, but we gotta keep eating the eggs for now. I don't wanna cook anything with them because, yeah, I feel like it's kind of a waste of time. Whoops, we had a frozen one. Not happy about that. All right, well, let's let's go do metalworking uh, reading. We eat a little bit. All right, it's 2 a.m. We finished the book, and we're not quite tired yet, though. Well, yeah, it's but it's coming. Do we have any of the books? We don't, but we do need some. Um, what do you call it? Level five books. So we should probably go do that soon. So cooking. And foraging, I think, are the only two. No, mechanics, too. Cooking, foraging, and mechanics. Everything else we've got. Yeah, cooking, foraging, mechanics. I don't think I would have marked those, but you never know. Oh, yeah, let's go get some food. All right, it's bedtime. Yeah, perfect. 7 a.m. That's, like, that's the ideal one. He gets about four and a half to five hours of sleep. So what I would like to do is go visit a bookstore. I know we can go to another town over to the east. I don't know what the name of it is, but I know we just need to make a right at this big highway, whatever. Whoa. And then we'll be able to turn south and hit it. It's like a little college town. I really don't want to ruin my truck any more than I, than I do just running into stuff that like when i'm trying to park home <laughs> no zombies around or nothing prefer to not damage my car at all. all right we got some wreckage on the freeway i might come back with the blowtorch for that they are all over the place man I, what the hell didn't mean to hit that one all right looks like they let up a little uh there's still some I have five eggs left. I should have brought more, actually, since we're going out. 
But we'll probably be able to find something. Maybe in a lunchroom. What is this? Oh, there's a trailer. I want the trailer. I'm gonna try. I don't know if we're gonna attract all the zombies here, but they're fairly spread out. So if we can get some decent hits like that, that's good. Oh, I whiffed. All right, we got her in the back. Don't want to backpedal too far because that means we're going to be running into a new crowd. So let's try to avoid that. All right, actually, I'm going to stop sneaking because that's really slowing us down a little bit. Could probably just lose these guys in the back of the of the building or something. That was really bad. All right, it was only in the hand though, but it was a laceration, so there's a pretty good chance. Yeah, we can't. We got to go back. Okay, well, I guess what we could do is my original plan was just try and drag them out. I just figured it'd be easy enough to get a few kills here, but man, stupid. That was really dumb. So let's pull them behind the diner. Alright, we should be good here. Get around the corner and then we can get, get that trailer undone. Yep, they're all stuck back there. Well, we're not going to go back empty-handed, at least. We'll have a little trailer to show for it. But I really hope we don't turn, man. That's, that's going to be pretty, pretty bad. I don't want to... I'm not trying to tow the truck, but it's... It wants me to tow the truck. What if we nudge this thing out of the way? Alright, well, I guess we'll just pull around and back up on it. Alright, that'll work. Actually, what's the condition of this thing? How bad is it? Yeah, it's, it's trash. But we can fix these. Yeah, standard. We can just pull all that. The trailer, which is what determines the carry capacity, we can fix that too. That's not a problem. We'll just do some metalworking. Well, we are in no condition to be fighting our way through a library, so let's or a bookstore. So let's go back. What a bummer. Yeah, that's that's gonna set us back at least a full day, maybe more. But we can spend some time fixing up this trailer at least. That'll take us a few hours, I think. Finding we only need two tires, two suspensions, and it says it's standard, so we've got a bunch of standard cars. Some of them are in really good condition too, so I don't think that'll be a problem. And then we need some sheet metal, and we'll get the body repaired up. Yeah, because I know I've taken these before and tried to put loot in them, and... <laughs> Everything just starts falling out like almost instantly. So you have to repair it so that it's not a pile of crap. And then all your, your loot starts falling out. So I don't I don't know what you have to get it up to if it's like 50% or 60%. But right now it's at 11. So for sure everything that we take is going to almost immediately fall out. Oh boy. Alright, here's our turn. Actually, no, this is the gas station turn, but that's fine. We just cleared it out recently. Okay, here we go. Moment last. Now this is going to be interesting, actually. Uh, let's leave it attached for now, but... Yeah, back in this thing out is going to be kind of a nightmare, so we'll probably... Oh, we got company. Probably park it somewhere else. Over here? What are you doing? River tools. Well, you know what? I forgot to put all these. Yeah, we gotta we gotta clear out our inventory real quick. Well, we got some rat and stuff. Let's throw it up. Throw it up in the uh, the compost. 
Like this cabbage is actually looking like it's in good shape. We could plant another another row. Let's do two. Yeah, this isn't gonna take long and it's raining. I'd rather do it now. Alright, done. Yeah, everything else up here is doing okay. We'll just leave it alone. I think we're gonna have way too much cabbage, but that's okay. We can compost it and we'll get the XP. I don't see anything else coming. I think we should be good. Let's grab our tools. So we need the jack, the lug wrench, probably a wrench. So let's just take everything off this one. Game bugged out. Let's give me an error. What the heck? Alright, why don't we disconnect this trailer then? See if that helps. Yeah, there it goes. So, tire and suspension. Let's go see if we've got some good tires on these. Yeah, this one's pretty good. And we'll put the crappy one back on because why not? Right, let's see if we get a better one in this one. Tire. Yeah, these tires are bad. Tires better, but not great. Let's try and get something above at least 80. 73. It's not terrible, but we can do better, I think. There we go. That tire is good, but the suspension is bad. So rear left. Let's go take the rear left. Uh, rear right, I mean. And then we'll put the bad one on. There we go. We got 80s. Everything in the 80s. Let's go put these back on. Nice. They do actually fit. I wasn't positive at about it, but it says standard right here, so that's what made me think probably the case. There we go. So that's in pretty good condition. Now the trailer, one, yeah, one metal sheet. So we just need the, the torch and a one sheet. And this thing's going to be looking brand spanking new. Right, drum roll. Nice. 100%. Capacity goes up to 100. That's not bad. What's capacity on this? 114. This thing's way easier to tow. I was going to say we could just tow something that's got capacity, but the problem is it's significantly slower. I think the trailer basically doesn't add any weight, it seems like. Okay, well, let's get this thing straightened out. Because we're not going to want to take it everywhere. How's our car looking? Still in pretty good condition. So what I'd like to do is back this thing out and then back it in here next to this. So that way, if we want to disconnect it, we could just leave it there. There we go. And then let's try and back it in. This is the hard part. Trying to get this thing to cooperate. It's really, really, really sensitive. It's going. It's just not... Yeah, you gotta go really slow. And make sure you don't go the wrong way. There's something something like this and then we can just detach it and when we for sure when we're going on a, a long trip then we'll um, hook it up let's toss this back in okay what else could we do we could do some tailoring we need to eat that's what we need to do yeah speed up the healing process just take all the eggs Right, do we have anything else? No, we don't, so that means we should probably cook as well, actually. Cabbage, I don't think we're cooking with anything else. Cabbage and carrot, that's it. So, freezer full of cabbage. So you can fit 158. Oh. Uh, we need, yeah, we need these to defrost though. So we'll hang on to them. Looks like our pain is dissipating, so I think we're okay. Alright, rabbit is ready to cook. Or ready to cut up at least. No, pain just went up. Oops. Oh, because we're over yeah, overburdened. Wait, did we eat? Oh, did I eat some of the rabbit? 
uncooked. Did I click on the wrong thing? You gotta be kidding me. I think I might have clicked on the wrong thing. Okay, well, it is what it is. Let's make some stew. Put some black beans. Cabbage and some more rabbit meat. That should do it for that one. All right, so what we need to do is light this thing up. Let's grab the carpentry. Let's do three rabbit. And add in some lentils. And then a bunch of cabbage. So we can make pasta or rice. No, let's just keep doing what we're doing. Three rabbit. One kind of bean and then two cabbage. Right, we got one done, but we want to split this up. So let's make two bowls and that empties out the pot. Uh, let's see, what does this have? This has the rabbit. We don't have the other stuff in it, but let's do chickpeas, cabbage. Toss it in there and grab this one out. All right, we got four bowls of stew so far. Let's uh, let's put some of these back. Just put them in this. We gotta eat something too while this cooking. All right, that one's done. Let's split it up. It seems like we can just keep going. Lentil, kidney bean. I don't even know what the difference is between those two, but we'll just keep going. There's another stew. How's our rabbit looking? Yeah, that's pretty beat up. Cabbage. They're getting used up nicely. Alright, this one's pretty much done. Nice, we got a level of cooking. Uh, we're not getting any XP for this, but... Or we're getting uh, no bonus XP for this, but that's fine. We need to just, we need to make food. Oh, whoops, what did I do? We need to split this up. All right, two rabbit, some black beans, and then again, two cabbage chunks. All right, bowls of stew. Let's just keep throwing them all in there. Because they, each one does 48 hunger, which is pretty good. All right, we can keep going. That one's done. We used up almost all the rabbit, actually. Yeah, we need to... Let's, let's finish it off. Tiny bit of rabbit meat. Bunch of cabbage. And some lentils. Actually, let's do two lentils this time. Since we have less meat. Oops, this one's getting burnt. Alright, that one's ready to cook. Well, bowls. I don't know how many more bowls we have left. Doesn't look like we have any, actually. So we'll have to just store the whole thing in there, which is fine. Yeah, why don't we eat some of this? Let's eat a quarter of it. Oh, that didn't seem to do a whole lot. Right, while we're waiting, let's go ahead and fill up these empty cooking pots. Alright, this one's done. We can turn it off. Still at 60 hours, almost 59 and a half hours. Let's see if we can even fit this thing. Nope, it's too heavy. We made too many dishes. Oh, it's kind of cool we used all the rabbit, though. That Those three rabbits made, I don't know, was that six, seven, eight? Eight different stews. And that's with us using three portions of each in each. It's pretty good. Let's just spend the rest of the day eating. Should probably go outside though, we're getting bored. We have a lot of cabbage that didn't really get used much, so we should probably put those back. Yeah, see when they get used, there's really nothing. It's like a husk. So there's not much left. So we can select those out and them back. And we can either munch on these or we can just throw them on the ground. Let them rot, but it doesn't really matter. Right, we're in pretty good shape. Let's read the next cooking book. Let's get that going. Yeah, we have. Whoops. We have four. We don't have five, though. That's the one. Right, we are getting pretty tired. Oh, it's 3.40. Jeez, it's really late. Yeah, we need, need to sleep. Right, looks like the looks like the issue is very slight pain, so it's it's going away. We should be fine. I don't think we're gonna zombie out. Oh, I was pretty worried about that. That was such a stupid mistake too. Just didn't line it up right. So let's take one bowl. I don't know how long one bowl is gonna last us. Actually, maybe we need two per day. Let's do two. But while we're waiting for wound to heal, let's just read. We got cooking volume. Cooking volume four here. 
getting pretty cold. Our temperature is dropping a little bit. But I think we'll be okay. Yeah, it's getting a little bit warmer outside. I think we're good. In the previous episode, we cleared out some zombies around the gas station, hauled a new police car back to the base, cleared around the police station, found a trailer along the road while going to the next town over, and brought it back. And we continued leveling our cooking. Let's see how much calories half of this thing does. So we're at 730 to 1300. That's really good. Yeah, perfect. That's exactly what we need. Probably eat a quarter of the bowl next time and then should be enough. We don't want to get fat. You know, let's, before it gets completely dark. Oh, I did not. Jesus, man. I didn't feel like I was even facing that direction, but I guess maybe I let go of my mouse too soon. <laughs> well, anyways, I just wanted to see how these were doing. So cabbages, these ones are ready. We're going to wait a little bit. No, we don't actually need to. Yeah, we will though. If I have to, I'll, we can build another storage container up here. Let's see how this generator is done. 43, yeah, we need to fill this up. And back to 100. Actually, I used exactly, exactly how much it needed. All right, so if we eat only a quarter, back up to 1300, that's pretty good. And let's keep reading. All right, we needed to heal up anyways. It's good, just chill for the day. All right, book's done. So cooking's ready to go. We can keep cooking from now on. What are we missing? We are not missing anything, actually. Yeah, we're just missing a couple level 5 books. But for the most part, we're good. Let's, um, we can sleep early. And I want to see if this wound's going to go away. No, nope, still in pain. Jeez. We must have got sliced open pretty good. Oh, you know what? That reminds me. We probably need to fix our some of our clothing. Let's check it out. So, jeans are still solid. I'm pretty sure our gloves are going to have a hole in it. And probably our jacket or our hoodie. Nope, jacket's clean. Yeah, forearm. They must have got bit on that. Alright, 7.8 tailoring for patching that. That's pretty good. And then the gloves. Yeah, I bet you that saved us. We bet it's got a hole in them. But it patches up just fine. 7.8. It's about 15 tailoring for doing that. Alright, we get our defenses up. Since the pain is still here, we get a, yeah, I think we'll do something else. But yeah, we're, what, two months, 28 days, almost three months. So we're pretty close to three months in. Oh, wait, what happened to our boots? Oh, we get a hole in these boots. I didn't even know you can do that. No, that's much better. And the right hand says that our right hand is not as well protected. What's up with that? The right hand is the one that we patched. Oh, yeah, it is. You're right. So what we can do is let's let's swap out these gloves. Yep, now it's back to even. So the gloves are good. These boots are trashed. Let's um, let's just toss them. Can't repair military boots. You just have to throw them out. Yeah, we could do tailoring. We could do nimble. You know, what? let's just do nimble. We got nothing else to do. Is this the safest one? We'll do laps around our containers. <laughs> what we should do is just go back and forth as few button presses as possible, right? Mm. It's not giving us any XP. I wonder if it, it requires new parts of, like, uh, t new land. Like, maybe there's a heat map everywhere you step. And you can't gain nimble XP on that area. Maybe they're trying to keep you from just doing this. Just going in circles with, like, a macro or something to level it. I don't know. Maybe not. It's going now. I don't know. It's weird. It just seems very inconsistent. Like, sometimes it'll, it'll hit back to back and then other times it just doesn't do anything for a while i would like to hit level four but i don't think that's going to happen we've in this time that i've been doing this it's i think we gained 20 xp and we need close to 100 interesting pushing the air is farming strength it only uses a little bit of fatigue maybe not now it's not going <laughs> it's probably the the mod, not not the game, it's probably the mod. Because it is a mod that pops up with the XP. I wish there was one in game that you could just turn on because this is pretty nice to know. Alright, we gotta eat. I 
actually best way to find that out. 18, 145. Doesn't seem to give anything. I think it just was coincidence that the mod popped up with some high strength numbers when I started doing that. Actually, we should probably do this on the outside because we're starting to get bored. Gunshot. So I'm trying something new here. This might actually be working. I need to run some tests. But it seems like moving in circles while you're moving. So rotating in circles while your vector, your trajectory, whatever you want to call it, is linear. It's like we're moving in a straight line northeast, north, uh, northwest. But I'm having them spin in circles. I can't tell if it's faster. It just seems like it's faster because it took us so long to get 20 XP. We already got 13 just doing like one lap. There are two laps of doing this. Yeah, we're not getting any XP at all right now. So I really do think it has to do with, you know, if you walk over new territory. I don't see any zombies, and I am having a deja vu right now for some reason. I know for a fact I've never done the spinning thing before, but for whatever reason, I get a memory of it. That makes no sense. I don't know. Yeah, I think what I need to do is trace out a path that's long enough to where you can get a significant amount of data. Like, just create a little obstacle course, do it. Maybe do it two or three times, and then check your XP. Do it once per day. Check it again the next day, maybe do like two or three different paths, and then compare the XP gain from both of them. I feel like this is faster, though. I don't know why. We're going through new areas. Yeah, try not to backtrack. And then just spinning. We're going to have another level of nimble, like almost right now. This is not bad. It's weird, though, going from the front of the church to the back, for whatever reason, just stopped. We got one uh, single tick of nimble that entire time. But then when we did the parking lot, we went from 712 to 720 something. And there was just one small lap. It wasn't even a full lap. So I don't know what is going on here. Also, what happens if we don't crouch? Can we do it faster? It's not giving XP. I think maybe the test is to go back and forth for a certain length of time. Then maybe go out to a location and, and retrace your steps back. Check the nimble XP and then maybe do one where you you do a full circle so that you don't backtrack on anything. You just have fresh. You do like each one for an hour. Because like we're getting nimble again now. We were not getting it for the longest time there. And now it just turned back on. So what? the hell is causing it to do that? I don't know. Let's stay in the parking lot. Sorry, we're going to get it. We're going to get a level. We got 10 XP to go. Let's get level 4. This injury is not going away. It's crazy. And we've been stuffed for a lot of this time. Like, food-wise, that should help speed up the recovery. But, man, this is taking a long time. I think we're going on, like, day 3 of just not or day two yeah two going on three not of not doing anything two more xp come on there it is that's level four nimble that's a big one all right 1 p.m time but we're also still injured so i don't know yeah well let me think about it we'll figure it out i think we need to wait this minor pain out i don't want to go out and do anything too crazy so tailoring it's not really gonna help us that much i think we just keep working on nimble i know it's super boring but I mean, I can just edit it out, but I guess we can do some looking around outside. All right, these are not ready. Actually, why don't we do some digging? We're going to have to do it eventually. Oh, it's gone. All right, let's take... The bandage off and see hopefully it's not still bleeding oh it's still bleeding all right we'll wait till tomorrow well, at least we're getting some first aid it's one thing we haven't done at all we haven't done any any work on actually you know what if we have a laceration can we just keep doing that i know we're gonna blow through our adhesives but we have regular bandages we could use 
And those we can just clean in the toilet. So let me try that. The remove. Adhesive. Oh, we, did, we didn't get XP for that. I'm assuming it has to be a new wound. Yep. Alright, well, we used all our adhesive bandages. That's fine. Get some calories. We're starting to lose weight. Let's let this defrost and get rid of some of the weight. Yeah, we've got two of these things. We have plenty of bowls. So we'll just carry it around while we're doing our training. So we need two bowls. Split it up into two meals. Let's go wander outside. You know what we could do, actually, is just loot some of the houses nearby because that's a pretty safe task. We've already cleared it a bunch of times. I just don't want to fight any big hordes, so I think if we stay nearby, it should be alright. We're not really looking for anything in particular. Guess we can deconstruct stuff. Actually, you know what? We got nothing else going on. Let's just take anything that we could use. It's still defrosting, man. Here we get to eat soon. Our calories are going down. Do it now. Yep, there we go. Get the calories up. You know what? I'm gonna take some of these books too, just so we can start fires with them. I know we've been using a bunch. And we used a bunch of bandages. Let's go ahead and get some more. Yeah, I think if if I had to start this over this whole run, I probably would have done this a little bit differently. I probably would have done a lot more nimble in the early, just like aim walk everywhere and just get this thing up. I would have been at maybe level five or six by now. We're only level four, which is not terrible, but yeah, I feel like we could have been pretty far along. We would have slowed our progress down though, for sure. But I think the trade off would have been well worth it. Now we were short a couple bowls. We'll try and find a couple more. Yeah, I think I could have also taken a look at a little bit more data. Like, for example, start a database for what XP is given by what action. And then do like starting and stopping XP amount. So, for example, if we do nimble the entire day, like literally the whole day, how much XP do we get? So then we can extrapolate how many days we need to get the next level and we can kind of plan it out a little bit better. I think that would have been a little bit better. I'm, I'm still not that good at the game and so I didn't want to complicate it too much but that said I think that would have been the right call these things are so heavy I don't yeah I think we can probably get long blunt without doing the guitars and those really heavy things I think this is just a bathroom so seven o'clock I think we make this our last stop and then we'll saunter our way on back Well, here's something. Probably out back. Side of the house, maybe? Might be upstairs. Pretty sure it's upstairs. Behind door number one. Nope. Yeah, he's getting mad. He must have heard us deconstruct. And you get absolutely blasted. I know we have one set of tweezers already. Let's just grab a second one, just in case. We can keep one on us and one at the base. Actually, I think we have one in our pouch already. Uh, whatever. We'll have two pairs at the base then. Oh, here we go. That'll add some weight. You know what? I don't think I can do that and get nimble. I think when you weigh yourself down, I have to test it. But it seemed like it was just not giving the XP. Let's just put it in the backpack. We have room. That's fine. We're going back to the base after this anyways. Yep. Yeah. All right. Back to the base we go. Let's deal with our lack of food. Alright, time to do the circles. See if it helps. Doesn't really seem like it. Yeah, I wish I knew what triggered it. Or if it's the mod. Like, why is the mod reporting it at not spaced out intervals? It's like not evenly spaced out. Alright, we're going to remove the bandage probably tomorrow when we wake up. And then we should be good to go, go fight. 
We got a revolver and a shoddy. Double barrel. Let's see. Yeah, no ammunition in either of these. I thought we got a pack of 45. Yep. And a pack of shoddy uh, shells. And let's just double check, make sure we've got what we need. Yeah, tweezers. This all looks fine. Probably stop collecting blunt weapons maybe and just doing the short blade because I know those are gonna those are gonna run out really fast. Some more entertainment books. Let's go ahead and defrost this other one. And then we'll have only bowls. Yeah, only bowls left. I think we need two to three bowls a day. Kind of a lot. But you know. It's not really costing us much because we have infinite cabbage. We need to get more game, but we're kind of working on that right now. Actually, speaking of which, we need to go check the traps and let's make sure we have room to store all that stuff. Yeah, I keep forgetting I gotta set these to get the mice too. All right, are there any books that we need to read right now? We don't. No, everything's yeah, everything's fully read. So let's just do some walking until it's time to sleep. Actually, some of this should be rotten. Yeah, let's go toss that up there. Plants are looking pretty healthy. Generator's good. Yeah, I think we just go downstairs. But I don't think it's I don't think it's really worth it. That much food is probably a little bit overkill. We're making too many veggies. Yeah, I mean the, <laughs> we have 250. Yeah, 250 cabbage, 80 carrots still in storage. Probably have to do with that at some point. And I know it's inefficient to eat anything raw. We could easily just cook it and get a little bit more but let's just have a few on hand we're not getting any nimble right now what's going on here i think if you walk the same path over and over i think it disables it or something so doing that the whole day we got 42 xp wow so by that let's just be generous and round it up to 50 and say that we were a little inefficient in some spots that would take 300 days so level up nimble to six or to five. It seems a little excessive. And that's with the plus 75. <laughs> now we have short blunt already up to five. I think what we should do is let's start working on some of these other ones. Let's maybe do short blade. And we won't do any crazy fights. We're just gonna do some easy ones around places we already cleared. Yeah, let's sleep. I think we're good. There we go. Two bowls of stew. Yeah, that gave us a decent amount of calories. They're not quite as heavy as having that giant pot as well. Oh, we got a wind chill factor going on here. Hopefully it's not too cold. I don't want to change my outfit if we don't have to. We've got really good armor on this. Actually, what we should do... Let's go check on our traps. I think by the time we get there, it'll be bright. So what we need to do is go grab our carrots. 22 carrots. Hopefully then I'll bust it up the uh, the traps. You know what I'm wondering? Maybe it makes sense to rebuild that. I mean, I'm not going to do it, but I'm just saying in the future. Have like a specific uh, location just for trapping. Build it off the ground. I don't think it has to be on the ground floor for it to work. Uh, I'd have to double check that, but... If you could build traps, you know, you build a little platform, get all those off the floor, and then you just have some escape ropes to connect. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, maybe I'll have to test that and see if it actually works. We are getting a little bit chilly, close to freezing. All right, I hear a trap going off. Oh, it's still intact. That's good. That's a good sign. Yeah, I see only one. Man, all of these traps and we only got one to trigger. That's crazy. Oh, wait, we gotta wait for these carrots to defrost. Well, while we're doing that, let's take a lap around the other side. Let's just make sure there's nothing around here that's gonna bust the walls down. It's still too dark to do foraging. We're getting a minus 20%. We'll wait a little bit on that. I don't see anything nearby. I think our little trap base is in good shape for now. I'm wondering, did I not go far enough away? Because you don't catch stuff unless it's 75 tiles away. So I'm just wondering, did I not go far enough away for them to trigger? Carrots are still frozen. What the heck? Okay, there they go. They're good now. Yeah, we just spent all those carrots to get one. Get all the bait's gone here. Part of the problem is this is just a forest biome. It's not deep forest. So it's not as high chance. 
And the other problem there is there is no deforest around Rosewood. It's pretty far up. I think the closest one that is is northwest. Yeah, northwest of the gas station. We'd have to drive there every day to check. All right, that's all. Let's make sure. Yep, 22 bait is down. We're good. We got a dead rabbit. Uh, we'll take our single rabbit and go cry ourselves somewhere else. We are losing calories again. Let's go ahead and eat. It's a little overcast. We're getting a minus 5%. It's not a big deal. I think we could still find some good stuff. Yeah, we just want to get away from the traps. You know, I'm thinking... I'm actually not sure. There's quite a few things we could do. But I do want to get... Uh, we can get a little more forging done. Yeah, a little forging done. A lot of... Hopefully some nimble. And then short blade. I think these are going to be the, the key ones. Just seems like having nimble leveled up high is, is going to be super important. When we start leveling the skill, the weapon skills that we don't have any skill in, I think nimble is going to help save the day. So, uh, Poisonous mushroom. And there's like nobody around. Let's take a quick walk to the school. And then we can go back, I think, south of the guest, uh, the, the fire station. And we should have some decent... Piece in action there if we do that. Oh man, this thing sucks. We're getting pretty good foraging though. Nice, we got some potatoes. Wild potatoes. Oh yeah, we gotta eat. Speaking of which. Alright, we're finding some decent chip stones, which is good. We'll need it for the the axe to chop down trees. Probably want to save most of the axes and use them for combat. And this street is really good. We're finding stuff all over the place. Oh, we got company. Yeah, I don't want to get into too much trouble with this thing because it's pretty weak. I think it's a lot of it is the weapon we're using, but I think a lot of it's probably this the low skill. It's only 10.30. We could go check some of these houses. These are... They're pretty big. It's just a little risky going down here. Sunflower seeds. Right, there's the... There's one house. There's another one. Should be two in this area. And look at our calories. Yeah, we're probably... We're probably down some weight. Oh, well, speaking of which... Oh, we still have a laceration. Holy crap, this thing does not want to heal. It's been like over a week. Or close to a week, rather. Oh, this one has an alarm. Let's turn that off. Alright, let's get our weight up. We'll eat a bunch of cabbage. Probably find something in the kitchen here. I don't actually have much food here. I just feel like we're gonna get a jump scare here soon. Did we check this one? No. Alright, I hear something. Ooh, nice, a crowbar. Right, good thing we came here. Yeah, some pretty good loot. It's gotta be in this bedroom. Maybe it's outside along one of the walls. I don't know where the zombie is. I definitely heard it growling, but did I maybe I missed one of the rooms? No, I don't think I did. Should I think about it? I think I got them all. Let's go to the other house. Oh, there. Maybe that was the one. All right, that was pretty easy. Oh, we got quite a few here, actually.
Seems like the short blunt or short blade weapons are very dependent on critical hits. Sometimes they hit pretty hard, but when they don't, they're like that one girl took final six hits. It's not not really good. But that kind of makes sense because we're low level. At two it's two o'clock we can we should be able to go through this house. Oh nice barbecue. We'll definitely need that. I, I suspect we probably need maybe three or four more if we're gonna max out. Oh, box of screws, that's interesting. I didn't know you could forge stuff like that. So I guess technically you could forge a box of nails. I was thinking about a run where you don't do any loot, like you turn loot off completely and you just have to forage. Forage, hunt, and fish for everything. Oh, our inventory is full on our backpack. What we can do is we can just mark it on the map. We'll come back here later. Yeah, we'll come back with the car. It's kind of a long walk to have that much over encumbrance. We're already pretty close to the max. I got company. Oh boy. It's just the three. Yeah, that could have been pretty bad actually if we got rushed. Yeah, no more. Let's not take any more short blunt. We have so many. It's gonna be hard not to take the box of nails. We have like 10 or 11 already, but. Is that money? There's money all over the floor. Somebody was balling out of control here. Alright, can we find some food, please? Fruit jam, we can do that. Oh, didn't realize there was somebody in here. You were the one throwing money everywhere. What the heck? I'm telling you, the range on this thing is so weird. It's like half an inch closer and you're pushing them half an inch back and you're you're missing. Let's check the, the little tool shed and then we'll go back. Man, gas cans. A lot of stuff that we could probably take in here, but yeah, we'll leave it for now. We have so many gas cans, we don't need it. I just want to bring it. Did we take any food? No, we don't have any spare food. Alright, meat cleaver's about to... It's about to break. Yeah, we already searched this part, so let's actually go through the woods. I think we'll be alright. Yeah, I want to get some foraging. There shouldn't be too much here. Maybe a zombie or two, but I don't think there'll be a big crowd. Oh. That's that's a pretty big crowd. I don't really want to take that on. That's a pretty big crowd, too. Shoot. Alright, well. Yeah, we're going to have some company here. Alright, let's get away from the, the other big mob and then we'll we'll deal with them. Let's deal with him here. Oh, we gotta get ready to just switch as soon as this thing breaks. The problem is, we're backing into an unknown area. I don't know if there's stuff over here. Yep, there is. Alright, this looks like it's a decent spot. We're only gonna be able to take on one. We gotta move. Well, that worked. Yeah, we'll take a kitchen knife. There you go. So we're dual wielding kitchen knives. It's a pretty big crowd there too. Let's actually go up this way. I would prefer to avoid fighting a gigantic mob with weapons that we're not good with. Luckily we're not running into anything, but this is pretty risky. Let's actually run. Yeah, this is definitely too many, so let's get out of here. Let's see if there's any that are still following. No, I think we lost them on that backside. Let's do with these two. Yeah, 
this kitchen knife does nothing. It hurts. It hits pretty hard when you hit a crit, but it's probably not a good idea to rely on it. Oh, there we go. That's the one I was looking for. The animation. Yeah, I know you can one tap. enough excitement for today. Let's just get back. In the previous episode, we leveled Nimble by walking around the base, punching air, and spinning around. We also went to some houses to get supplies, continue to forage, and level up Nimble. So I don't want to want to go by the fire station. I feel like there's going to be a lot there. So let's cut up through the neighborhood that we already know is fairly clear. Yeah, getting that one-shot animation is kind of weird. I don't have a lot of experience with it. That's probably why I'm saying that, but... Oh, that's a pretty big crowd right here. I can try and go around it. Right, retracted a couple. Shouldn't be a problem though. Yeah, it looks like these kitchen knives are good for maybe ten, maybe ten kills. It's already this one's already almost toast. So we nimble walked all the way from our base up to our traps, down to the basically the other end of Rosewood, and then kind of back up. So hopefully we get some decent XP for this. I, I think so, but let's see. Let's get out of the road. Still didn't break. Well, alright, let's see if we can break it on this one. Oh, you can find a lunchbox. That's kind of cool. Actually, I should have looked to see if there's um, any food in it. A lot of times the lunchboxes have, like, cookies that don't go bad. Yeah, darkness effect. We're starting to get a pretty nasty debuff on on our search, so maybe we'll turn it off soon. We don't lose anything by having it on, so maybe not. We'll just leave it. Alright, clear path home. We should be good. Home at last. Oh, interesting. The ginseng restores endurance. I didn't know that. So it's basically like the... Uh, what do you call those things? The vitamins? Basically like a vitamin. Sunflower seeds have a little bit of nutrients too. 244 calories is not bad. I might eat him. Oh, wow. So that's like one of the best ones to get then. Look at how much the, the calories move up. That's basically what a cabbage does. Well, that's good to know. We've been carrying this rabbit around the whole day. We got to get it into the freezer. Do we, we don't have any, any more. All right, let's get it in there so we can freeze it. We got more sunflower seeds. Gladly we'll eat all those. And we did pick up another crowbar. I think we have our crowbars and the tools, though. That's fine. This wild potato is 32 hunger. That's a lot more than we get for the, the homegrown ones. Oh, but not not very many calories. Okay, that makes sense. So the sunflower seeds are, are better. They don't satiate you much, but they give you better, uh, better calories, which I feel is more important. You know, staying full is not usually an issue. It's maintaining your weight. It's generally the problem. We got three more boxes of nails, so up to 14. We can make basically a gigantic mansion if we wanted. Right, four more chip stones, tree branches. So we got, you know, we can make up to six of the axes. We got two more in here, I forgot. So eight. Right, let's put the carrots outside so they can rot. Potato seeds up top. Somebody's shooting. Right, these are still, but oh, we got rotten berries, but everything else is still, still kind of going. Cabbage is seed bearing on that side. We gotta we gotta dig them up soon. Oh, let's just do it. We can get our level out of it. We're getting almost 300 farming XP per. We have I think in this row nine. That's a significant amount of XP. All right, nothing else is quite yet ready. We got 273 seeds out of that. And 91 cabbage. Need a couple. Oh, we gotta find a place to put these. So I think if we have maybe two ice chests full of cabbage, we can cook the rest. So 158, 52. Why is this one going to be less? Some of these might be 
half chewed then. They were smaller. I should have done a better job filtering those out. Yeah, anything that's like half used, we should just not be using it at all. Alright, we're just gonna make cabbage roast. Nothing but cabbage. And I, I don't really care about all these oils and stuff. Let's just start using them all. Margarine, we'll just load it up with everything we've got. I'd rather have fewer options. I, I don't think survival or maintaining our weight is an issue anymore. I think it's just more about convenience. So let's light this thing with carpentry. That's as good as we can get. Let's keep going. Because, like I said, we don't have room for these anyway, so we don't have to throw them on the floor. Might as well just spam some food. Yeah, it's so much faster when there's not 20,000 options to pick from. If it's just, like, literally one. Just one or two options, that's all I want. Everything else doesn't matter. There's one ready. That one's ready to go in. Let's eat half of this, see how many calories we get. Oh boy, that's a lot. We threw butter, lard, and all that stuff in there, so it kind of makes sense. It's not sustainable though, unfortunately, because we can't produce butter and lard, so once we cook and eat that, it's done. Wait, why did I... I put one back in, didn't I? I'm an idiot. Well, that's going to shoot our health, or our weight, up quite a bit, so we got to be careful how much we're eating now. Which is a good thing. That's a good problem to have. Yeah, we'll get rid of all of our condiments. And then all that'll be left will be the stuff that we actually want to use. The sustainable things. It looks like we did use most of our margarine and butter. So we're only having like one option left. Right, let's wait for this to be done. Cabbage, olive oil, butter, lard. <laughs> It's got the works. All right, these need to go. Shoot this one. Yeah, let's let's put these other ones in a container. It's not gonna fit. Wait, what happened? Did I put the one of them back that had less calories? Yeah, it was this one. Let's put one of the full ones. I want to make sure we hang on to this one. That's not. We'll keep eating that one. These are just about ready. I think we used all of those. Do we have one in our inventory? Actually, cook. No, we're good. So we we cook just about everything. So right, we'll take a little bit of cooking XP and we'll get our food straight for the next two weeks, maybe. Oh, it's 4.30. We need to go to bed. Man, it's funny how that happens in real life, too. You know, you're, you're playing, you're having fun, you're not paying attention to the time, and all of a sudden it's like, time to go to bed. Stayed up way too late again. Barbecue info. 56 hours, so we're losing a little bit. We usually were at around 60. We're not really refilling it as much. Once we get down to maybe the 20 hours, that's when we should be concerned. Right now, it's we have a lot. Probably not much of a concern. And we do have a lot of cabbage. There's a bunch of these that are, they don't have much left on them. So we can just chew through these. But let's go ahead and sleep. 520, yeah, we're going to sleep in pretty late, almost 10. Even with that, it's still giving us a ton of calories from it. We're going to go, we're going to go over. We're already at 83, double up still. So why don't we go drop some of these cabbages off? Maybe we'll hang on to like six. Yeah, we'll hang on to six cabbages. Plus the, the roast. It'd be nice if you could put the roasts in a separate container, because this thing's really heavy. So farming, we are at level 8. Oh, sorry, level 7, almost level 8. Yeah, that one's pretty easy to, to level up. We gotta go check our traps soon. Let's just make sure these are in good shape. Oh yeah, today is 3 months, 1 day, so we're, we're just past the 3 month mark. Alright, that's strawberries, toast. Generator's okay, let's... I think we had one that's half... Right, let's just fill it up. Right, yeah, I think what we should do is try and fix it every chance we can. Every time we refuel it, it's inefficient, like it's going to burn through your scrap faster. Which I couldn't care less, because we have two or three hundred of them. But it does give you a little bit of electronics, so I think that's probably a good idea to do. So right now, priority, we got to get trapping up to the next level. We're really close, we just need one. Literally one animal and we'll, we'll have it. So let's... Weather effect, we're getting a little bit of malice with the weather, but for search radius, but I think we'll be all right. Let's go check our traps. I'm not going to bring any other bait to rebait it. 
I just want to see if we can get a single one and then we'll come back and uh, I, I don't want to waste the XP so we'll leave the animals trapped you know what I did I forgot to check we almost gained a foraging level nimble is at 160 yes that's, that's brutal that is a brutal grind all right I hear one yep one went down doesn't look like any zombies are going to be bugging us. That's good. Alright, give us that level. Yep, we got it. You know what? Oh, I was going to say, we have cabbage, but... How much cabbage does it use? Oh, interesting. So cabbage... Let's see how many we can bait with, with the cabbage that we have. Some of these, they still have their bait, actually. Yeah, not all of them got tripped. Oh, this one got taken as well. Oh, it's fine. I know we're going to lose some XP by doing that, but that's... Wow, this cabbage is... Yeah, it's this is way easier. Probably doesn't catch as much. But, like, a thousand times easier. Six cabbage? We baited all those traps, and we still have these, these left. Two rabbits. We need to go read the book. Let's go drop them off. I don't want to carry them around like I did yesterday. And these cabbages are pretty much toast, but we'll eat them... Just because our calorie content is so high still. Right, what does it give us? 2480. It's about 20 calories per. We just don't want to go over 85. So if we go up to 85, that's fine. I'd rather have a little bit of a buffer, but I think we'll be alright. We got a satchel. Did not know you could find backpacks and stuff. We're going to throw it in the trash, but pretty cool. But nice thing about having knives and leveling short blade is we don't have to switch we we don't have to switch our equipment we just butcher it and throw it in but oh, we didn't butcher that one let's go ahead and move this rabbit over here yeah we'll butcher it when the time's right i feel like we can't even eat this thing let's um let's just save it we'll survive off cabbage for a little bit yeah there's still a bunch of fresh ones even if the capture rate is less i think it's still better in the long run to just use cabbage everything's gonna be cabbage add a couple more chip stones to the pile and we're in good shape. But you know what? I think we towed this thing. It needs to be moved. It's kind of blocking. We need to get it all the way in the back. There we go. There we go. So what I'm going to do with this one... Let's park it all the way in the back, actually, like this. Actually, now, you know what? Let's keep it in the front. Yeah, it's just easier. There, it's out of the way. And I feel like we should probably do the same with this thing. It's I don't know if we're going to really use it that much. We, we will keep it for parts. It's got gas in it. So we can siphon a bunch of stuff. It reminds me of my car days. <laughs> Working at the car dealer. Got really tight spots. And I think we just park them like this. Back to front. And then there should be enough space to move. It has our weight. 84. Still double plus. Yeah, we gotta chill out on the on the food. Cabbage is too fattening. You know what? Let's get this out of the way as well. Can we Yeah, this one still has some gas in it. Tight squeeze. Yep, that should be good. Now we got plenty of room to pull in and all that. So almost four. I don't know that. Yeah, let's. <laughs> We're littering everywhere. Let's just pick up all this crap. You know, I'm wondering if this thing is still bleeding. We probably need to stitch it up. No, it's gone. Okay, we're good. We are good. Usually, if it needs stitches, even though it's bandaged, your health, your little heart thing will keep shaking like you're taking damage. That's what made me think it's probably not the case. So, normally I'd say this drive around, but I really want to get nibbled up. It's going to be such a grind, man. And not necessarily like the fun kind, so we'll just spend some time walking around. Here we go, we can clear this area out again. Actually, you know what we should do is we should go off into the wooded area in the back there. I bet you it's probably a good spot to, to forage. I don't really know how to get the... the I, I thought you could... Oh, there it goes. I don't know what I did there. That was weird. I know you can do it from behind, which is good because we have pretty high sneak. 
we not get the animation? No. Nope. No, it's not doing it. I don't know. That's weird. Right, this thing's gonna break. Gotta get ready to switch to number two. There it goes. Holy crap, this thing's already half. We just barely got it. It wasn't perfect. It was off by like maybe one or two ticks, but it was in pretty good shape. It's already half. Alright, kitchen knives. Risky business. And I don't really want to go up there. Let's let's go off into the woods. It's already 530. Maybe we'll just go around the back side of this. The gated community and we'll loop back. I think that'll take us a couple hours. Alright, there's some zombies back here. Oh yeah, there's a big group back there. Gotta be careful with that. Well, that worked. It's almost like you have to get them in pushing range, but then... Yeah, that's what it is. Like, how come this doesn't do it? I'm like, right... Oh, there it goes. Alright, well, I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. I'm gonna have to do this a couple thousand times. So, we got time. Got another kitchen knife we can play with. I don't see anything else. It's just this group. So, we'll... Let's try and pick these guys off. Maybe two or three at a time. Oh, that didn't work. And also, I think the animation is probably not a good idea in groups because it does still lock you in place. Oh, they got three more. I wonder if do you have to be... No, I was going to say, do you have to be standing still or moving? Seems like you have to be as physically close to them as possible. That's what it seemed like. Maybe that's what I was doing wrong. So we have to move like even closer than maximum pushing distance. All right, it is 6.30. Yeah, we gotta start heading back. Eat some cabbage. And our weight should have slowed down. Yeah, we're at 84. We'll hold steady there. Black Sage. I don't know what that does. Trapping in this area might not be bad, but I think it's still considered just regular forest. It's not the, the deep forest. No, 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 dude. What are you doing? Oh, we didn't get bit. Probably could have. Man, that's that's so dangerous. All right, there's a zombie in, in the house right there, sounds like. I don't even like doing that thing. Maybe if they're, like, by themselves or something, but that seems like a huge risk. All right, we gotta be careful here. We don't have a weapon once this breaks. And it's pretty much broken, so we'll have to stomp them. Let's push her to the ground. There we go. Yeah, we'll leave the broken knife on the uh, person that we shanked. Alright, we'll head back. I would like to get that van, but it's gonna be tough with these. There's a lot of them here. Probably just take one of these on the end then. Seems like it's a safer bit. Oh, we have somebody following us. I didn't even... I was like, who the heck's making all that noise? Yeah, that makes sense. Whoops. Alright, doesn't really matter. Actually, it does. Yeah, let's take the truck, because it's heavy duty. We need the parts. Can we even break the window with this? With the knife? No, we have to use our hand. Lovely. Well, we didn't get cut. Alright, that's fine. It's a zippy little truck. It's in pretty rough shape, though. So I don't know what good it'll be for parts. But I'd rather have it. And you know what? Let's use this. This is our, our siphon vehicle. It'll hold. We can top off our bottle of gasoline every time with it. And before we go up, actually, let's take, let's take a look at our crops. Alright, no change. Yeah, water levels seem fine. Got a little bit of rot food we can add to the pile. And it looks like we did get some compost here. 11.5. So let's go grab a sack. Black Sage, mild pain relief. So we could eat it. Alright, there we go. We're all organized and sorted. It's only 10.40. Oh, shoot. Uh, why didn't I do that? We need to read trapping. Yeah, because we're going to be grabbing those animals soon. But not before we read. Should have done that. Alright, let's go read. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. Trapping three. We are starting to get cold. Which I believe it saps your in endurance. Did it increase your fatigue? Calorie? I don't, I don't remember exactly. I know it's generally not good. 
probably makes you tired faster. So we'll just read in here. We'll get bored. And then we'll read some books. All right, let's smoke. Go to bed. And we'll figure out what to do tomorrow. So I think what we'll do, since a lot of this food is extremely fatty, we'll take a couple cabbages. We'll, we'll take the roast when we need the calorie boost. And then we'll do the cabbage when we need the hunger boost. And we'll kind of play them off each other. I know it's more efficient just to cook it in another dish, but we have so much stuff. It doesn't even really matter. Now, if it's 49 inside, it's going to be even worse outside. So let's stay indoors. Just read for now. You can't really get any foraging with all the fog going on anyways. Oh yeah, today is three months, almost two days. Yeah, three months, two days. All right, it's raining. I think it would be a good time to... I think it'd actually be a good time to plant the next set. I haven't done that in a while. Yeah, this is the last one we planted, and it's been it's been a minute. There we go. That's done. So they'll get watered. We don't have to... I, I know it's not that big of a deal, but I just don't like watering. I find it very annoying for some reason. Like, of all the grindy stuff, that's the one that annoys me, and I don't know why. There we go. So our fields are ready to go. You know what, let's just harvest this. I don't really care about the, the seeds. We're not using carrots anyways. Did we even get a carrot? Wait, what? What happened to the carrot? We just harvest. We harvested it. Maybe it was such bad quality. Like, these are probably... What's going on here? Are these diseased? Mildew? Devil's fungi? Fungi? Let's just remove it. Probably remove these carrots soon, or these strawberries soon too. Yeah, because we can do maybe every two days we'll do a new row. I mean, once we hit farming 10, I will back it off and just do what we need to sustain, plus a little extra. I mean, for now, we're just trying to get maxed out as soon as we can, but um, soon that won't be an issue. So if we're going to use these kitchen knives, we really need to put a lot of them on. The meat cleaver is pretty good, though. You can hang out of that, too. Scalpel is kind of a weird one, too. All right, let's, um, we, we just, we want to read right now. Let's go outside and read. The weather's good enough. Yeah, that thing gives so, we only ate one-fourth of the dish that we made, and it gave us a ton of calories. Nothing else to read. Nimble's at 200. So slowly but surely that's going up, but that's just going to take a long time. But I think we just wait a little bit. 30 six let's just um we can do some loading and reloading training our weight's pretty good right now we don't want to eat too much so keep that under control just make sure we're not hungry all right let's keep going uh maybe until like two right, that should be it yeah let's call it our night now what did we get 84 <laughs> it was several hours to get 84 xp i think even if we did that for like a whole day straight yeah we wouldn't even get a couple hundred xp to be honest that's that's bad all right, we got three months, two days. We don't have any skill books to read. Foraging looks like it's doable. We've got sunlight coming up in just a little bit. So what we can do is let's grab some carrots. We'll just use the rest of them. Yeah, we'll keep using them as bait. Let's go check our traps. You know what? We're overburdened and we have a book on us. Let's get rid of the book. Oh, we have the... Yeah, we have the M4 mags. Those things weigh a lot. Yeah, that's much better. But before we go, let's just take a quick peek up here. Yeah, these need to be harvested. Most of any anyways. It's probably got... Yeah, it's got an issue. We got mildew. Let's wait until tonight, see if that thing pops. And then we can just harvest them all at once. It's raining, but we're only getting minus 2%. It's really not a problem. So let's go check our traps. Doesn't look like anything's around here. We should, should be good. I hear a couple traps that went off. Oh, one of the traps broke. What the heck? I did not know that they broke over time. Yeah, because nothing got in here. So that's not an option. Looks like we caught two. Yeah, all these don't have any bait. I and mean, I think our carrots are probably still frozen. Yeah, they are. Two rabbits will last us a long time. It's just really a good ratio compared to all the, the resources we put into building this whole thing. All right, they're ready to go. It's good to know that they can break down then. Not this time, but we can bring some supplies. 
and just keep a, a couple spare tra you know enough materials to build a couple spare traps just in case that happens all right there were a few traps that didn't have anything in them but for the most part they did yeah we used all but three all right let's do this let's go out the back side let's get away and then we'll we'll get some some forging xp once we get a little bit away so the thing can do its trapping so not really much out here it's a couple small groups of zombies there's a decent sized one there and some stragglers here let's take out the stragglers oh jalapeno i've never gotten that before and we got a forging level that's seven yeah level seven we're still getting xp or the, the bonus from the book so let's keep reading A lot of tree branches out here. Nice, got a short blade as well. This thing's gonna break right now. Any second. Right, get rid of the broken one. Do another kitchen knife on the on the belt loop. So I think that's what level three. Yeah, level three short blade. So we're we're getting it. It's gonna take a while though. Interesting. So I think what I've been and this is a common theme I've noticed with a lot of my issues with this game. And, and I don't mean like the game's messed up. I mean I I don't understand the game and I'm trying to learn. But it seems like like right. I usually try and aim the animation of the character. For whatever it is that I'm trying to accomplish. So like if I'm trying to hit somebody, I'll just make sure it's aiming that direction. It seems like the actual mouse has to be has to be directly below them, like where you're aiming for things to work. So like there we go. So if I aim at his feet, it works. If I aim past him, even though the same it's the same direction, it doesn't seem to work. So I gotta get better about aiming the actual mouse rather than the direction and angle of my character. I think that's where I'm getting a lot of this stuff wrong. Gas station is still pretty quiet. Let's go finish clearing it out. And it seems like certain areas are not mapped. Um, they're whatever you call it. They don't have the proper uh, in the back end. So like you can't f you can't find any foraging loot in here. So it doesn't even make sense to forge here. We'll just skip it. We'll get back to a spot where we where it is properly mapped. Like right here, it turns back on, it looks like. Yeah, there we go. So let's, we'll go down the road, make sure we clear out the road some. Yeah, we're getting a minus 25 from the rain, actually. It's gotten worse. It was, it doesn't feel like it's raining any harder than this morning, and this morning it wasn't that bad. I'm not sure what changed. Let's, um, let's go try and get that van. We'll get another heavy vehicle in case we need to use some parts. We'll just keep stacking up vehicles. This thing's gonna go down. That's yeah, about the about the fail. So we'll push three to switch. Ooh, perfect timing. So that one broke. Oh, we got a <laughs> we got a knife that's got like one hit on it. All right, how bad is this thing? It looks pretty bad. Actually, the hood's decent. Yeah, it's got some it's got some redeeming qualities about it. Can I do it? There it goes. Oh, nice. Perfect timing again. Oh, we already have the key for this one, too. I was trying to hotwire it. Alright, squeeze this big boy in the back. I think at this point, we're just going to back stuff straight in. Back them in like sardines. Well, we'll give it a little bit of room so we can actually fit, but... Something like that. A lot of cars. Yeah, we definitely did a lot of collecting, but we still have more to go. Right, let's just keep doing some foraging. I know it's not ideal, but we can go up there, clear more of that, uh, more of that road, get more nimble, find some decent stuff in spite of the bad weather. Foraging at 661. Actually, we haven't done any electrical in a while, but we've got a thousand just from dismantling stuff from. Uh, Got like TVs and watches and stuff, just kind of incidental. Alright, it's not working. 
There we go. Got a camera. I feel like I'd rather just push him to the ground. Uh, getting that assassinate animation, whatever you want to call it. That one's pretty tough. And it seems really risky because if you miss, you might get bit. You're putting yourself in a pretty bad situation. There's a few more up here. Oh, what are we overburdened? Oh, the tree branch. Wait, what? I guess we're full. Let's eat these jalapenos. They're kind of heavy. And they don't even give you that much. Oh, and I forgot to drop off the rabbit. Yeah, that's stupid. I should have done that. I was not paying attention there. We got another kitchen knife. It's in pretty good shape too. We'll save the cleaver for later. In the previous episode, we continued leveling Nimble around the base and clearing out zombies while doing it. We spent some time reading, farming, and checking traps. Let's target this van next. Seems like a good one to add. Nice, it's not raining anymore. We should have... Yeah, we should have good, good vision for forging. Let's just make sure this one's ready to go when it's time to leave. Alright, it is. Needs gas. And we'll come back to it. Alright, we're gonna eat the rest of our food. 5.30, we can probably go back and do something else. Maybe reloading. Not, not even using it yet. We should probably focus on the other skills, the hard skills. We call it the crafting skills. So like tailoring we can do right now. But yeah, let's just go back. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, looking good. I think we'll, yeah, we'll just stay in the rest of the day. I think we're in good shape. So forging wise, we got 823. Nimble, we're starting to see the little sliver showing up. So 263. Yeah, it's going to take a bit longer, but it's all right. And then short blade. I think we can get short blade to five in the next maybe week or two. Might need to go somewhere that's a little bit more populated though. Oh, we have 12 tree branches. Jeez, that's a lot of spears. We got some more rotten fruit. It's actually, oh, you know, I was supposed to just to harvest this, but we don't have room. Let's let's go take care of stuff first. So carrots can go in the rotten bin. Yeah, I don't know why it didn't occur to me. I can make more than one compost bin, and that'll probably make life a lot easier. We don't have to worry about like when something fills up or not. Yeah, that was kind of silly of me. I don't want to take any of these. Let's eat the berries. Let's eat the potato. Yeah, we're not putting any of that stuff back. It's better just to get rid of it now. So caterpillar and grasshoppers will go. Maggots. We got a little bit more fuel for the fire. Right, let's butcher the rabbits. We need to butcher this one too. Let's just defrost it, butcher it, and put it back. 1.24, 1.28. It's about the same. It probably has to do with how much meat's on the bone is my guess. Yeah, this one's 63, 50, 92, 102. Why are these, why are these so much bigger? These are the ones we just collected. I'm curious what the difference is. But yeah, we gotta go upstairs. While that's defrosting, let's go take care of a little bit of farming. I'll leave that last one until I go seed bearing. A ton of XP coming in. And I am tempted to plant another row. Maybe that's what we do. Every time we um, harvest, we sow. It's raining. Oh no, it's not gonna rain. Really? Soft right when we planted. Oh, we got another row going. Yeah, there's no way. No way we fit all this cabbage in there. You know what we could do? Might be kind of a fun experiment. Maybe we can set up multiple spots where we have traps just everywhere. And then that'll really level up pretty fast. Uh, let's see. Because then we can use a lot of this stuff instead of just throwing it away. Like, we're going to have to throw most of this away. Actually, we, no, we can't because we have to have room for this rabbit as soon as it's done defrosting. Let's just do that for I forget. A butcher rabbit. We'll throw it in there. Yeah, we can definitely survive off of just cabbage. 
Especially if we spam it like that. We'll keep 10. We gotta start using these things as well, because we gotta keep cooking, keep the XP going. Alright, well, while we're... I'm just trying to think of what to do tomorrow. I think what we can do... Let's get our little travel out while we're thinking. But let's dig some, thir some furrows. So what I'm thinking we could do is go chop some wood. Um, yeah, we need to bring supplies to be able to do what we want to do. Get 19 cabbage packet. There's no way we need that much. Actually, let's just harvest this. Okay, let's get ready. We can do... Where are you? The little hatchets. The one-handed. These ones do a pretty good job. They weigh eight. Yeah, we're not going to be bringing stuff back. We're going to be taking things out and leaving it there. So we need a saw. Let's get our saw. We're going to need to make a ton of planks. We need a lot of nails. Well, not a lot of nails, but enough. 54 may not be enough. Let's just take one more box. Yeah, wood, nails. Um, we are going to want to have some of these sheet ropes. I believe I put them outside here. So I think maybe like three or four should be enough. So that means we need eight. Uh, three or four lines is what I meant. Why do we still have potato seeds on us? Let's go put that back. And also, I don't think I checked to see how the generator is doing. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I don't think we need anything else. I think that's. I think that should do it. Let's go to sleep a little bit early. I want to get a, an early start on the day. So waking up, we are three months days in. We'll get a little bit of carpentry. We'll probably do some foraging and ideally we have 16 cabbages. We can definitely, you know what though, let's let's start using up the rest of the carrots. Let's just use the carrots. Don't know how many we are going to end up using, so let's just take a lot of them. We fit them all? Yeah, we can fit them all. That's fine. Okay, hunting experiment or trapping experiment number one. How it goes. We don't need our trailer. Like I said, we're not we're not bringing much back, we're just taking stuff there, building it there, and then leaving it there. So what I would like to do is find a place where we can drive most of the way. Actually, this road is interesting because it just kind of tails off to nowhere. Like, it's an actual road, but it just stops, and there's no construction or anything. So, we would definitely be far enough away. We don't need to go that far, though. What is this considered? Is this considered forest? Yeah, it's not deep forest. I want deep forest. I want to try and find a place that's deep forest. Oh, where's our knife? Oh, this thing took a turn for the worst. It was like more than half, and in three hits, it just it's almost dead now. Yeah, we gotta be real careful with that. I mean, we have a cleaver. That's kind of a, a good backup for us, but not ideal for sure. So it doesn't look like there's going to be deep forest here. And there's zombies all over the place here. I'm going to do something a little different then. If I remember looking on the map, there was deep forest to the northwest, kind of like where we are, but further north on the main road. So let's go see if we can find that deep forest. We'll set up like an actual hunting outpost. Like I said, we don't need to check it daily. We're going to set up, I don't know, 20, 30 traps, and then we're just going to take what we can and then haul it back on the truck. But we need to get away from the, the zombie spawns. So I feel like that's going to be the worst part. Just getting far enough away from these guys. Oh man, this is so much. Yeah, like imagine trying to keep your traps alive with this much. We can drive past them, but... See if we can get to the point where they're just not here. Yeah, like past it here, this looks like it's pretty much wide open. Assuming we don't have stragglers. So right here, vegetation. I think we have to drive further into the forest though. I'm going to hop out just to check vegetation into forest. It's not deep forest. Can we get deep forest? No, I mean, we're, we're deep into this forest, but it's not considered deep forest, so. Okay, I thought, 
I thought it said this was deep forest. It might, maybe I'm on the wrong side of the, of the thing. Let's go up here and check. I guess the problem there is... Oh, where we were burdened. Eat some cabbage. The problem there is... We still have to drive through all the zombies to get there, but... Alright, we're in forest. Oh, there's a road here. Just to make sure. Yeah, this vegetation. Sometimes you'll... I was reading that sometimes you can find spots that are not labeled properly. So it'll look like a farm, but it's actually deep forest. Actually, what we should be doing, we should be... We should be foraging. Nice. Peanuts. Take it. That... Holy crap, that was 700 XP just for peanuts. Yeah, I know the sunflower seeds were really good when we found those, but I think that one's even better. So I figured out what the issue was. I was not going far enough in. So I think what I'm going to do... A few too many zombies here. We can clear them out, but maybe not with... Short blade. So let's go get a real load out. Yeah, somewhere around this sign, I think, is where it starts. And then we can head in. Looking at inventory. Jeez. I didn't notice. I should have looked last time before I went out. My mistake. Let's get rid of these. So we get some weapons on the floor. I forgot to put back. Let's put that real quick. And then we'll use two of these nightsticks. The lowest condition ones should be fine. They tend to last a decent amount. Alright, that's good. Let's get back. We've got hand axe. Yeah, we've got all the stuff we need. So there should be two ways to get there. We could... We could go from where we were just were. Or the faster route might be going a little off-road. How the hell is that tree big enough to stop a car, dude? Completely trashed. Jesus, man. Like, look at look at how big that that tr that's like a twig compared to a gigantic freaking truck, man. That's so stupid. All right, well, we just need to get to right in this area, so doesn't really matter. I guess we could just stay on the pavement and then walk. Oh, I hate crashing the car, man. It's so hard to get that thing in good shape and then. Stupid, it's always the stupid mistakes that get you, you know? It's never like these crazy things, it's always stupid things. Well, we're finding some pretty good things. We already got a log we can use. Well, somebody made a big trash dump. looking for is this little thing right here to switch pictures like right now it's got a couple trees when we get to the deep forest it'll switch I'd have a picture of a, a ton of trees yeah we're almost there all right here we are and there's another log let's get some of our stamina back all right so it looks like the edge is right here and right there again. So right about here is where we need to be. Go over burden again. Get our planks up here. Yeah, I think right here is probably a good spot. I think we get to cut down trees, I think. So let's sit down and wait for a second just to see if anything's going to come. Doesn't look like it. I'm trying to clear a nice white area so it's easy to see around. Oh, I hear something. Oh, there you go. Right now we need to relax for a little bit and then we'll saw all these. Might need a little bit more actually for how much we want to do. I think we'll do 20 to start. Oh, we got quite a few planks here. So let me see where the where's the edge right there. So let's not get 
super close to the edge. Uh, I don't want to accidentally build in a spot where it doesn't work. Let's do it right here. So we need to be three wide. Three wide, ten long. Oops. There we go. I'm going to need to recover a little bit. So, what do we want? There we go. We just need to fill that in, and then we'll have it. We need a couple pieces at the end. A little fence with the rope. We'll do another one down here. And then we just need a bunch of traps. We'll have to get rid of this. I'm not sure if, if you get rid of all the support, if it still works or not. I'm not sure. We're going to make a bunch of these things. Let's see, is that it? Did we use all of them? Yeah, I think we did. We need to cut more trees down. Let's get this one out. It's kind of close. We got seven more. I think we need more than that, though. Yeah, we got 14. We need six more still. Let's actually hang out for a sec. It's getting late, though. We gotta finish this up. Let's look at us four more. It's not quite enough though. We got four, we need three more. Why only craft two? Did I run out of nails? Oh no. I ran out of nails. How did we use so many nails? Jeez. Oh, I miscounted, didn't I? Yeah, we have enough. Wait, no. No, I, I counted right. Get these things baited. Wait, what? I gotta check all these because it's saying that I baited one on the left side. I definitely did not. At least not on purpose. Yeah, see that one? I don't know how it got baited. Alright, that looks good. Now, one thing I'm not sure about, are you allowed to disassemble stairs if it's the only link? Yeah, I was gonna say, just a floating structure. So this is no big deal. As long as they don't take down the, um, the ropes, then we'll be fine. Alright, we got... Some of those back, some of the nails. We gotta make it back without, without dying. I can't tell. There we go. Pretty hard to fight in the dark. There's another one. Let's make sure nobody else is coming. Yep, I hear more than one. Alright, let's just get out. I think we just run at this point. There we go. Alright, we made it. Alright, let's try and avoid hitting these tiny twigs that are stop in our car. Alright, well that's done. Yeah, I wanted to try and get that whole thing done before. I didn't want to have to go back a second day. Well, that put the uh, the traps do the thing. We still got a few carrots left. Yeah, I forgot to grab all the twigs and stuff. It's we are really tired of sleep. Not what I'd like to do. Let's go check our other one. Check our other traps. I hear a couple traps going off. So we got something at least. Doesn't look like anybody able to get in. Oh nice, we got at least three. Oh, did I not bring bait? I don't think I brought bait. Oh, shoot. Let's see how far the cabbage will go. We have six cabbage on us. I think we're gonna get everything. Yep, that's it. We got everything. So we're only short two. So that'd be 20. So five cabbages can handle 20, it looks like. And how's our trapping? Almost to level five. We're, we're pretty close. Now what we should do is we should go check on plants, and then I think we give those things some time. Not yet ready. We, we have so much cabbage in the freezers too, so it's mostly just for XP. Let's go ahead and refuel and tune it up. Perfect. Let's see, potatoes and some of the cabbage went right and finally let's go throw that in the compost. Looks like we have a little bit of compost ready. 10%. Alright, this one didn't even get a full. So let's make sure this one's full. Yeah, there it goes. Let's butcher these. Get them in the freezer. That takes us up to 8 rabbits, so we got quite a bit of food. 
Okay, those so both of those locations are are working on trapping right now, so I think we just give them some time. And we could continue the skill grind, but I think a better use of our time right now is actually trying to find all the books. And then we don't really have to worry about it once we're once we've got it. Let's make a quick pit stop here. That's like empty here. Nice. There we go. We got a full tank of gas. Got the other ones filled up. Should be good. So I am going to be making pit stops here just to clear out the street. I definitely want this to be a safe place to go by because we're going to be doing all the trapping as well. So I think it makes sense to just do that. Yeah, we'll be pulling them this way so it's not that big of a deal. A lot of weapons stuck in their bodies but they look like they're the cheap spears. Not really worth stopping. Nice, we got some wreckages here. Actually, let me mark that down. We can come back with the, the propane torch later. Should be able to handle that. It looks like we've gotten by for the most part. They're not really bugging us. It's nice having the four-lane highway. That that makes a huge difference. All right, we were there already once, but I don't think we went down here. Yeah, there's a town up here. We'll make a right, and then we want to hit up the bookstore. Did I miss it? No, change of plans. Let's actually go to the uh, Muldra. Or whatever, I think it's Muldra, the one up here. Yeah, I, I was meaning to go to a different spot, but I goofed. This will be indications that there's a lot of metalworking to be done here. Oh, wow. That's a really tight spot. Alright, we should be good now. Okay, so the diner, yeah, we're at the gas station. There's the diner. There's a VHS store right up the street. I think it's one more. Yeah, it's this one. How the heck are we gonna get in there though? And the police station, this is crazy. Well, what we can try to do is not get stuck in a bush. Let's try and get these guys grouped up and we can lead them out somewhere else. So let's start doing that. Let's pull everybody in. It looks a lot worse than it is. I think we'll be alright. This group needs to come. Well, a lot of a lot of them have guns. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have a chance of getting those. I'm tempted to yell, but I don't really want to do that. It's going to pull in way more than, than we want to deal with. There's a fire axe on that one that I want, but probably not going to happen. Let's pick up this group. So I want to check both the VHS and I want to check the police station. So we got to figure out somewhere else to take these. I think a building like this looks decent enough. But let's make sure they're in a nice tight ball. I'm thinking maybe actually these woods. This could be. A Pretty bad running through that, but let's cut back up here and we can go across this road and then lose line of sight somewhere. That's yeah, a pretty healthy group. Alright, let's actually consolidate one more time before we go down the road. So, cut back across here. There we go. Now, we'll drag him down here. Looking good? Yep, looking good. It's a very orderly bunch. So I don't know what this is. I think it's like a shopping mall or something. Yeah, I don't know this town at all. I've got the map up on my other screen. I've only really ever played Rosewood, so I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do is let's see if we can path through here. If we have to, we'll cancel it and control. But it looks like we should be able to get away with it. Yeah, it's not too bad. 
Oh boy, there's still police, but let's see. There's still groups, but it's not like hundreds. Let's actually deal with these guys first so they don't group up. Can't. Don't want to double back into that. That's not a good idea. Actually, it might not be a bad idea to use. You can use this fence that they were hopping over already. And I don't. That's too close. Let's get a second fence. Slow down quite a bit. Let's deal with these. Oh boy. That's the other group. Looks like there's some stragglers. Yeah, it's getting a little hairy. Ah, uh, there's more over there. Yeah, where the heck are we supposed to go? We're just gonna have to deal with them. Well, one thing we can do is we can drag them around here. Yeah, that's that's too many. Let's open. Drag them there, and then we'll hopefully lose them. We can take off these smaller pockets, and then go back and start working on that. All right, we're gonna need this nightstick too off this lady for sure. We're gonna bust what we have. Get a little bit of a breather at least. Okay, what can we do here? So, yeah, VHS door. Let's try and work our way in there. Let's do one at a time. We're gonna have to find a place to sleep too. There's no way we get back. We got we got too many things to visit. Alright, let's see if we can get inside. Pretty big group. I think there's a group now, there's a big group on that side too though. Yeah, we just have to go. Let's try and pull maybe half that. Another nightstick. But we sh should be fine on weapons. Let's just. I know these guys aren't even looking, but let's just deal with it. Alright, that should be good. Let's get in there. Some big groups here. Check back here first. We don't have that many VHS, so this is probably going to be taking almost everything. Nice that these things don't weigh that much. Let's disassemble this. Then we got to re equip this last shelf. Now, the real question is where the heck are we going to sleep? I guess we could technically sleep in the car, but I don't know if that's such a good. Oh, wow. That's probably that crowd we misdirected. Oh, what happened here? Didn't even realize that was a zombie. Walked right into her. I think she was facing the other way. But there's only a handful up here on the road. Let's take them out. It's got a machete. Nice. Got a straggler. Uh, not taking kitchen knives right now. I mean, we're not really tired yet. I would like to get some some rested though. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and pull it next to this thing, so that they can't they can't reach the window. All right, that got rid of uh, most of the fatigue, but not all. That helped a little bit. Let's see where that big crowd is. Maybe we can start working on that. It's kind of not really a good idea to do that at night though. But we may not have a choice. Maybe what else are we going to do right now? Alright, I only wanted a handful of these guys. We got a whole army full. Yeah, that's probably not advisable. I figured out. Just one of our night things down, night six. Now the problem is I don't know where we can retreat to safely. Looks like this fine. This place is fine. That wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be, and the thing is, we're getting a decent amount of light-footed and sneaking. 
These groups are so big. Let's deal with this one first. It's kind of migrating over this way anyways. Right, but they don't seem to all be going at once. Yeah, they're kind of trickling in. This is perfect. Alright, I think that's actually everybody for that group. Oh, wow. Get one tapped. Oh, I think we can get in the police station safely now, at least. But I might want to wait till just maybe another hour or two till it brightens up a bit. It's still a little dark. One at a time, I guess. Nice, we got one with a shoddy and a magnum. No ammunition, unfortunately. So let's put the heavy things. Anything that's like two and above, we'll throw in there. I don't really want to carry it in the backpacks. We'll take a new backpack soon, though. Right, it's starting to get bright enough. I think we can probably go in. Let's just double check. <laughs> that group makes me a little bit nervous. If they migrate over and we're in there and they see us, could be pretty bad. You know, we need the XP anyways. This guy might have some decent stuff in his backpack. Nope, it's empty. I don't really want to collect any more buffers. I feel safe about going in now. This should be fine. Oh, boy. Well, yeah, it is what it is. We gotta try and go in. They're starting to come in. Yeah, jeez. I heard something. Oh, it's probably... Yeah, it's probably who I heard. I was gonna say, I heard something crawling around when I was looting. It's fine. Let's just go deal with the, the group. I don't feel, I don't feel good about it. Okay, and we can't back up down that way. We gotta go parking lot. Otherwise we'll pick up some more people. Still got a few more. Like I keep hearing stuff behind me, but then there's nothing there. I don't know if that's me or the game. Right, I saw some other stuff over here we need to loot. Yeah, walkie talkie. Oh nice. Got a hand axe. Hunting knife, yeah, I think we took that. Alright, there's only a handful left. I think we're good. Let's just go inside, try and get what we can from here. So we got VHS, we hit the police, we need to go to the bookstore. In the previous episode, we brought another car back to the base. Continued leveling farming, found a new trapping zone deep in the forest, went to our existing trapping base to collect the animals, traveled to a new town and dealt with a horde. We went to the VHS store for tapes and the police station for ammunition. Revolver, another nightstick. Definitely take that. Oh boy. Here's all this stuff. There's no way we fit all this. Let's go get another backpack. Let's take two backpacks now. I think we're fine. Most of the, the big fighting's done. What am I doing? Jeez, I'm not even paying attention. I just walked past it. I was looking at my inventory. Alright, back to the police station. Actually, I think the bookstore's right there too, so we need to go up there anyways. It's too much for one backpack. Right, we're kind of overburdened, which is not ideal. Let's get the computer disassembled real quick. So we'll, we'll toss the heavy backpack in the trunk. We'll go to the bookstore. Maybe we'll fight a few more. And then uh, look to get back. Ideally, we get back around, I don't know, as it's getting dark. I don't want to get back too early because then we'll just sit around there. We could easily be getting more XP. 
if we do stuff here. It's gonna go ahead and even get magazines in the, the mailbox. Like the, the actual post office mailbox. Alright, we need to get in there. Holy crap. Alright. What do we got going on here? Nothing. Something. Let's not go that way. We'll just drag him out this way. He's got a nightstick and a shotgun. Don't want to pass it up. Was a long one let's sit down for a sec make sure we have stamina looting all these guys is gonna be tough because i don't know who's new and people we already got like did we go down here i don't remember i don't think so i think we stopped right here but maybe not oh here we go double dismantles Is the one I was looking at. So a shotgun and a nightstick. We, we've already got a couple spares. I don't think we need to hold that one. I think we got to break in. Nice. Nobody's here. So we're only looking for tier 5. Do we have tier 5 farming? Shoot. We might already have that one, but let's just take it just in case. Mechanics. Do not have that one for sure. Alright, that's a big find. We got more coming. Yep. Yeah, a lot of these I'm pretty sure we already have. I'm just worried I might have mm, accidentally marked some of these wrong, but like I did with farming four. I don't think so. At least we picked up mechanics. I think we're only short one, one or two books now. That's pretty good. All right, just double check the map. I don't think there's much else we can do here. We could go look into dismantle stuff or. We didn't bring the blowtorch, so it's probably not going to be that fruitful, I guess. Uh, we could fight a few more of these crowds. Probably not a bad idea since we're here. Keep the skills sharp. PM, we should probably head out maybe in the next two hours or so. We definitely don't want to overstay or welcome here. Oh, that's boarded up. That is boarded up. Probably worth checking out. Yeah, let's clear away. If there's good weapons there, we still have room. We can definitely take it. Is that anyways a barn or something? Doesn't look like there's too many zombies around. So assuming we can get a decent entry point, I think we'll be alright. All right, let's circle the building just to be safe. Some police over there might want to take them out. Jeez. Yeah, there's a lot in there. Ordered everything up. So we can unbarricade. Now this is starting to get a little bit scary. There's one way in, one way out. 
So if you get in overheads, we're in pretty big trouble. Now I would assume all the good stuff in here, but I don't see anything. Quite a spear sticking out. Spear with knife. Yeah, I'm not seeing any good loot here. This might be a trap. Where, where, I mean, where else would they keep it? There's a dining room. It's fine. There's only four in here. We'll just check it. But yeah, I think this was a bus. Oh, there's a crate in the corner. Maybe it's that. I mean, it's better than nothing. It's a shotgun with 18 shells. But yeah, I was expecting a lot more than that. What are you hiding? High end camera. It's better than nothing. Right, it is almost six. We need to head back. Find a little snack to take, but they don't. They got nothing. Oh, we're tired already. Shoot. I think we're still okay, though. Yeah, our attacks are a lot weaker now. Alright, let's start driving and gotta get out of here. We actually have a pretty sizable crowd coming, so let's just. I don't wanna fight that. Let's just get out. We are out. Now we gotta try and get back without crashing. Alright, we are on the road. Oh, let's slow down. This is where I mess it up, so I think we just slow it down. Take it nice and easy. Seems like the slower you go, the less likely they are to hear you and, and turn into you before you're there. Maybe that's why I was having such an issue less. Like now I'm just trying to get momentum and as soon as I get in range I just stop. I uh, not stop, but I, I let off the gas and let it coast and then the car seems pretty quiet. Can't do anything about that one unfortunately. Is either him or the car. Oh man, did not mean to hit that one. Thought I was getting out of the way in time. So we hit two zombies, it's not that bad. Zombies aren't as bad as hitting trees and cars and stuff. Yeah, we didn't even use this stupid thing. All right, all the loot's up. We gotta sort through it all now. Yeah, pretty happy with the, the weapons and stuff. We got at least one more book, so it's not like a complete loss. It's tough because, you know, the odds of finding any one book or two books is pretty slim. It looks like our pistol, um, pistol container's full. So why don't we separate these into revolvers? Uh, we'll do it later. It's fine. Right, we can place the shells in a box. It's actually 24. Yep. 45 rounds. Look like it was about 30. So for this one, let's go ahead and drop it and get the next one. Got a lot of ammo on that round. That was a good one. All right, there's another backpack down. It is just past 12. We should be able to get all these unloaded and sorted for maybe before two or three all right moment of truth so farming and mechanics farming we have farming five already mechanics we did not have oh no we saw foraging five there i know for for sure i saw that wait do i have it in my main i don't crap we could have gotten it we need foraging and cooking five we've got everything else man that's disappointing i messed up all right, we'll, we'll put this one on the floor, use it for starting a fire next. Running out of space. We gotta have another one. Well, we still have a little bit of room on the bottom. We got 16 box of shells. We're gonna be able to level uh, aiming very, very easily. And then of course we got a huge amount of these VCR, uh, VHS. So many, but we'll definitely need to be watching these soon. We need to eat something. Let's just, let's grab one of our dishes, let it defrost. All right, I think I finally got it. Let's see. This all looks good. There's nothing left there. Yep, I think we're here. finally unpacked. All right, we're pretty tired. A lot of other stuff going on. Let's just sleep first. We'll deal with everything else later. I think that looks pretty good. So we've got Nimble to 3, 357. Short blunt, almost halfway there. Right, I think we should probably check the traps today. I think it's been enough time. Okay. Calories are too high to eat right now, so let's just wait a little bit. We'll smoke. Let's go check the 
the close by one first. Actually, that these are all good. We probably need to plant another row. I think it's been a while. Right, we gotta water them as well. Alright, there we go. Everything's watered. So let's fill everything back up. But not our water bottles. Now these are... No, oh, they're not ready to harvest actually. Yeah, one more stage and we'll have that. Oh yeah. Check the generator. I think we just checked it though. Yeah. Fine. Grab ourselves some water and head out. But let's do some sprinting. We rarely do that. Oh, I should have brought... I should have brought more bait. Let's go... Yeah, let's actually go back and get it. I want to rebait everything if we have... If, if anything's been taken. Do we have fresh cabbage? Oh, we still have fresh cabbage. Oh no, these are the ones that are chewed up. And then... Cabbage has gone off already. Or it's stale, so can't use that. We got 18 frozen carrots, but we're going to need more than that. We'll grab a couple cabbage. Right, and our sprinting is at 369. Let's see where we're at. Running around today. Doesn't look like there's any zombies around. Nice, we got... Oh, wow, we got a lot. Holy crap. And did we lose another trap? Yeah, we did. They're starting to break. That's fine, though. I mean, they only last so long and you gotta replace them, but... We got, uh... We got plenty of materials to rebuild them. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven. Jeez. We may not even have room for all the rabbits. And we need, um, We need this stuff to... To defrost still. Alright, that's one level. We have the XP multiplier for one more still, so... Well, maybe we get it all in one go. That'd be really nice. No, there's no way. Yeah, it's gonna take a while still. Wow. So we have eight rabbits. Which weighs almost ten. Well, we're definitely not hurting for food. Right, let's use the carrots first. Actually, we lost a couple traps, so I think 18 is enough. Started with 22. Some of these still have their bait as well. I'm wondering why we got so many this time, and then all the other times we'd only get one or two. I'm wondering... No, it's not because we left it for so long, because we were doing that before. We leave it for like three or four days. Alright, these two can go in the backpack. These will throw down and compost. Well, we got one level plus a little more than a third of the next level. So I think what we're doing is is probably going to level up pretty quick, especially if we're doing it times two. You know, the 20 traps there, 20 traps here. A little overboard, but we'll definitely have food for winter. And we might need to get another generator running. I'm not too concerned about blowing through um, the fuel, but I am a little bit concerned about having to remember to refuel it more often. Because that's definitely something that I struggle with sometimes. Right, let's, let's deal with the rabbits. Let's butcher them all. That's quite a bit of XP too. We got almost 400 XP for that. On uh, cooking XP, I mean. Yeah, we're, we're moving up on that. Right, we can fit it all, just barely. But that's 16, <laughs> 16 rabbits. That's like several months worth of, worth of supplies. So I don't think we need to worry about food for quite a while. So we have one container just for produce maybe one for meat and then the probably want another one for prepared meals so i think three would actually be okay yeah i uh yeah i don't know if we actually need it but probably should do it do we have any more carrots no we used up all the carrots we've only got these two so let's take eight with us plus the two carrots and then we'll we'll resupply that other one the other uh hunting outposts that we have trapping yeah we the wood we can replace easily the nails we have uh, 1300 nails so we're not running out anytime soon the one thing i'm curious about though like if we were to do a no you know only foraging no loot allowed how would we get nails i guess we would have to forge and finding a box of nails probably going to take a very long time but it's it's definitely doable and then it, it comes down to, is it worth it to spend money on the trap or spend the money on your base? Because, you you know, you can only use so many nails. And then also the nails that you do have should last a long time if you're doing the actual base. But the traps will wear out pretty quickly. So you, you're going to have, that's, you know, something that's consumed. And you probably won't get most of it back. Let's actually, 
Let's actually pause here. Clear this out. That's kind of a lot. And there's some on that side too. pretty hard. You know what I'm thinking? I'm kind of curious. Oh no, I was going to say we need to check all the bodies anyways, but if we have a watch on our person, like if we do this and we hover over the dismantle without checking, having to check the bodies, it should say there's more than one in the area. Just as like a quick way to say, okay, there's like, for example, I, I we haven't checked these. I don't know. This should say dismantle. Yeah, it does work actually. So we would have to have one of each item to be able to check, but then that would, we would avoid having to go in one by one. Just trying to think of ways to speed up, you know, looting bodies a little bit. It's the only thing we really care about. Well, no, that's not true because we want to, now we need to check the bodies. I was going to say we need to find other stuff too, but yeah, you can see here, there is definitely a watch. So it does work, but then finding stuff like this, like we're going to want the lighter, we're going to want the pink. Well, the painkiller is not really a big deal. But the lighter is a big deal. That's the only way we can get that resource back. Where are you going, dude? Alright, well, that was pretty successful. Let's see if we can drag these. Yeah, we want to drag all these. Should be a sign up here. Not too far. Yeah, actually, we need to stop right here. And by the time we deal with these two, we should be able to Take care of the other. Oh, no, I didn't want that. Well, we can just test, test my little theory here. Sticks almost done. Yeah, that should be good. Let's see if there's any. There's still some stragglers. I guess we'll pick them up next time. It is 5:40, so we gotta get a move on. All right there, it is right there. So it's pretty easy to see off the highway, at least. Oh, nice. There's a zombie here, and it didn't even buy. Oh no, they what? How are they able to attack that? So apparently they can attack stuff that's off the ground somehow. That doesn't make any sense. How are they able to clear that? There's a bunch of our traps that got destroyed it looks like. That's frustrating, man. So we lost three traps. Well, on the bright side, it does work. But on the downside, that's not a good return. So do we build a fence around it? I mean, geez. what the heck? How did they get up here? Maybe if there's no structure. Well, let's, let's get these rabbits out. So we got three. And my assumption is these other three were actually successful. Oh, crap. He's going to attack something. Let's go down. We took a little bit of leg damage here because we had to drop down. Over, well, overburdened, but not much about it. So let's rebate. Yeah, I'm more just trying to find a good way to, you know, sustainability. The whole point of putting it off the floor is to be sustainable. So there's just kind of... You know, why go through all that effort if it's not going to work anyways, but... Alright, we're experimenting. I think... What if... Hmm. What if we put walls around the whole thing? We put stuff for them to attack on the bottom floor? Maybe they'll leave the stuff up top alone? I don't know. Alright, we got everything. Now, I did leave a bunch of stuff behind last time. A bunch of tree branches and whatnot. Let's grab all that. We'll leave the planks. Actually, you know what? 
um, we have some nails on us. Let's just build. I think we don't have any nails, but at least we'll put one down and see if we can test our theory. Yeah, we can come back later and try and fortify the area, but man, that's not that good. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that we caught some stuff. That's not a bad thing, but... Losing three traps on the first... Yeah, on our first go is not ideal. Let's see if we can attract some of these guys over to the road, so next time we buy, they'll be easier to catch. Yeah, we'll deal with them later. And we got our cook time up quite a bit. We're at 70 hours now. Let's cut these rabbits up. We have a little bit of room left. I think we can fit them. No, oh, we can't. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we're really full. We'll try and keep all the rabbits in one. So we can fit just under 20 rabbits in one freezer container. Our crops are all doing okay. Oh, we get more rotten stuff. Actually, I need to add that in. And then these, these half yeah, the cabbages that were chopped up a little bit. Uh, oh yeah, this is a lot. We may not be able to fit all this. So it might make sense to build a second compost. Oh, it just barely fits. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna need another compost bin. I don't think we have any any boards. No, we used them all. So we can do that soon. Chop some trees down. Also wanna start making some of these spears. So we, we're just, we have way too many of these. Question is, what knife do we use? I'd like to use all the bad ones. Kitchen knife. I don't want to use the cleaver. I think we have some cleavers in here. Yeah, meat cleaver. We'll leave that one alone. So if we grab kitchen knives, bread knife, butter knife. Let's see if we can craft them all. Did we? Oh yeah, we got two overburdened. All right, let's toss these down. Do it again. That seems to be... Oh, what did we gain a level of? Probably carpentry. Yeah, we got that maxed. All right, we're good. I was going to say, that seems to be a good usage for these these knives, because the kitchen knives are terrible in combat. But it seems like it takes the same amount. Like, a, a kitchen knife can craft just about as many spears as some of the other ones. So, yeah, bread knife, butter knife, we could probably use those. And we don't get XP anymore because we are maxed. There we go. So we get a healthy, healthy amount of spears. We used a bunch of our kitchen knives. We, we busted through eight kitchen knives to do that. Actually, now it would not be a bad idea to start. We can start working on leveling that up. Wait, is that, let's say 18 nightsticks? 11. Yeah, I read it wrong, but it's still a lot. Let's put all this stuff down and then we'll, we'll go work on leveling our spear. We can carry 15 of these things. That makes us just a little bit overburdened, but we have a lot of kitchen knives we need to throw in the trash, so once we get rid of those, then we'll be fine. So we could, I don't know how many zombies we'll get per spear, but even if it's only a handful, we got so many spears on us. All right, out we go. 5 a.m., we should be able to get on the road. I think what we'll do is spend time clearing out the road, because we're going to be going on that quite a bit. My biggest concern there is we are going to be... We're going to be going by, by our hunting ground. It's going to disable the... If we go near it. 75 tiles. Actually, if we turn right, we should be okay. okay. I guess that's one of the nice things about not having it right on the... You know, the path that you're going to be taking. Kind of slightly off-center. Right, that didn't damage the spear. And we have... What is our spear? It's, oh, jeez. So it's basically 100 kills for one level. Yeah, we got a long way to go. They're not even paying attention. All right, what about the gas station? It's still pretty much clear. Actually, what I'm gonna do, let's, let's just park here. We can get some damage in here. Come on, this way, this way, this way. I wanna get them off the blacktop. Get a crowbar on her. That's that's pretty nice. Yeah, this thing is starting to degrade pretty fast. 
crowbar and it's it's in very good shape right, we may need to any of this loot we might actually need to keep it in the trunk let's keep some of our spears in there too yeah we only need maybe two or three at a time then we can come back for it yeah that's fine we'll keep four there one on our back and then we'll have a little bit of room i think we could probably get a little bit of forging done too yeah why don't we do this i i really want to go to that town i oh you know what this is the wrong way we need to go down Maybe we can get there from here, it's just inefficient. Better to go south. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll head south instead. But we at least cleared the way to our hunting ground. I love the attack speed on this thing, even though it's we're only level zero. And I think we should collect the screwdrivers. The short, uh, it's pretty good for short blade. Oh, nice, what is this? So we can, oh, it's just a fence. We can just dis, uh, dismantle it. Yeah, it's fine. Let's go back to the truck. We'll go south. We'll spend a day or two clearing out the path that way. Man, there's gotta be a hotkey to enable search mode. I'm gonna look that up because that's really annoying to have to go down there and click it. I'll go search mode and what? <laughs> Why would you ever? That is, that button is so far away from your your uh, WASD. Why the hell would you do that? All right, what is Q, what about Q? What does Q do? Q is for your horn. That's right. Okay, we don't want that. Yeah, X is important. Snake's important. Would V? That's important. All right, tab is talking about. I don't even remember. I don't think I've used that. What about the tilde key? That's kind of hard to reach, actually. I wish you could tell you could map stuff to your mouse. That would be huge. I don't have anything for caps lock. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, that's so much easier. <laughs> I should have done that hours and hours and hours ago. Yeah, because it's getting stuck in and out of, you know, combat and then having to turn it on. I just sometimes it just didn't do it because it was kind of a pain. Now, tab, what does tab do? I don't know what tab does. It says toggle menu, but it, maybe we have to... No, I don't know. No, oh, I discarded it. I did not mean to do that. One more thing I forgot to look at. So, for aim... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of the toggle survival guide because that doesn't really help. So if I, if I just turn this on, I don't have to hold... The aim button right and then if i yeah that's really nice all right cool actually can you go fast with that oh it disables i was gonna see if you could speed it up that'd be really nice yeah it disables the the faster time did we lose our glasses again are you serious i think we did let's wear these all right let's go south so we're gonna have to take the route near the Police and fire station, and that one's always congested. We gotta eat soon, let's just do it now. Oh, I'm surprised it's actually pretty clear. Right, let's spend some time here. These these are all gonna end up in our road for sure. Just be with them now. Alright, spear went bye-bye. Let's switch to the one on our back. a new one on our back and i'm thinking it, it's worth it to pull you know what i might do let's just let's just yell it's kind of annoying having to draw everybody in manually actually didn't even that gunshot did i was gonna say the yelling didn't even pull these people in oh the gunshot pulled them down all right so they're actually gonna go that way In the previous episode, we went to the bookstore and found a mechanics book. We looted a boarded up house, checked traps in both trapping zones, and went back to the fire station area. That's fine, we'll let him go. 
How are we doing on spear? We're actually almost there. It's just kind of a lot. Let's pull him back with a, a horn beep. Alright, let's use the fence. There's a level in spear. Right, we're getting a pretty big group here. This is kind of scary, actually. starting to come in from the backside. Wow, that horn, that horn pulled him in from everywhere. What well, was just, I guess we just keep going along the fence and then we can go back on the other side too. Let's get another one on the back. Wow, that old, okay, that's maybe not a good idea, that horn. Because that's a lot. Okay, let's... I guess let's start yelling. We'll pull them into the fire station. And see if we can maybe section them out into smaller groups. Yeah, because this, this is too many. That was a pretty healthy amount. Let's get them kind of grouped up. And then we'll pull them into the fire station. What we're going to do is let's run through here. They're going to be kind of st stuck going through there. And then we can pull some of these out the backside. We should have a pretty clear, pretty clear path here without the whole squad. Holy crap, I broke already. Yeah, it's very RNG dependent, it looks like. Sometimes they last a long time. Sometimes not at all. Let's eat. We'll throw another spear on the back. It's only 12. We have plenty of time. Oh, we don't have stamina. Yeah, we need to we need to chill for a sec. Alright, let's catch our breath by oddly smoking. <laughs> Makes no sense, but alright, and turns us back up. Let's start drawing out small groups. Yeah, it looks like a lot of them are probably inside still. That's good. Where did where did they come from? What the heck? We were literally just there. And there's a fence that they can't jump over. I'm wondering if they were on the backside. Let's pull a small group out. Yep, there's more coming. see us through the window. Yeah. This might be a bigger group than we want to take on. No, it's okay. We're getting it. Right, 
Nobody else coming. Well, two hunting knives. We got three hunting knives out of this these two groups. So far and at least there's still a lot in there. We gotta throw this on our back. We probably need to go pick up some more spears. We're almost out. And these guys, I don't want to fight them. I want to throw them on the floor. Yeah. It, it seems like the spear doesn't do too well against the heavy armor. Yeah, look at that. It's doing like almost nothing. Let's eat the last of our lunch. We get a mate to our truck. So let's save a little bit of our spears here. Almost level. Well, we're halfway to level two. Not almost, but close enough. All right, we are pulling a few. They're kind of coming piecemeal, so that should help. How come? Yeah, I don't know why. Sometimes it does the one hit. Sometimes it doesn't. It's. It almost seems like the coding is on the zombie, not not the attack. Like I mean, no matter how many times I back up and, and try and set it up, it just doesn't work against certain ones. There's another one down. We're on our last one. It does work. Okay, never mind. It's just typical RNG stuff. I don't think we had a chance to check any of these. Right, we were running. So let's spend a few minutes. Another group. Holy crap. Let's get some spears out of the trunk. We only have time to grab one. We gotta equip. Yeah, we just grabbed one out of the trunk. Grab a few more and then let's let's go clear out the rest of the fire station. Almost level two. And our maintenance is six. I'm sure that's helping quite a bit. Oh well. Wow. Whoops. I should have zoomed out. That's a big group. for a sec. I don't think we're going to get much more than the fire station done today. I think we're going to have to we'll clear this out. We'll come back again tomorrow and clear the road out. Oh, that's not good. Wow, that happened fast. Nice. And we got electrical off of that. Cool. We got a CD that we didn't have yet. This has been very fruitful. Alright, there's a sandwich. I'm assuming it's rotten. Yep. <laughs> you gotta you gotta check, you never know. I mean it's been what three, four months since the outbreak, so highly doubt a zombie made a sandwich while he was a zombie. Oh wow. Broke another one. Right, let's see how many are stuck inside. There's probably still a good amount. Yep. Let's make a little noise. You know, I'm wondering... I think it might have to do with their proximity to other zombies. It, it doesn't seem to happen when they're by them 
it, it doesn't seem to happen when they're grouped up with a bunch of others. Yeah, like this one is too close to somebody else. It doesn't really seem to happen. It doesn't proc. on our last two. So many keys. Yeah, unfortunately it's not going to do it because the guy on the floor, even though the one's on the floor, it counts and so it doesn't proc. There's another one, so we're on our last two more keys. Why are there so many keys? I just getting late. It's about six, almost six thirty. We use up what we have. We should probably get going sooner, it is getting late. Right, nothing on the duffel. And somebody's banging their head, I think that's upstairs though. Oh boy, that was quite the ordeal. So, we went through quite a few spears. We got spear up to level two and then a little bit into three. But we did a pretty good job de um, I don't know what you call it. <laughs> De-zombifying the area. We basically hold the zombies in this area. So now when we want to go to the next town, I think we'll have an easier time. We could also start fishing because this is the way to the fishing route. I know we were almost doing it last time, but decided not to. Oh, well, never mind. We got a big group here. Might actually have to pull out the hunting knife to finish these off. That's it. Do we have any others? No, we don't. Alright, we gotta use the hunting knife. Well, that was that was a lot of spears that we went through there. You know, one thing I did forget to do is turning these things into weapons by, you know, putting a knife or whatever on the end. I should have done that. That was stupid. Okay, 8.30. It's time to go home. Another group, dude. We just cleared this whole area. And there's another giant... I don't say gigantic, but... It's definitely not an insignificant group. But well, we know what we're doing tomorrow. Okay, the combat grind is going to be the longest. So I don't I don't mind taking breaks from the other stuff to, to do those. Uh, let's check our trunk. I can't remember if we had anything left in there. Oh, we still have some spears, actually. Let's grab that and our crowbar. And let's go see if we can craft some improvised spears. Yeah, if we... Because I've never really messed with spears until this... Was, I mean, I've used, like, one or two. But not really on a on a significant scale, so I don't know that much about them. Other than they break really fast. We got 19 from that group. So 19 watches. And again, so almost 20, it's about 5 each. Yeah, so about 100 XP, which isn't bad. We did get one level of electrical. We, we're going to need another 3,000 to get the next one. But I mean, it's I, I would say it's pretty passive, right? We're not doing anything we wouldn't normally do anyways. So how do we craft these? It's duct tape. Uh, so you need duct tape then. 
Now I don't want to I don't want to use anything that we need. Like I don't mind using these crappy ones, so like the bread knife, butter knife, fork, hand fork. We don't want to use the hunting knife because that's pretty good. We'll need that for a short blade. Ice pick, kitchen knife, that's fine. And you can even do the screwdriver, that's kind of nice. Although we'll probably do the screwdrivers. And the spoon. <laughs> so funny. Alright, bread knife, butter knife. Let's try those. Let's see how they do. I know we've got a bunch of them over here. And we need a lot of duct tape, it looks like. And we have... Oh, we already have some, actually. But they're kind of busted. Okay, attach. Bread knife, butter knife. I don't think it really matters. Just do them all. We'll do the butter knife for these other ones. We get a couple spare butter knives left. Yeah, the thing that I want to find out is how much HP they have relative to the regular spears. If they last a lot longer, then we'll start collecting these. Interesting. So they have... These are brand new. Those spears are all brand new, but they have different values of uh, HP left. So there's... I would imagine there's a little bit of RNG involved in that. So let's equip one. We'll put one on the back. Oh, it's frozen. Shoot. Oops. Oh, whatever. Okay, we can check on our um, our crops up, up top. Let's go do that. And we got some rotten carrots. Let's throw those in. And cabbage. Yeah, we got compost we can take out. It's at 12%. Let's go grab some. And what I want to do is I want to save up a chunk of these compost bags. Only got one. We need to go grab some more. Actually, we can go we can go to the supermarket real quick. Let's just go grab nuts right up there. So I want to stash a bunch of them. Just in case we run into a, a rough patch. Oh, what happened? Let's equip this again. Yeah, just in case we run into a rough patch, it'd be nice to have them ready to go so that we can quickly get the veggies out quicker. And I think they produce more. So, get a little sprinting. I literally can't see anything. There we go. There's the sacks. Okay, we can fill our compost with those. So, we got six more sacks. Let's just let's run with that. We are starting to get tired, so this perfect timing. We'll sleep, wake up a little earlier. I think we'll let the traps go for another day. Let's spend one more day clearing out, and then we'll we'll go hunt. Now, our, this compost is pretty full, actually. Yeah, it's full. All right, let's go put this back down. We're getting a pretty nice stack of worms. We got 43. It, when it's time to spam out the fishing levels, we can. We've got all the bait. We can do it pretty quickly. Oh, the sacks. I forgot. Let's put the sacks up top. Dinner 72. We're fine. Let's just leave it. Yeah, I think I think maybe we don't need another one, but I want another one. And the faster that uses fuel and, and damages itself by running, the, the more electrical XP we'll get. So I don't mind it too much. We have well, just about infinite gasoline at this point. Right, let's do it. Here we go. We are three months nine days in. Yeah, that's right. We're going to round up three months, nine days in. Skills are looking pretty healthy. Farming is almost there. We're, we're going to have to probably read that last book soon. Actually, can we see from here? It's nice that you can just mouse over and it'll tell you <laughs> from down here. That's how good this guy is at farming. His plants tell him telepathically how they are. Oh, come on. Don't be shy. Oh, it already went down. <laughs> Not a good start. Yeah, on the very first attack, it, it lost durability. That's one thing I should have looked at. It, does it affect the durability and the damage? One or the other or both? I definitely should have should have taken a note on that. Although I'm sure there's like a thousand guides on this already. I can just look it up. Right, this thing hits hard. Or we just got lucky, maybe. Kitchen knife, you know, let's take the kitchen knife now. And the butter knife, and we'll, we'll attach those to the spears. The other thing is, I, I know I've been collecting most everything, but really got to start getting the uh, the duct tape. That's going to be pretty important. Okay, this thing is, is surviving pretty well, actually, I think. Maybe this is a good idea to do that. Yeah, using the naked spear is probably not a good idea. But there's still quite a few here. Well, here we go again. Okay, let's... Oh, it just broke. 
Let's go and smoke real quick. Doesn't seem to change much on this one anyways. This is what the butter knife? Yeah. And then when it breaks, reclaim screwdriver. Oh, okay, so it's the... Now the screwdriver breaks. The crafted spear is still there. That's interesting. So we can still use that. We'll throw it in the in the backpack. So maybe it doesn't make a difference to the durability. You use the durability of both at the same time. I'm not really sure. Okay, I don't see too much else. There's a couple over there. There's one right here. Let's go get our truck. I mean, it's only 8 a.m. We still got a long way to go. Looks like our cabbage went bad on us. It's all right. We got plenty of food. And the, the unhappiness and boredom doesn't really matter. We're out fighting. We're outside and we're fighting. We'll clear that up right away. It's kind of a weird mechanic, right? It doesn't really do that much. I guess it's one of those things where when you have a good setup, it does literally nothing, but maybe if you're like being chased and it's just all that stuff's just stacking up, maybe it's a bigger deal then. I want to down these in a spot. We don't have to check all the bodies again because it's kind of a pain sifting through all the bodies that we already looted. There's another one. Alright, let's see what happens with this. So we'll reclaim. Yeah, it's the butter knife. The spear still has a little bit of durability on it. Man, this looks like a massacre happened here. I technically it did, but they were already dead, so I don't know if that counts. So we want to clear the road out down here to the main road. I don't know if I want to honk my horn again. It's hard to say if this thing's last longer, just with this. It, it, it seems like it does help a little bit because the durability is, is being shared between the two, for, if I had to guess. More. Come on out. There you go. It seems like it would last about as long as it does now, but then when you reclaim, you at least get a little bit, like a little less than half of a spear left. So, it seems like it's still decent. The only casualty there is the duct tape, so we got to really stock up on duct tape. I don't know how much we have and how much you use for each spear that you craft, because I think there's a certain amount of units in each duct tape. Now this is going to be a mess if we just leave it. They're going to keep streaming out and messing with us, so I think what we'll do is let's clean all this up. Bunch of usable things here, at least. Here we go. I forgot to put another one on our back. Let's do that real quick. Pretty good performance here. I, I yeah, I don't think using the, um, I don't know what you call it, the raw spear. I don't think the raw spear is a good idea. Yeah, I, I will say this quite a bit easier fighting with spears. It, it, the tricky part is managing the distance. I'm still kind of figuring out my range, like a, a reasonable range to stay at. 
I notice a lot of times I'll move in too close and I'll I'll be in a push range, which uses durability as well. So it's it's really really inefficient. It, it seems like pushing with the spear is like the worst, absolute worst case scenario. This one. Let's reclaim. Yeah, same thing. The spear is still usable. I don't know if it makes sense to do another one though, like attach it, because we're going to use duct tape for it. So we might just use um, use the rest of it, almost like a... <laughs> reminds me of Warren Buffett. He's talking about companies. They call them used cigar butts. So these are like used cigar butt weapons. So maybe you get a puff or two and then you... You're done with them. So I think those spears will probably just use them as that. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll experiment and see if, if it's decent to... Oh, wow. I saw another crowbar. We gotta get it. Uh, let's... We'll loot all these in a sec, I think. Let's go make some space. We'll go drop this backpack off and get a new one. It'd be kind of nice if they had something that was a little more sustainable. Wait, what happened to our backpacks? What the heck happened to all the backpacks? Did I? Oh, you know what? I think they're still on the floor. Yeah, that's my fault. I think they're still on the floor of the upstairs. That's fine. Man, this this place turned into a mess. I was thinking about making a base in here, but oh, what am I doing? What do I have equipped? A letter opener. I don't want a letter opener. There we go. It's like the the peasants' way of a fight, man. We gotta attach that thing to a stick. All right, letter opener. So we can eat too. Yep, there's a crowbar. Nice. All right, that don't, I don't really want to go through there. Yeah, I, I noticed we were getting like 0.7 something XP per hit. And then now that we're using this weapon, with the attachment, it's giving us a little bit more XP because your XP is tied to your damage. That's probably the easiest way to tell how much damage you're doing. I mean, yeah, you can just look at the stat. That's sometimes it's a little hard to tell by looking at that. Right, we got a pretty healthy bunch here. But we should be fine. Alright, we're running out of real estate, so we're going to have to... Step in. Is that it? Wow, this thing shreds these. I'm really impressed. Yeah, I don't... I makes you wonder why you would use any other weapon. I mean, yeah, we're going to use them all right now because that's just what this run is. But moving forward, it's like, why would you even bother? Uh, we'll grab that propane tank on the way back. Let's loot. Oh, crap. Why did I do that? We just ate a bunch of chocolate. Hey, we're kind of close to the... <laughs> yeah. We're gonna... Uh, we may not get overweight. We just gotta chill out on the food for a little bit. Oh, I saw something over here. He's being lazy, though. Oh, well. That broke right away. I thought we still had some life left in it. Nothing we don't need in there. Crap. Just wanted to deal with this TV real quick, man. Leave me alone. Let's definitely take this back with a propane tank. This Pretty huge. There's probably still some zombies over here in the main uh, lumber yard. Okay, let's do with these. Yeah, we're we're gonna get attacked here. Orc. Uh, do we even want to bother? No, I mean we're we're stooping as low as the the butter knife. <laughs> The butter knife and the bread knife. I think we'll we'll keep it there. Let's not go for forks. 
Uh, there might still be some more in there. That's fine. We'll leave them. If they make their way out, we'll get them eventually. Let's keep making some progress south because it's already it's almost five. That took so long. Oh, hello. Massive crowd. In the previous episode, we cleared hordes around the fire station, started using spears for combat, and cleared out more hordes along the road and the storage facility. There you go, this should be a good one. Are we gonna have to switch here soon? Yep. We got people coming from behind. Wait, what did I do? No, I didn't want to switch to my... <laughs> I switched to my lighter on accident. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and throw one of these on the back as well, because this thing's... There's no way this survives this fight. We're going to need another one. All right, got to manage this. It's a little better than that. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, that didn't last. Not at all. Oh, don't push, man. Don't push. This poor little bread knife can't handle it. No, don't push. Jeez. Oh, what the heck? Alright. So we blew through, what, three or four spears there? We got a nice line here that we need to loot on the way back. Actually, we are getting a little bit fatigued. Let's, um, let's not run. Spear of a screwdriver. Oh, wow. He's got a good one on him. Or in him. I did not notice that. Definitely put that to use. There's a few more over there. I think maybe we can do one or two more small crowds and then we'll call it a day. Now one issue is going to be the duct tape where I, I don't know that I've ever seen duct tape on a zombie as loot. So I, th I think we're going to need quite a bit of that stuff. Let's yell, see if we can get a few more. The yell is not that bad. It's the, the horn and there's the gunshots that, that pull them from, well, and the house alarms that pull them from really far distance. Oh, yeah, we're over. We gotta reclaim all these. Let's get them back. And let's go toss these on the floor. Alright, I see some more down there. Let's just walk. Well, let's take a quick. Quick rest. We haven't looked at our nimble in a while. We're almost a third of the way to the next one. Okay, come on. Yeah, I think that the trick is to attack right before they come into range. Because by the time your animation's done, they are in range. And if they're in your range already, there's a big chance that they're going to be in pushing range. Oh, there goes another one. Nice is a spear level, I'm assuming. Yep, this one's spear. Well, I think it's pretty clear that um, it, it either does more damage or it saves a little bit. I think maybe the it's the durability. It uses some durability of the spear, but I think it mostly relies on the durability of the attachment. I'm not sure if it's a combination of the two, though. But it's certainly better than not having, for sure. Yeah, use, using them naked or whatever you want to call it, not the best. All right, we still have a little bit of daylight. Let's... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Maybe this, was, this might have been a bad idea. Jeez, that's a lot. Well, let's move back. Oh, nice. There's some, some cops, so we'll get nightsticks 
Maybe some pistols. Man, this thing hits fast. Alright, that one's done. This one should survive, no problem. Oh, there we go. Got a shoddy on that one. Got some nine mil and a shotgun on him. All right, we need to go back. We got a ton of loot. There we go. Another nightstick, pistol. Don't remember if I have a holster. Let's take one. I do want to get a double holster too, and then we'll just keep a couple of those. See a few more sneaking over here in the the woods. Let's pull them out. Let's call it a day. And we should have a clear path home. We spent all that time. Oh, what the heck? We got a straggler. Another straggler. Where are you going? He's going to where he first heard the sound. And we had already moved past his visual range by the time he turned, maybe? That's kind of weird. All right, parking lot looks clean. Let's go sleep. Well, we got a few things to deal with first, but we'll check our crops in the morning. I don't want to do it right now. Got some ammo in this shoddy. Same thing with a pistol. It just barely fits. So we have two, and then this one's 12 out of 60. We still have some room, actually. All right, we can make another shotgun shell box that puts us up to 17. We got like 20, almost, yeah, I think we got more than 25 watches on that. I, I see quite a bit, just a bunch of YouTube channels that make guys like, oh, don't bother with watches. It's like, come on, man. Makes a huge difference if you if you do it over time, you know? Because we're, we're getting 150 to 200 a day, and it's stuff that we're already doing anyways. We're going to be fighting. Now, I don't know if I want to attach these crappy ones. These are really bad quality. Actually, the butter knives are okay. The bread knife, not so much. Yeah, see, here's here's our backpacks. That's where they went. I just didn't pick them up. And these are all going to be... Yeah, these are all the busted spears. We'll, we'll probably experiment with it. We'll try it. Let's, we'll throw some stuff on there. Now, how many units are in a duct tape? We have 18 duct tape. Oh, boy, we have a lot. Let's reorganize this by the, the lowest first. Yeah, I don't say I don't think we need to worry about it, to be honest. We have a lot of duct tape. Uh, let's see what one spear does. So if we do, we'll attach a bread knife. It takes two units. What does our duct tape look like? So it's going to go from this to... I pulled one out of the backpack. Lovely. <laughs> I think... Did we have four? I think it used up the whole thing. Let's do it again. Let's do one at a time. Wait, what happened to the duct tapes? Boy, that actually uses a lot then, if that's what it's doing. Okay, yeah, we don't have enough. So they used all the duct tape for that. All right, well, duct tape's definitely at a premium now. Yeah, we're going to blow through that pretty fast. So maybe it makes sense to save it then. We'll, we'll do it on these spears. I just want to experiment and see what it does. Let's go kitchen knife. That one's that one should be half decent. All right, we need to eat something. Probably do that when we wake up, though. Hmm, is it time to check the traps? It probably is, but I, I want to keep clearing. We'll check the veggies, and then we'll... Oh, these are ready to go. We don't really have room for hardly any of these, but it's fine. So we need the XP. Another farming. Is that... I think we need one more. Yeah, we need to read the book now. 97 cabbage. It would take us a very long time to, to use all that. Even with traps. 
Let's top these two off because there should be a few in here. Yeah, we didn't really use that much though. I don't really want to stuff up the other side. We've got a bunch coming in, so let's just throw it out here to rot. We'll compost it. It doesn't really cost us anything to do that. We'll grab a couple just to have on the road. Now we did take some damage because of the overweight, but I think we'll heal up by the time we get to where we need to be. Now I do want to pick up that book before I forget, so let's grab farming. Farming 5. So we're almost maxed out on farming. Couple stragglers here. Wait, do you have the double? No, I didn't even have one. Gotta remember to put these backpacks back in. Oh, and we need to empty the trunk. Jeez. We've got so much stuff in there. Whoops. Alright, we should have enough space. Yeah, we should have enough space. Alright, we need to keep our, our food topped up so we can heal up faster. Just coming in late. Come on, man. Speed it up. At least you got a hunting knife on you. Okay, we just cleared this out. They already got so many people just... I mean, it's not like swarmed like before, but... That's a lot. I wonder if we should just run our, our alarm. Pull everything in from a really big distance. Kind of like how we did the horn. I think maybe the siren would be even... Even better, even stronger. All right, these two are not paying attention. Uh, this place, I expect there's going to be more than usual, just because there could be some coming from inside that we didn't clear out yet. Oh wow, that one went from whatever it was to zero in two hits. I think those are the bread and butter knives. Maybe it's not a good idea to use the bread and butter knives. I think we'll be a little more selective. Why are we overburdened? Because the spear. Yep. All right, here we go. Now we're getting into the uh, spot we didn't clear everybody out yet. Maybe we should try the hunting knives. We're getting a bunch and they're not like full durability so it's not not like we'd be losing the full thing. A full weapon. Spear is looking pretty good. We're at level 3. Heading up to level four. What the heck? Wait, why is this thing? It's got full gas. Engine quality's fine. Must have just had some bad RNG there. Let's go on foot for a little bit. Like we're starting to stop a little bit too much. Oh, it's not good. We're pretty much done with the crappy ones. Let's start using. Oh, we got letter openers too, though. That's not that good. Oh, jeez. I'm not paying attention. What, what happened? Oh, come on, game. I must have pushed the wrong button. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, 
Yeah, no, I think maybe no more bread knife, butter knife. Those things are definitely trouble. They weigh a lot, they don't last long. Oh, it's not good. Yeah, look at that. I think it's got maybe three ticks of durability. And then it's out. Oh, let's get the kitchen knife. Maybe that'll do a little better. It does have decent dur- it's not great durability, but it's, it's definitely better than a butter knife. And if that's no good, I wouldn't mind actually using the screwdrivers. Yeah, no letter openers. Alright, we gotta be real careful with our calories. We're at 85. Don't want to get overweight. This one didn't follow. I think we're... Yep, yeah, we are definitely here. Alright, we gotta be careful. This is where there's gonna be a huge amount. This is kitchen knife. Here we go. Let's see how well we do. Or how well this spear does, rather. Seems like it has better durability. Maybe not by a whole lot, but it definitely seems like it's got more durability. If nothing else, this thing does hit incredibly hard. Yeah, that's one tapping everything. Let's move the trip up a little bit. 130. Yeah, we still got time before we have to go back. But let's get rid of some of these. bite off more than we can chew because then we can't loot them easily. Yeah, we'll just go on foot for this. There's quite a few down here. very long. There we go. And then broken knives go back. Do we have anything else? Yeah, we got a screwdriver. Let's put that on our back. And then those two can go in the bag. We'll pull them out in a little bit. Now we want to be able to go to the east here. So I don't care too much about that side as long as they're not right there. Let's start clearing this out. Oh, that was so stupid. Why would you do the freaking animation in the middle of them? That is so stupid, man. Yeah, that animation is really dangerous. Unless they're single file. was very close. Definitely a lot closer than I would like. So three, almost four. Let's keep going. We gotta clear out as much as this freeway as we can. Actually looks pretty clear. Alright, let's, let's go back. Uh oh, 
looks pretty clear. back. Let's deal with him. Actually, let's, let's let this guy get over. Yeah, we'll take that screwdriver. Oh, nice. Shotgun. we has got ammo, not just the, the long gun, but we'll see. He's got a revolver. Right, I think maybe we can go to the next place, check for a few more books. I would like to just completely get that off the list. Yeah, so we don't have to worry about it at all. We still have 11 <laughs> reclaimed spears. These are all damaged, but they still have some life left in them. Oh, also, I should probably take the garden fork. I'm pretty sure that's the same thing. Oh, and we've got some spears. Yeah, we got to use those. All right, we have more than enough. Um, I say firepower. I know that's not the right word, but I think we have more than enough to to go to the next place. Let's try and get our weight in, in control down to 84, 83, something like that. These are all looking pretty good. I need to put a little fuel in there. There we go. 100 and 100. I think I didn't know this thing uh, did the furrows. That's why I grabbed the trowel. Right, let's put that back. Oh, let's read until it's bedtime. It's getting a little cold outside. So let's just come in and read. I think we'll go to bed a little bit earlier, and then we can get an early start on the road. I got a feeling we're going to have to stop a few times to clear. I right, get rid of these pieces of crap. We're, we're losing weight. We're not at 84 yet, though, so we got to wait a little bit before we eat. Oh, wow. Well, they sure brought a lot back. Let's spread these out so that we don't have to reload all these. Uh, we need to eat something. Okay, I don't want to be starving for this fight. There we go. Dude, come on. Hit the freaking guy. There we go. Dude, that seems more of a... More in line with expectations. Oops, I forgot where I started the line. Maybe that was it, actually. I think I was fumbling with a weapon at the start of that. Maybe this guy sunk all the way across the field. Come on over. Okay, that's done. Well, no, apparently not. Holy crap, dude, we were just here. Some good uh, electric. What is going on? <laughs> my brain, my brain was not working there for a second. All right, it's eight thirty. Still doing okay on time. Every two seconds, I got to stop. Maybe what I should do is just do one run where I, I drive through and just honk the horn the whole time. That'll draw them all to the road, and then we can clear the road all at once. And that should be good for, I don't know, maybe a couple days or a week or something. But either way, let's, um, let's try and make our way to that. That other town. Yeah, I'm not gonna stop. These it's just it's gonna be too much. When we get to the part with heavy, we'll just go really s nice and slow. I I don't want to wreck this thing. It's such a good car, even though it doesn't start sometimes. We got a couple wrecks. Let's mark those so we can get them later. Oh, nice. It's a van in the middle of nowhere. 
It looks like it's in really good shape. Oh wow. They got some good stuff. Alright, let's yeah, we'll we'll probably tow it maybe on the way back. Not that we don't need it on the way there. A machete. Beautiful. Oh jeez. That one died in two hits. Alright, we'll drag him to the other side at least to give us time to reposition. So, what are you doing? <laughs> Terrible math going on there. All right, let's uh, let's dump these spears on the bodies. I don't want these things hanging out. Looks like it's out of gas. Nice, they got duct tape too. All right, so it's fueled up, ready to go. Sweet, we'll. Pick that one up on the way back. How is our weight doing? 85 and stable. I'm hungry though. Just gonna have to deal with it for now. We got some burnouts. Let's mark these as well. Oh, get off the map. Jeez. <laughs> Driving blind. Alright, I think this is our turnout. Let's clear it. This is kind of a, a rough spot to be driving around. If it's if it's just a couple, we'll we'll deal with it. But this many for sure, we wanna we wanna clear it. <laughs> we tricked him. Alright, we are now. Well, no, we're still, yeah, we're still minus 85. Let's get to minus 84, and then we'll eat a little something. Stamina is really good still. I don't know if this thing just doesn't use that much, or... If we're resting enough between fights. Alright, is it possible to move this thing up? We'd have to disassemble the whole thing. We don't I didn't bring the the wooden saw. Oh it's not a big deal. We're in. Alright, still can't eat just yet. Actually, can we just go really slow? Can we just yeah, that's what I thought. I think the only the posts on the end are the ones that are actual phys actually physical. Those other ones are just graphical. They're they don't actually exist. Good old invisible wall. Right, it's only a couple here and there. Let's just bypass them. Right, that's pretty big. Let's get back so we're not drawn in the entire crowd. Yeah, just a couple of them. We'll clear them little by little. I think our damage might be really low because of the food issue. Well, that's a bad time to, to bust all your spears. Yeah, I, I need to smoke and I need to eat something because this is really bad. Damage is just not there. We're overburdened as well. Let's dump these. That's 
pretty good drivers. Right, that's two more. Let's get the. We got two more that we need to use, and then we'll start using the the decent ones. at all three broken spears yeah we gotta dump these all right let's equip on the back let's just get one of the you know butter knives and kitchen knives and whatever let's use those first and then we'll save that fish fork for the end another group here Timing on that. There's another group over here. Let's clear it. In the previous episode, we continued clearing zombie hordes along the road and cleared out several within the town. groups off to the side. I'd rather not chase those. Let's just kind of stick to the plan here. Through the roads. I'm sure we'll find... Oh, jeez. Well, we didn't have to go long, did we? <laughs> Holy crap. Got shoddy shells, that's nice. Let's draw them away from this pile so we can easily see which ones we need to get. Alright, not too bad. Got three watches out of this one too. to get moving it's pretty getting uh getting pretty late not much chance we're gonna clear out that now if i recall there was let's see there's there's a post office right here i think yeah this is the post office and then across from here is a community center and they have a bunch of bookshelves so we'll go do those We may not have much of a choice. Uh, let's, let's pull this out. Hopefully this is going to be enough. We do have a long blade as well. We got a machete in our backpack. If we really need it. And we're definitely not going down the street because there's going to be a ton Let's just keep it in this parking lot. We put a pretty healthy dent in their numbers right here. So that was that was a big that was a big group. They're still coming. Jeez. Why are we so heavy? Oh, we got these. Yeah, let's let's reclaim these. We can reuse them. Dump the broken stuff. All right, they're actually stopping short, so we can uh, let's go check out the li uh, library. It is a post office. Go check out the post office. Oh boy, really don't want to go through the front, but I could deconstruct. Or disassemble. Oh no, it's metal. Shoot, I can't. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to go through the front then. Yep. All right, well, here we go. Let's see if there's a ton of people. Oh, I still got stuff in the trunk. Whoops. I guess I forgot to unload. Now, that should be a restaurant. Could probably find some food in there. I'm assuming this is up to an apartment. No, upstairs eating. Well, hopefully there's a like an employee room or something. No, oh, there's just office office supply stuff. All right, let's go to the kitchen. Should be right in here. Right, we got two chefs. Really, everything is perishable. Well, that was kind of a bust. Oh, nice. Well, we'll take that. There's a few things I think we can disassemble. The extractor hoods. Let's get those. Those are worth a lot. See if we can get in here without making too much noise. Risky. I can't see anything. Yeah, here's the break room. Oh, perfect. Can of boats. See just a little bit of that. Still minus. Need a little bit more. Get rid of that hunger bottle. We can take another can of boats for later. Cereal. All right, now we look. Doesn't look like there's any, anyone back here, so I think we're good. We're looking for level five. Farming volume five. I'm pretty sure we have that. We got all the fishing. Not looking good. Yeah, that's it. That's the last one. Shoot. We can go across the street. It's just really risky right now, given how dark it is. There's a police. Um, it's a police roadblock up there. I want to check too because they're they'll probably have some decent loot. Right, I think we gotta take these guys out. I was planning on sleeping around here. That's it for those. Let's get our get our last two weapons. All right, here we go. We are ready. I know I'm gonna brighten this in post editing, but believe me, I can't see squat right now. Ooh, a hunting knife. All right, so we got. Ah, we should be fine. We have plenty of weapons. Another hunting knife. Yeah, if we really want to, or need to, we can just park up against the wall. Or up against another car. This guy's got an axe. Something. What's in here? Hunting knife. Alright. It's like our fifth hunting knife. Let's take these, this group out, too. Surprised we're not tired yet, given how late it is. There's a few more, but I don't think there's too much that's going to roam towards us if we decide to sleep in this area. But we're not tired yet. May not be a bad idea just to go across the street. Just try for it. We're not coming. Alright, let's, let's go for it. This is Hunting Knife. Yeah, this thing is lasting a long time. I was going to say that the spear itself doesn't last very long, but you put it on something... Or you put something good on the end, it's, it's got a chance, at least. There's a couple on this side, let's clear that up before we loot the cars. Got a baseball bat or something? Oh yeah, nice. A stone hammer? I've never seen a zombie with a stone hammer on him. Uh, we're not going to take it, because it's just not that good. But, interesting. And I saw a gun on this. Yep. Nice. We got a shotgun with rounds in it. Double holster. That's what we we're looking for. We'll probably have to go back to the car to drop stuff off here soon. Hopefully that wasn't too loud, but probably was. Let's see if any, anybody's coming. No, it looks fine. 
right, we got two boxes of shotgun shells, some duct tape, nine mil. See a zombie coming. Got no shirt on. Oh, nice, a magnum with rounds in them. Yeah, let's check this last one. We gotta go back to the car. This is, we're too heavy. 40 cigarettes. Well, this person was definitely an avid smoker. All right, another shoddy. We're gonna have to go overburden for a little bit here. Let's check the trunk first. Yeah. All right, two shotguns we gotta take. Oh, that wasn't even the trunk. Baseball bat, 4X. Oh, we're getting, we're getting attacked here. All right, another baseball bat. More rounds. Let's just take what we have. This is this is crazy. We're we're getting pretty overburdened. Baseball bat's not in great shape. We dropped off a bunch of stuff. We'll keep eating a little bit. So we're still losing weight, but we're not starving necessarily. So yeah, here we go. We got light footed. That means sneaking will probably be right right behind it. Or uh yeah, sneaking will be right behind it. So community centers right in here. No real way around it, we gotta fight these guys. Right, we're getting surrounded a little bit here, let's keep an eye out. We've been getting a ton of electrical. We're already at 600, we just really leveled it up, I don't know, maybe a day or two ago. Pretty happy about that. Come on out. Oh, we're getting tired. It's not good. We gotta get these one taps because we're not doing a lot of damage. I have zero visibility here. I know the library is right in here somewhere. I mean, as soon as I break the window, we're gonna have people on us. Let's see. Did that? Yeah, it did. Might have some coming out as well. Maybe not. This is so bad. This is literally pitch black for me. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, I mean, the books are right there, but it's, I don't think it's doable. They're sneaking level eight. Let's go sleep in the car again. Oh boy, it's actually getting cold. So what we want to do is get our car parked right up against this. That way they can't squeeze in. Wow. All the way to 10. Nobody woke us up. I mean, look what we did. This is all done it in the pitch black at night. <laughs> That's pretty cool. She's going to be tagging along for sure. See, did we lose our weight yet? We did not. Let's just take, take this one out. I don't want anything coming in behind us. Oh, nice. We, we lost a little bit. It means we can eat just a little bit of our oats. Take a quick smoke break. Doesn't seem like anything's in here. Panic 5. I thought that was one of the ones we didn't have. I'm going to take it. I think it might have been the one that we found recently, actually. But I know we're missing two level 5. Uh, yeah, two level 5 books. I think it's farming either, but let me just grab these just in case. An the electrician. That thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have that. Got the generator magazine in here. This is a good spot. It'd be much more efficient to get a car and then make your way here rather than going house to house and trying to find them. Cooking. There we go. There's one that we don't have. So that's for sure. Fishing. I'm pretty sure we have that. There's just one more, but I could be wrong. Okay. Upstairs, there's a few more books. Well... We got more more coming soon. Taylor, yeah, I'm pretty sure we have tailoring. M most of these I'm quite positive that we have, but just gonna grab them. I think that's the third generator magazine I've seen. Now I know for sure I haven't gotten all of the magazines. There's one that we can use for electrician if we can find it. It'll help us level that. It's pretty rare though. Right, that's it. Nothing else. I don't think there's much else. That I want to check out here in this town, so I think we'll, we'll we'll clear stuff on the way out. Spend our time clearing the road rather than 
these random buildings that are going to repopulated anyways. The pretty healthy crowd. Jeez, why the hell, dude? It's like when you when you break the, the weapon, it doesn't really give you a warning until after it's like um yeah, I definitely didn't want to push. I wanted to switch my weapon, but because of the timing and when it breaks, like it's it's too late. I'm already pushing. I can't stop it. Mm, ambulance. No, we can't take more than one. We already have a car ready to go. As soon as we get on the highway, we'll tow that one. I was going to say, it would be nice to have an ambulance. See a guy up there with a shotgun. That's right. Let's, let's just focus. Now this one, we got to get rid of the... Yeah, it looks like the knife gave out. All right, now the question is, can we get out without ruining our car? Yeah, it's not too bad. Jeez, man, there's so many. Push, bump some of them. Yeah, we already cleared most of this, so this shouldn't be a problem. It's just that one area. Okay, we're good. Let's tow that other van back, and then maybe we'll spend some time reading. We gotta check our props. We gotta check our traps as well. There you go, we're hooked. Get out of here. Dude, this... <laughs> Alright, it like... It was drifting to the right. I should have pulled back, but I didn't think it was going to hit. It didn't look like it was that close, to be honest. Well, it, we probably completely wrecked this thing. It's not even worth taking back, but... It's alright, we'll, we'll take it back. Maybe some of the tires or something are worth, useful. useful. Alright, here's our turn. Hopefully it's not as bad since we cleared it. Now, if, if the car in the back gets in an accident, I'm curious what that does to the car in the front. If we have to smack him, we're going to hit a tree if we don't. Dang, man. I really don't like messing up my car. <laughs> Can't do much about it, though. Still looks like a war zone here. That right window, that's the one we popped. Actually, it's not even that bad. It definitely took some damage, but it's it's not that bad. What about this thing? No? Windshield's always kind of busted. Hood needs a little bit of work. Engine is still 98%. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Did we lose our... We might have lost our little water bottle. Oh, you know what? That's why I was like wondering why I had an empty water bottle in my inventory. That was our gas can, and it was empty because we'd used it. I know I favorited it, so it should not have been going on the floor, but what can you do? We'll just do it again on our little home gas pump. Man, that's the way to do it. Tow a car in that's got a really big gas can. A gas can. It's a big gas tank. You can take, I guess, twice the fuel and then just siphon it. Well, I would say that's very. that was a very successful excursion. Hopefully the home's not completely trashed. Looks like some of the strawberries are starting to die off. Which is fine. We're going to take them out anyways. It's probably because we're not watering them. Speaking of which, we need to water the cabbages too. Alright, let's get rid of loot. It's 6 p.m. We got plenty of time. Here we go. Cooking. We did not have volume 5. Now we do. Electrician we do. Farming we did not. See, it was marked, but I didn't have it. Good thing I grabbed it. I think that's the last one. Oh, foraging. No, we did have farming. We didn't have foraging. I have farming on me. Oops. Okay, we need to go find foraging then. Yeah, everything else we have. All right, let's throw these on the floor then. Oh man, that's full too. We need another crate for electrical. Shoddy's all had stuff in him. Yeah, we got more rounds. Okay, we got our double holster. So yeah, holster, double holster. Put the shells back. 
And three boxes of nine mil. I don't think we have room for this. No, we don't. Not even close. What are we going to do with all this electronic stuff? Oh yeah, we need to defrost some food. We don't even have room in our melee uh, crate, so let's put the bars. Yeah, we'll just put them over here. You know, let's let's use the top crafting. We, we're not really close on filling this up. We're just over halfway. So we can just use that. Let's go throw some junk away. Generator's still doing good. We need to water these, but it, I can't really see. So I think we'll hold off on that. Forging, yeah. Dang, I should have grabbed the forging. I, I'm pretty sure I saw it there too. We can go back, actually. It might be worth going back. Such a wasted trip, but, you know, gotta do it. Get a little chilly. Let's go inside. I think we can start eating this stuff. Yeah, it's, it's really late. Oops. I didn't realize it was that late. We weren't tired yet. It's because our sleep schedule is all jacked up. Let's go take a look at our traps. It's sprinting XP, and hopefully we get some trapping. I think we're pretty close. No. We need six and seven. Oh, wait. Yeah, we are pretty close, actually. But, and then we can start reading the next book. So this would be huge if we can get it. Perimeter looks good. Uh, only two this time. So this defrost kind of a waste of time. But actually, you know, let's read while we're waiting. More rabbits. I think we should probably get a third. Man, I don't want to use that much electricity. It's just kind of a pain. It's not so much the like. The electricity itself, um, or the gas, the biggest pain is having to remember to refuel it. And if I forget, you know, you have less time to re remember to check it. So you got more stuff running. It's still pretty early. We don't have to clear as many out. I, I might want to just go back. I know for sure there was... Yeah, I'm, I'm almost positive there was a foraging magazine there. Oh, we obviously need to drop stuff off before we go out, though. And we only have one, one weapon. Like grab more. No, we can't. We can't do it today because we still got to deal with the, the plants. Pretty sure I had another pitchfork. I don't know what happened to it. Or garden fork. Get this cheese out of here. We don't need it. Yeah, these are... They need to be watered. I should be watering these more frequently. Those are all done. Let's just dig up the strawberries. They're just taking up space. Right, that looks much better. And we're just going to rotate it down like this and then back up to here. Stage three. Actually, we need to do another. We need to grow another one. Oh boy. What is going on? I don't want that many seeds. Yeah, I only wanted two. Let's take all the watering as well. Should have kept it. Oh, they all just upgraded right now. Those are. Planted, seeded, ready to go. Uh, sorry, planted and watered. Let's go put all this back. Grab a little bit of compost from this. Let's see if we can fit this. I don't think it will. That composter is pretty full. Whatever we can fit, I guess. No, it'll fit. I don't think we're going to go to the other hunting spot. I just... Maybe when we get some downtime, we'll go do mess with that. But I think it's probably not worth our time. Let's just spend some time reading. We don't have anything to read, and I don't know what else we could do. I guess we could craft some more spears. Let's make four of them. We'll use something nice. You know what? We need to put these back. You don't get to choose which weapon you're going to combine with whatever. So, like, if we have a really low durability hunting knife, it, it, could, it could use it. And I only want to get the high ones. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. So now if we come over here. Oh, did I chop it? Yeah, I must have chopped it early. There we go. Right, we're three months, 14 days in. 4 a.m. I think. Do you know what? Uh, we might need more food. Yeah, let's go grab another dish. Oh, this one's out. Like, completely out. Yeah, grab a bowl. Get cabbage with all the butter and lard. <laughs> It's a little inefficient, but I should have I should have not made the mistake of not grabbing all the tier fives. I mean, we can use them to light fires anyways, so it's not like it costs us anything just to grab it. It's kind of stupid not to do that. So here we are. I just realized it it used one of our one of the crappy. Man, that's so annoying. 
we had a crafted spear that was almost done, durability wise. I had the four brand new ones. It put us it put a hunting knife on one of the bad ones. That is so stupid. Man. I I guess that's the danger when you use the craft all button rather than do it one by one, and then you can kind of select which one you want. No, we need to clear this out. There's too many. That's pretty big. Pretty big group. This spear hasn't even taken a single bit of damage yet. I'm kind of surprised. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck? Hit the wrong button. I meant to hit. I think it's spacebar for the the heavy brakes. I accidentally hit shift. people come from. The spear's a tank, man. Alright, let's um, go back. I don't want to go too far away. I don't even know which trail is ours from from this one, I mean. Alright, I think that's as far as I'm going to go. Let's go back, get rid of this busted spear. What the heck? Where did you even come from? I literally, I was literally just here. I didn't see anybody. What the heck, man? They're like little ninjas. Yeah, I think... Stopping for groups of, you know, six, seven, eight, something like that seems to make sense. One and two, well, it's like this, this is going to be, oh yeah. Why? Okay, all I, literally all I wanted to do was take the key out of the, or to turn the freaking car off, and then it just stopped, and then the car wouldn't, wouldn't go again. Come on, game. That was ridiculous. Alright, I'm over here. Wait, why why am I going so slow now? Why am I going so slow now? I was out running the whole freaking thing before now. Does this thing give me a debuff? No. I say a debuff to speed? Doesn't make any sense. 
I was able to keep pace with them there before, and it was an even bigger group. Now there's a smaller group I can't even... Oh, I don't have any, any Moodles, so I don't think it's that. Oh, whatever, we got them. Jeez, that was a big group. He said, I don't know where they're coming from. I just cleared them. Is it yesterday? Nice. That was a good one. We got a shotgun with rounds and a nightstick. I don't understand this, man. I don't know how a car that's maintained so well is, is having trouble starting. Our engine is 98%. Battery seems fine. And then, yeah, the engine quality is almost 90. Alright, Garden Fort finally took some damage. This thing is, is pretty good. Okay, almost... Yeah, it's about 9.30. We need to really get on the road because it's taking way too long. For a place that we already cleared out like two or three times. This, this shouldn't... Like, <laughs> there's bodies everywhere. Oh, here we go again. In the previous episode, we went to the post office and the police station looking for good loot. We slept in the car, then went across the street to the library for books. We towed a van back to our base farmed, dropped off loot, and checked traps. Just flooded. The whole place is just flooded. I- what are you talking about? I just hit him! Alright, well, we gotta repair our clothes, which got mid again. No, I don't want to take them off. I want to inspect them. All right, we didn't get bit there. Didn't get bit there. All right, it looks like our our gloves aren't reinforced, but we did not get bit. It made this sound when you get bit, but apparently it didn't bite us. This weather is horrible too. I can't see squat. Let's go get gas. I mean, maybe that'll buy us a little time. take one of these cowboy hats. Don't know that we'll use it, but I kind of want to just have it. Well, that was mostly just a waste of time, but I was trying to delay it a little bit so we can maybe get rid of some of this fog. Man, it's it's really bad. Yeah, it's really hard to see. Not seen too much. Yeah, there's some, but not a whole lot of zombies at least. Yeah, this is pretty risky actually. Uh, why didn't I just grab that book? All right, we'll get there, we'll get back. We're almost there, that's where we got the news van or whatever it was. Now I think, I think it was at the library or the community center, not the bookstore. But I, I don't, I really don't remember. Should probably just check them both. All right, the weather is cooperating a little bit now. Crap, I think I went too far. This doesn't look familiar. Yep, I went too far. It's probably when I was getting the cigarette ready. Yeah, here we go. That checkpoint looks pretty clean still. Good start. Oh man, there's so many. Oh, here we go. It's getting a little confused for a sec. Alright, forging. And we're looking for forging five. So forging is the dark green book. Just gonna look for dark green. We can scan these a lot faster. Yeah, it's not here. Uh, let's double check up here real quick. No. Oh, lovely. Let's deal with these. Man, 
Grunfarb was doing really well for a long time. I just took two hits right back to back. Another one. Jeez, it's falling apart. I'm finally getting the hang of the spear combat. It's trying to make sense. It, the footwork's pretty important. I would say arguably more important because the one attack that can just leave you stun locked until it's done. Oh boy. I don't know why that didn't scare me. Probably should have. Forging four. For some reason, I think I saw it upstairs, but just want to check everything. I mean, half the time, I can't even remember what I did. The previous day but then there's certain times where I just these weird little things will pop in my head I don't remember them but most stuff I just don't have a good memory for hmm like maybe we didn't see foraging five and I just imagined it hmm. yeah maybe I didn't see foraging four I swear I saw it I could have sworn I seen it there's one spot right down there that has books I don't think it was in this little dinky shelf. I swear I thought I saw it. Well, that was a good waste of time. Yeah, foraging two and four, <laughs> not five. Wow. Well, there you have it. It's, it's uh, almost 4.30. It probably doesn't make sense to hang out here too much longer. I don't want to be here at night again. I think if there was somewhere else that I saw... Maybe I'm getting mixed up with something else. I swear I saw Forging 5. But I... Oh, crap. Left the headlights on. You know, we'll fight this group. Let's get something out of it, at least. Let's do it over here where there's no bodies. Be easier, easier to loot. Alright, this thing's about to die. We gotta get something out of our backpack. Actually, you know what? Let's do it right now. Wait, did we check this? I think this is a that VHS store. I don't think we did. Why don't we do that? Let me drop off some stuff here. We got some heavy things. Yeah, let's go. Let's at least get something out of this trip. Man, that was stupid of me. I guess I probably could have just looked back at the recording, but I don't know. I was pretty confident. <laughs> pretty confident I saw it. But you know what it was? Is I saw Forging 4 several times. And that's one of the ones we didn't have. And for some reason, I thought we had five already. Oh. Who we got? And then we should probably start watching some of these because they do give decent XP. At least when you pair it with the, um, the books. I think it's supposed to be 75 per show. But if you got like a 16x multiplier, you know, it's not bad at all. all right, that's it. Let's disassemble this TV and get out of here. Wait, it's actually getting late now. It's 8 o'clock. So I don't know how much sunlight we got left. But let's try and get back before it gets dark. Nice, man. They're, yeah, they're like literally blocking the entire street. Just, we don't have time to get out and yell at them or whatever. Dude. Oh, I don't know. I don't have any words. I, I'm turning. I'm definitely turning my car, but not. I'm not tired, so if there's no delay in the reaction. I don't I don't get it. I don't know what's going on. Oh, 
whatever. Let's get back home. We didn't get injured. Oh, we did get injured. Jeez. That took a big chunk of our health. It probably totaled the, the hood. We're going to have to spend some time fixing, the, fixing this thing up again. It's not that big of a deal. We have plenty of materials. We got so many cars there to pull parts from, but... Like, that should have been a pretty easy one. I think I'll just run people over next time, then risk hitting the tree. Alright, we'll just go way off-road if we have to. Oh, they're all back. Jeez, man, look how many there are. No matter how many times you clear it out. That's why I know playing on 16x population, and it's kind of crazy because there's a lot, but at least turning the, the spawn art, you know, the respawn off, once you clear them, at least they won't be coming back. I mean, they can still migrate and whatnot, but there will be an end at some point, and that's kind of appealing. It's kind of annoying having to keep redoing the same thing over and over and over, like uh, maintenance almost. Let's check the crops and drop off some gas. All right, they're all in good shape. Generator's kind of low. All right, let's go back, get some sleep. So we've mostly just got VHSs. Wasn't a whole lot of loot on this run. I'm wondering if I'm mixing it up with the Muldra bookstore that we went to. Uh, it, probably not. Uh, just reaching at this point. The loot's all dropped off. Let's get some get some food. We got nine of these things. Uh, we, we'll probably start cooking and maybe when we're down to the last two. Yeah, we got nothing to read. Right, I guess we could do some reloading. We are a little tired. I want to fix the sleep schedule though. Let's do a, a couple rounds of these. That's good. We're getting cold. Almost two. So spear hit four. Kind of want to get that up to the five and six range like the others. We'll do short blade right after. Short blunt needs one more to get the six. We need to get axe and long blade. I'm not too worried about those though. Those are the high damage. We should have no issues leveling those. Well, yeah, if you don't feel like doing any of these grinding, there's always room to do nimble. I mean, this thing just always going to need the grind. So what I'm thinking, maybe today we can just go house to house. Try and find more supplies to make more of these. We're, we're going to need um, mostly just duct tape. Not that we don't have a lot right now, but yeah. So let's just do that. Let's do some nimble. We'll check for two things. We're looking for electronics and we're looking for duct tape. And a little bit of sprinting, I feel like it's probably a good idea. Now, I know I already checked a lot of these. So, oh, you know what? There's a propane tank. Let's go. We'll go on this row. No, no, no. It wasn't too bad. I didn't mean to jump in. I was... Yeah. Anyways. We're in no condition to be fighting now that we're injured on our hand. Fun. And I know I've been saying it this whole time, but that's why I clear Every time I see one of these, I clear it. Just because I know I'm going to jump through it at some point. So stupid. Yeah, I hit I hit the wrong button. Oh, wow. A lot of guns here. It's still got the propane tank in it. That's a good sign. We're going to have to carry this one back. All right, there's our fourth propane tank. Another box of shells. I know a lot of the stuff's already looted. But I, I did miss a lot of things like these electronics. We gotta take them down. Oh, nice. Some weapon and ammunition. I know I checked this, but I think it was early game and I wasn't grabbing much. So, yeah, we missed a bunch of stuff. But yeah, so we, we missed stuff. There's a gun and a CD that we haven't... Oh, well, another one. Yeah, when it's time to start leveling up aim, we've got a lot of ways to do it. Obviously, we'll start with the shotgun early, but even in the mid... You know, level 4, level 5, or whatnot, we could probably just bring out the pistols. I'm trying to get sprinting up. It is pretty slow to level up as well. Yeah, we have way too much electric trap. Electronic trap. I'm not even going to bother picking them up. Just trying to speed run through this. But you know what? I did mark the gun. Yeah, we got it. Generators, we don't need them. We could also go back and watch some of the DVDs that we got. We got Cooking Show. We got a couple of the survival ones. If we could just get a little bit of trapping, we wouldn't have to go back and waste because we only need like one trap. But, you know, we've got 20 things set up. So when we get anything, we're going to get a lot. Oh, we don't have room. All right, we're going to be overburdened. All right, we got to go back home, I think. Let's check the rest of this house. Oh, come on. 
I keep trying to like speed run it. <laughs> I'm cutting it off. Oh, cut an alarm on that one. We'll turn that alarm off. All right, let's get back. And like I said, we can do, we can level uh, reloading while we're watching some DVDs. Maybe we can, or uh, VHSs, we could maybe do some cooking, sprinting, not quite at 500. See if we can get it to 500 before we get up to top. We'll even go the back route. I'm gonna I'm brushing my teeth right now, and then we'll, we'll do it. I've got a bunch of pistols to add to the mix. Renew. We got a couple mags and a couple attachments. Not a whole lot of ammunition though. But we got another box at least. So it's 39 mil, 20 shotgun, 2308. Everything else not as much. Got some more fishing equipment. We gotta find something to spend all this electronics on. But that stew, you know, this stew doesn't really fill us up that much. But we're yeah, we're trying to maintain or lose a little anyways, that's fine. Let's take a look at the VHS that we have. We've, I know we've got quite a few. Looking for survival. I guess mechanics would be good too, actually. So car zone one and two. Exposure survival one through six, but we're missing four. Yeah, I don't know what this one does. You don't get fitness XP when you when you watch these, so uh, we'll mess with it later. Yeah, the cooking show, that's what I was interested in. We have one through seven. Woodcraft, we can't watch those anymore because we don't, we're maxed. I think everything else is just for entertainment. We've got two of that. Let's get rid of that. Survival instinct? That might be something. All right, let's go watch. Actually, while that's going, why don't we do some tailoring? We grab half. Should be fine. We need to get something that we can patch. Maybe not the army coat. Why is it not letting... Do we have to have leather? Yeah, this is, this is so annoying. I don't know why it keeps doing this. Let's grab some of the leather and see if that's what it is. It'll let us do it with the leather strips. Yeah, maybe we need to have something that's not as high quality. Let's see, yeah, here we go. Nope, we can't do it. What the hell, dude? Why is it not letting us do anything? All right, I grabbed the needle. I've got rags. Maybe it's because the dirty rags. Did I do that? I think I did the same thing last time. Let me see if that's what the problem is. Yep, there it is. Okay, so it's just because the rags are dirty, which is absurd. And I'm pretty sure I remember thinking about that last time too, but that's right. Let's turn both these TVs on. Let's do exposure, survival on both. And at the same time, we're going to be taking care of these pants. So we're getting tailoring, fishing. All right, that's done. Wait, how come we didn't... Maybe... I'm pretty sure you could do more than one at once. We didn't get XP for this. Let's just turn it off. It doesn't matter how long it takes. We're going to be doing other stuff anyways. Let me put this down here. Fishing, tailoring. Oh, it's giving us fishing. Shoot, we need to read the book. So that did work. Actually, let's do cooking. I don't want to waste all the, the fishing one. If it's a bunch of fishing, we need to read the book. How's that looking? Yeah, we're almost a level. Let's see if we can get all the way up to eight, and then we will have to read the next book. Nice, there's a level. It's almost time for sleep. I didn't, I didn't grab any food to defrost. Oops. We're, we're indoors, we're safe. Let's just keep doing this. It's fine if we're sleepy. 
Got two more cooking episodes. We're out of fabric. Let's go grab another chunk. Alright, that should be good for now. Let's go sleep. Alright, last cooking show. And that's it. That took us... Oh, we're really close to eight. Yeah, that was nice. No, I don't know. Magical woodlands. That's probably just for entertainment. Survival instinct. Let's see what that one is. Yeah, it's just for entertainment. Oh, car zone. Yeah, let's do the car zone. We'll take some mechanical. That'll be good for today. We'll save these three. We'll hang under the pants. Got a little bit of compost to take. Yep, generator still in good shape. Oh boy, I don't think that's all gonna fit. That's a lot of rotten cabbage. Let's see if we can compost it though. No, it won't. No, it did. Interesting. Oh, we'll get that turned into something useful. Alright, let's see how this wound's doing. Alright, it's gone. It's probably time to cook again as well. We should be able to get the rest of this XP. Let's take all the rabbits. And since we have all of them on there, let's put out the fire as soon as it's done. Oh, we ran out of matches. Let's go grab that. Alright, let's defrost these cabbages, then we'll start cooking stuff. We'll do half and half. Three cabbage, three rabbit. as much of the stuff that we have so like the lard and all that we're we're beyond the point of worrying about food i think But we need to defrost a few more things while we're waiting for that. Let's take care of this. Alright, we can do a stir fry or griddle now. Let's just do as many of these as we can. But we still got ingredients, so I think we just keep going. All done with that, we can use frying pans next. Frying pan, we still got more game. Let's just keep going until all the rabbits gone. I think we just used the last... Yep, we used all the rabbit. But we still got butter and lard and all that. So it'll still have some pretty good calorie content. Oh, it's full. We can't even... <laughs> we don't have anywhere to put it. Let's eat the rest of the stew and try and fit these back in. Are you gonna fit? Yep. But that's it. Yeah, we can't fit anything else. And that's... We only used... I think eight. I think that was eight rabbits. And we have food that'll probably last... I don't know, close to a month? Maybe more? What about 
But we're still above 60 hours. It's funny. But we can put it in here. And then this cabbage. I don't know how much of it's still decent. Looks like only two of them. Everything else has been chopped up. So we'll freeze those. These we'll throw on the pile outside. But that does mean we need to learn... Where are you? Cooking five. We are ready for cooking five. Oh, why don't we just throw on a show while we're reading? We got some depression issues here. Three a.m. I think we're good to sleep now. Don't want to eat too much, but we'll starve a little bit so we don't gain weight. And let's finish reading, but we'll do it outside. It's cold though. Shoot. Wait, we haven't checked. No, I think they're good. They, they need some watering, but they're still at decent levels. Right, we are officially done with cooking. So we have that maxed out. We just need to cook a few more things, and then we'll have the skill maxed. Go check our crops. We can do another row. I think it's been long enough. It's been about three days, four days. We just water everything since we're here. There we go, finally done it. Took a little while. How are we looking? So, yeah, farming, cooking, we'll have those maxed out very soon. I start working on these. Tailoring, actually, we did pretty good on that in that short amount of time. We got a decent amount of mechanics from watching the shows, almost 2,500. I think metalworking will be pretty easy, actually, if we just do it in-house. We've got small metal sheets that'll craft up to big metal sheets, and that's, that seems like it's going to give a pretty good amount of XP. Why don't we just do that? What the hell is going on, man? Alright, we should be good. Let's refill all these. And then what we're going to do is make metal sheet or make small metal sheet. Let's make metal sheets. It gives 100 XP each time. Holy crap. Yeah, that's going to go fast. We just got to keep refilling these. We'll do it again. Right, here we go. Let's get them all in our inventory. We just do it by, by hand. So if I go into here, it says... Ah, uh, you do lose a little bit, actually. So every time you do this, to make a big metal sheet, you need four small. You can make three small with one big. So you do lose a little bit. But considering how fast it goes... It's probably worth it. Alright, let's do it. Let's just make a bunch of small till we max metalworking out. And then we can craft it back up to big. As a level. And I think we used a propane torch. A propane tank there. Let's grab another one, refill this thing. Right, so basically, yeah, same thing. We're just going back and forth. We get a refill every time we do it. it. Does run out quite a bit, but look how many metal sheets we have. This is this is fine. All right, we got it. Let's stop doing it so we don't waste our materials. So big metal sheet, small metal sheet. We mostly use big metal sheet anyways, and this propane tank's almost. Yeah, that one's almost used up again. Nope, we just used it. Alright, so that's gone. But we have metalworking up to eight. There we go. Gotta do some mechanics, tailoring, and then, like I said, I think electrical will just do it passively with all these skills, the, the combat skills. Because none of these are going to give XP, unfortunately, so that doesn't help. We need to find that book to allow us to craft... I think it's a 
two-way radio or walkie-talkie or whatever. And then we can get some XP from that. Yeah, let's just spend some time and get it done. Keep an eye on it. We can do it with a bit of... Yeah, let's, let's see if we can use the jacket. Because these pants are terrible, man. It's like four slots, five slots. Jacket should be a lot better. Yeah, nice. We can do it with that. That's way better. It's going to be a lot faster. We don't have to pause as often. Oh, there's one level. So level seven tailoring. We used up a decent amount of rip sheeps, but we still have a lot to go. So four, seven. So we're getting about a hundred each time. Not quite that one. Yeah, so it seems like there's some RNG involved. Anywhere from 60 to 100 each time we... Or, or you know what, it could be more for patching and then less for removing the, the you know, rotor, whatever repairs you do. Maybe that's what it is. So we have, let's measure a full round trip and compare it. So right now, about 1250, 1400. So about a little more than 150 for round trip. We need 6,000 XP, so yeah, we gotta do this quite a few times. But, I mean, we saved up this the materials. We've still got 112 thread. We might actually run out of rip sheets before we run out of thread. But we have the bloody ones, we can just clean them. That guy's not too happy. But we gotta keep pushing. And we are having issues with being cold. So we might have to switch to our winter clothing. Right, we're having some some issues here. We got extremely bored, severely depressed, and very tired. But I really want to finish this. A couple more and we'll have it. And then we can spend some more recovering and reading books. Right? Yeah, we'll have two that we need to read. So we'll have plenty of time to get everything back on track. Alright, that's it. We'll leave all that in. 